All right. If you can hear me, give me a five. I don't normally stream on Saturdays, but I feel it. I'm gonna win. I feel really good today. I'm gonna turn on my stream for six hours, and I'm gonna win for six hours straight. Welcome. This is really important. No pogging allowed. No pogging until a win. Although, I just realized. Uh, I forgot to play the pre-stream ad break, and it's gonna play, like, in three minutes automatically. I'm gonna play right now. I'm sorry. This is so that you don't get one um, later on in the game. That was my fault. I was supposed to play it during the uh, pre-stream. No one is promised tomorrow. Destination is clear. Hello, Acord Smith. Thanks for three months. Hello, Boop Day Boop. Welcome back. Thank you for 20. Spirits are calling. What are you eating? Uh, cauliflower rice and chicken. <laughs> I will not hold her! Oh fuck, I totally could have made econ. Oh, I am so down. It's woke time. What I get? Heavenly Ultras Bruiser? Isn't that really good? That's, the spirit. That's really good. I go where the trouble is. Okay, wait. So. I don't believe I'm gonna play Yone here, especially now with these items. Don't need these guys either. I don't even think you need Ari. Maybe I can hold it for a bit. So, you're always gonna play around Riven and Soraka. And then plug in whatever you want. Interesting. Wow, what what a game. Seriously. <laughs> Heavenly Ultras Bruiser. Yeah, let's just play Star Weaver Flex. We're going to be on the tankier side, so I think we just want to do damage. Hmm. Watch this. Okay. Hello, ideal poop pupil. Thanks for 10 months. I think I'm just going to like attempt a fast 9 here. Welcome back from the ad break, everybody. Yeah, I'll just attempt a fast 9. It should be pretty easy to flex here. Get a Gwyn Seuss on Carousel. Hmm. 
burdens of the task. Stand back! Big strong Nico coming through! What does the target dummy give you for uh, Heavenly? Wait. Oh, Omni Map. The dummy is so good. Yeah, it's a it's a high roll for sure. I'm just like thinking about how I want to maximize it. Maybe Kaisa mid game. Wait, am, am I ever playing this Kench? I feel like this Kench could fit for a while. But is it worth holding? It'd be my fourth bruiser at seven. I can make 30 right now though. Hello, Star Girl A. Welcome. Nah, I don't think I'd take it. Oh no. Please let me get this bow. Hello, Mystic Heart. Thanks, 33 months. What about Heavenly Yone here? I thought about it, but my items were not good for Yone. I think the Story Weaver path is way easier. Okay, uh, can I get specifically a Bard? I need a Biss. Bard in shop. One Biss, please. <sighs> oh wow, I got an Aphelios. Nah, I definitely can't play Aphelios here. Heavens bless me. New day, new friends, same old me. Wow. Do I just win the game because I got the god tier target dummy? I really feel like I might have just won the game. I'm using every single trait already, and they're all team wide bonuses. I should like a one star bard. So, let me uh, put this in the team planner. So, like. Get a one star bard Kench, and that should tempo you to nine. Then play like a random Silas in Galio. Four Bruiser. Don't even need to reroll it. In fact, I think it'd be a throw to reroll it. Take that one. Honestly, Sivir will do fine for now. Okay. Let's do a very quick roll call. When I call your name, make sure to type here. Okay. Uh, anyone not here will be marked absent. I was going to ask what's in Uh, okay. So let's start from the top. Um. Cats. Okay. Uh, dog owners. Hungry people. Coffee drinkers. Steve. People who think Nico is hot. Everybody else. Okay, cool. Welcome. Yes. You guys were all here for the Nico, weren't you? Be honest. Can you guys do me a favor? Could you put a trick shot? Could you put a trick shot in my next uh, shop? One trick shot, please. Chancellor is pretty good. There's a god tier combination of emblems. I know! I'm a high roller. Trick shot! Forget the past. It only clouds the future. Come closer. Um 
Let's think about this. Do I do this? Probably. Okay. I want to report just belt. Can we make any damage item? Oh, uh, it's actually fine. I was going to do a hurricane and then a sword item, but I think I can just do gargoyle. Giant Slayer. I'm thinking like my endgame carry is just going to be Irelia. And Kaisa. So like Giant Slayer should work on both. Okay, could somebody please send me... Wait, lunch money is actually kind of perfect here. I Lunch money would actually reward me for being a psychopath. Should I do it? I mean, I don't see why not. I don't see why not, and then I level up and be a psycho? Why not? When life gives you sour bandle It's time to be psychotic. Bandle brew. Yeah, I will slam it. Psycho level, and then I bully everybody. Ooh. Give me your lunch money, kid. So, how much damage do you do on stage three? It's like four. And I, if, if you win with two units, is that eight damage? Let's see. My streamer is a psychopath. Ooh, hello, Cerebellum. It's time to end her streak. Can I do at least eight damage to her? I think I can. One, two, three, four. Four, five units alive. That should be like 14 damage. Oh, 11. What? That's way lower than I thought. Don't hurt Sarah. Wait, but how else am I going to get my lunch money? I have to hurt everybody in this lobby. I'm not trying to hurt her specifically. I'm trying to hurt everybody. If anyone would like to volunteer to take eight damage in her place, let me know. As long as I get my lunch money, I'm happy. Eight damage is a lot, by the way. That is one twelfth of your health bar. Okay, I was trying to avoid a Yone. I don't even know how to avoid a Yone, but I'm just like moving a little bit to make it like at least a little bit of randomness. So I don't get sniped. Avoiding positioning for Yone is so weird. Like usually it's like be on the opposite side, but not for Yone. Oh, I've seen this Janna build a couple times. It's actually kind of sick. Wait, I, I, did I lose? Oh my god, I almost lost. What the heck? I almost lost. Poop head! Um, what's the best support item here? It's not Cleaver. It's probably Zeke's. I have a lot of random decent backliners. Uh, Zeke's or Aegis. And if I have to, lock it. I believe it's... I believe it's the locket. I don't really like Aegis that much here because I, I have too many units. Whoa. Try to keep up. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. I mean... I have to. You guys all understand, right? I have to. I have to start building up stacks now. I have to be a psychopath. How can I not? Also, this guy, I think, would have beaten me if I didn't level. Funny enough. Wait, hang on. Is it just me, or he might beat me even after I leveled? No, give me your lunch money. The streak must continue. 
Give me your lunch money. Jalio? Let's move. I've got people to inspire. I feel like I'm supposed to play a trick shot, but I, I can't imagine where you would play it. The only spot is to play it over set. Okay, guys, I promise you, being level 8, 0 gold on 3-6 on, with a win streak is exactly how TFT was intended to be played, okay? This is exactly how the game was meant to be played. I almost lost. Yeah, this set does not fit the game, the board. All right, go home set. We don't want you here. Need a trick shot. Need a Kaisa. Do you think a one star Kaisa is better than a two star server with damage items? Probably. Travels in. I will not hold back. Um. Oh, these items are a little yucky. Okay, I'm gonna roll like twice and try to hit one Soraka or one Kaisa. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna roll the zero now. I'm on pair. Oh fuck, there was a Kaisa. Oh my god. No prison can hold me. Oh no. I'm gonna lose because I didn't set up my board. Oh fuck. I actually lost because I didn't set up my board. No, I only have myself to blame. Lucky Ricochet. Uh, Lucky Ricochet is only good if you're playing like four trick shot, I feel like. I mean, I could maybe actually play four trick shot here. Four trick shot, four bruiser. I feel like I'm supposed to just take Unified here. Would I take Lucky Trick Shot and play a Kaisa 1? I mean, I'm in a pretty good spot for it, I feel like. All right, let's give it a try. Then I'll keep this Teemo. All right, let me think about this. So, there's definitely no room for Zoe. Go to hell. There's also no room for Orin. Go to hell. And... I would say there's no room for Kench. Go to hell. Okay, so I'll just chill out now. And then I need to eventually roll for the 2-star Galio, 2-star Kai'Sa, 2-star Silas. Wait, guys, I won! What if I roll right now? So what trick shot am I missing? I guess Bard, but also ideally Kaisa. Travel awaits. The last time I ate a plant was never. Heavens bless me. All right, that's good enough. Okay, so here's the question. I. Uh, how do I improve my board from here? Let's think about this. So you don't need five star weaver, right? I just need the, the shred, that's it. So you can drop Zyra and you can drop Garen. 
Okay, then who would you throw in if you had two extra unit slots? Is it two more bruisers? No, it's two more trick shots. Okay, so then I have two bruisers here, but if we agree that it's two more trick shots, then it, these guys can go. Ooh, your Aatrox? No, I don't. I don't think it's actually good. It's not better than my current board. Just for Ink Shadow. None will escape my girl. I'll hang on to him though. I channel the spirits. I feel close. Yeah, I don't have a Behemoth. I I need an anti heal. Tattoo of Toxin. All right, I have I have not played four trick shots much at all. I think I tried like once and I got owned. But this does seem like the ideal set of prayer, right? Take that one. Okay, I'm gonna roll for uh one trick shot. So sell, sell, trick shot, trick shot. Oh god, it's fortune cash out guy. Oh god, he's so strong. Level 9, 2 star hoy. What the fuck? Okay, you know what? I have HP. It's okay. You can get first place. I'll settle for something else. Fifteen health might actually be pretty decent here, knowing that there's a fortune high roller. But the other way you can look at it is fifteen health is about a little bit more than one fight. So if eight gold makes the difference, I think it's eight gold. Because eight gold here helps me go nine and then hit my full board. Speaking of full board, what is my full board here? Well, you'd play, you'd play a uh, Zaya over Bard. And then you would just throw in one last buff to your team. You just throw in a Rakan. Wait, I don't think you can play Zaya and Rakan, can you? You can't like put a Zaya in the back and then a Rakan in the front. Okay, I mean, honestly, does Zaya even do damage? I could just uh, only play the Rakan. Oh, you can play two? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that'd be cool, I'm down. I'm pretty sure Zaya still sucks. Like, you should play Kaisa 2 over um, Zaya 2. Drop Soraka. Uh, she gives Heavenly and Altruist. It, that's a lot of team wide buffs. That's plus, it's like plus 5 or 10% tankiness to your whole team. And then also plus AP to your whole team. Also, it activates the emblem Omnivamp. So, like, the existence of Soraka is really good for my team. I think I sack one and then go in. So I'll go down to like 32 HP or something like that, and then I'll I'll spike. Hopefully I only lose to the high roller, so I'll be fine for a while. Hopefully. I am Alright, I think I need a guard breaker. We are okay, this champion delivery has literally given me nothing useful. Ah shit. No, I need a damage item. I, oh, Sterix. Sterix is not it. Okay, this is really sad. Oh no. She has a Kaisa too. All right, let's go nine and roll. 
Oh man, I might actually go like seventh place here. If I fail to hit Kaisa two, I think I actually go seven. Man, my board was so good early game. What happened? I mean, I got owned by the high roller, and then I failed to hit my Kaisa too. And then the high roller is gonna kill me off. Hello, Scott. Come on, Albert. You can do it. Hit Kaisa. Hit Zaya. Okay, should I just put this Rakan in the back as Zaya and then itemize a Zaya too? Like, I'm so desperate, man. All right, I'll, I'll roll it down for for the Kaisa one more time, and if I fail, that's what I'll do. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna go like seventh place here. Come on, Albert. Okay. Uh, I'll keep this. My turn. Why, thank you, Doc. I still want to get another Rakan. All right, I mean, this is my ideal board. My my Kaisa items are not ideal, though. Gwinsu's GS is, like, super not that good. Yeah, it was actually the 8 gold diff. I still need to get, like, an IE or something. But, like, this is the board I've seen other people play, and it looks very powerful. But I think this is also just a very high roll lobby right now. Lucky Ricochet, 4 Bruiser, 4 Trick Shot. It looks really good. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. My Kaisa walked up and got sent by the Trist. Oh my god. I'm actually going 7th place. This is so sad. It's a massive item diff. Alright, well, Guard Breaker. Are you serious? Dude. Dude, there was one damage item. And it got stolen. Holy shit. I'm literally gonna play a Sterex. What the hell? Okay, you know what I actually unironically blame this game on? I, I actually blame this game on the champion delivery. I have gotten zero champions that fit my build. Oh yeah, that, that is not even cap. I literally just like everything had to immediately get sold. That was so gross. Actually a very disgusting champion delivery game. Isn't it based on the units on your board? No, not this one. He zephyr cheesed me. He targeted me. Alright, well, I'm just dead. It's not even gonna be close. Okay, this is actually the most disgusting 7th place of my life. From the god start, to Mr. 100, to bullying people for lunch money, to being level 850 gold when everybody else is dying, 
to hitting absolutely nothing and then dying and then getting griefed on items and then getting griefed on the portal. The most unlosable game into a seventh. The fact that I couldn't make a third damage item the entire game was so gross. With the anvil, being unable to make an item is disgusting. I can't believe it. What a horrible start. It's fine though. The set has clicked. I will get all the LP back. Box box, you should have picked component anvil instead of eight gold. That's pretty stupid. Even in hindsight bias, that's pretty stupid. If I didn't take the eight gold, I wouldn't have hit my Kaisa too, and the game would have been over for the other reason. You understand that, right? I would have an itemized Kaisa one, and the game would be over. You can't predict that you're going to completely miss on the anvil and the carousel. And then say, ah, oh, I should have taken the other choice that would have covered that option. Yeah, if I took the component anvil, I would have ended up having an extra component. And then I would have less money, and I wouldn't have been able to go 9 and hit. Taking the component anvil there is a horrible choice there. You would, you would go, like, ninth place there. And it would be your fault. Thank you, the Dark Lord Chuckles. Thanks for the five months. All right, I'll play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, Perry Cowell. Welcome. Hello, Kim for the derp. Thanks for the four months. Two component anvils and two gold. My death. 
destination is clear. I go where the trouble is. Welcome back on the ad break. Let's see what we have here. I'm pretty mad. I need to get it all back. Get it all back. My destination is clear. Uh, let's think about this. Maybe a duelist angle. Duelist would be a very good early game. Uh, maybe fortune. So we don't need him. Probably don't need Caitlyn. Story is not yet finished. Oh yeah, give me Gargantuan Resolve. Not today is actually pretty interesting here. Because I could force it. Story champion. I don't have any guarantees. Oh, extended duel? Holy shit, wait, I'm so down. Witness cool strength. Yes. Zara two woke. No, I don't. I don't need the Zara two. Uh, TG is really good here. Save the other end though. Okay. Extended duel means just go six duelists. It's so actually one of my favorites. And then mid game, Nico, maybe Diana later. Wow, I lost. Wow, I just got Kirk Gantron resolved. Hello, Cat Q. Welcome. Could it be a faded game? No, it's definitely not a faded game. It's never a faded game here because with extended duel. This story is not yet finished. Yeah, with extended duel, like you need to just play duelists. This is an incredibly unflexible augment, but I also think it's fine. Yes. Fortune time. Uh, I don't think it's fortune time. Fortune time would be imply that like you didn't have a winning angle. Because I definitely have a winning angle here. Also, fortune cash out into duelist reroll does not sound good. It sounds very bad. Unfortunately. But like, again, you, you cannot pivot off of extended duel. The most I could see you pivoting is you play four duelists instead of six. Aurelia. I am living change. Yeah, I really don't think it, uh, extended duel is flexible at all, which is again fine. It's just it, it forces you to play the vertical. You cannot pivot, but if you play it, you're really strong. I would love to complete a second Titans here. I think the second Titans is more important than the BT. Okay, and we can do the anvil trick. Oh wait, did I win? Holy shit, I won. Does he also roll like gargoyle? Okay, anvil trick. Okay, so I don't have half of a Titans, but I do have half of a BT. So let's finish the other half of the BT. Let's get a sword or cloak here.
What a crazy trick. It's really cool that it exists. I can't believe it. Like, I only just now saw it for the first time. I feel like this this trick must have been possible for a long time. I only now realized. If I play this Yorick, I make Econ. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm done make Econ because I can play this Silas for a stronger chance at winning. Yeah, Silas has a higher chance of winning, but York makes Econ. Is that trick allowed? What do you mean? Is it allowed? Every single high yellow player does it. Do you want Riot to permaban every single high yellow player? Yeah, I mean, th there's nothing that would imply that it's against the rules. It's been possible since the beginning of the game. Or since the beginning of Anvils. It's just nobody's thought of it until now. It's like the guy who first realized that when you get a champion from an orb, you shouldn't grab the champion until... Uh, until it's time. You know what I mean? If you have an orb that guarantees has a Diana, you shouldn't grab the Diana until you're ready to 3-star her. Assuming you already had a 2-star. But like, everybody just like, by default grabbed it because that's what they thought the behavior was supposed to be. Hello, Ashbu. Thanks for 28 months. There's nothing in the, like, in the rules of the game that would imply that this is like a bug. It, it functions exactly how you think it would. It just be, it's just that it took someone a long time to figure out how to do it. Which is pretty cool. Would I ever sell this Darius and Yasuo for Econ? I don't think I would. What anvil trick? Opening the anvil right before the carousel. Like, literally like one second before the carousel. It is such a game changer. It guarantees that you get a, a full item. Come on Darius, you can do it. I remember being confused. I was like, why, why are items flying around randomly? And then somebody explained it to me. I, I was like, holy shit, that is so smart. This story is not yet finished. Uh, okay. I'm a little bit worried. I have extended duel, and I haven't hit a duelist since then. But, like, the original augment was so good. It gave me Darius 2, Yasuo 2. Honestly, at this point, you you might as well, like, try to hit a Yasuo 3. I'm pretty close already. I wonder if I'd ever roll here to set up four duelists and try to keep my streak. Well, let's see York 2. Ah, uh, even Shred is good. I go where the trouble is. The grave is your home. You forgot okay, to I feel like I'm actually down to roll a little bit here is clear. and try to hit one duelist. I am uh oh. Uh oh. I herald the greatest blessing. Dude. Are you serious? Wait, that was so gross. What the hell? I just rolled, I think, five times, and I saw zero units that were relevant to my build. Zero Yasuo, zero Darius, zero Kiana, zero Tristana, zero Volibear. And zero supporting units either. If I lose my streak here, it's probably just a forfeit angle. I'm too far behind now. Let's at least see the augment. But that was gross. I rolled at five because like I'm at five Darius's five Yasso, so you could actually be interested in hitting. Oh boy. Keepers is not horrible. I do feel like it's team building and try to hit something three star. Especially now after what, what just happened. You're probably, we're probably just sitting. That was actually disgusting. A complete waste of 10 gold. And I, I'm, I'm confident that level five was the correct level to roll at considering what we could hit. How are you meant to play Golden Remover? You just always slam your best items on anyone and then just 
rearrange it as you hit upgrades. Golden Remover allows you to use that random two-star Gnar as an item holder without having to like think about selling him. It lets you slam all your tank items on this York, even though you want to move it later once you hit a one-star Orn. Okay. I honestly think that I'm supposed to slow roll here. There's a couple ways you could think about this game. You could... You could go 7, like tempo to 7, and then just like start rolling at 7 for the rest of the game. Trying to hit 3-star volley, 3-star Tristana. But because I have 5 Vyasos, 5 Dariuses, I don't think that's the play. I think you're actually supposed to roll... Down to 40 that. here. And set something up. Set up a three star Darius, carry the mid game, and then just like slap a TG on him and call it a day. And also, rolling at five is not horrible for uh, Volibear and Tristana odds. Rolling at 7 is the highest odds of Tristana Volibear. It's 40% per shop. Whereas uh, level 5 is 20%, but you also will see these Dariuses and the Alsos. I think I'm actually down. Uh, I just want a second Titans. Bow, Chain. There's one on a Volibear. What's the difference between slow and fast rolling? Slow rolling is uh, above 50 gold. You maintain the, you get the most amount of gold to roll, but you have to do it very slowly, only rolling a little bit per round. Roll, rolling down fast is like going down to zero immediately on one turn. Okay, I'm actually down to roll down to 40 and try to hit something. See if I hit like a Kiana. I alone decide my fate. I've never played Extended Duel like this. I'm curious to see how it'll go. My gut feeling is that it's not going to go well. Uh, the difference that we're doing here is that we are staying low level to hit the Yasuo 3, Darius 3. The reason why is because I naturaled 5 of each, and I don't want to... Um, I don't want to pass up on that. The, the standard game plan would involve just, like, selling these two with items, and then moving them, and then just, like, putting in the new ones, putting in the substitutes. Uh, and then just going seven and then rolling for Tristana Volibear. Instead, I'm going to tr still try to hit a three star of them, slap some random items on them. Well, Yasuo can keep the TG. I'll probably keep the items on Darius until I'm ready, because Darius is basically a baby Volibear. Keep the Volibear items on Darius until I hit Volibear three. Is it a good plan? I don't know, but I'm down to try. We might lose, but for science. Okay, so here I think I need to roll down. I think I need to roll down for uh, every single duelist here, especially trying to hit three Yasos. And then this is one of those, like, if you don't hit, it's a BG. This, t this round I need to roll like as deep as possible because I will be level 6 soon. Oh my god, I lost the 3 cost. 
Oh, these items are not good. Okay, I think I've changed my mind. After seeing this, I'm going to sack one round and I'm just going to level. I just hit like three Vola Bears. Oh, I, I should have leveled to six. What am I doing? Okay, I, I don't know why I didn't level to six. I might as well. It was it was like free HP save. Okay, so I'm gonna go seven here, and then I'm just gonna start rolling. I'll try to stabilize my board immediately. I have three duplicators coming, or two duplicators right now, and then one more coming. The best thing I get here is Duelist Crest. Duelist Crest would actually potentially be at first place. Also, just like a good combat augment. Oh, I'm pretty sure long distance pals is really good here. Okay. All right, long distance pals. All right, I need a Lee Sin. You forgot to bow. This is necessary. <sighs> Um, these items are really sad. It's probably gonna be a JG Tristana. Do you want to use that way to print a 3-star Darius? Uh, I think printing 3-star Velibur is more important, because I already moved my items over. If I keep this way for a while, I could do it, but... I'm not sure if I have the time to do that. Yeah, I mean, the game's gonna end, like, right here. Oh, actually, I know. I'll just hit a Vil. I'll just hit. This story is not I'll just hit. Finished. Right? Here. Well, I mean, that was a quote-unquote hit. Here comes the boom. Light him up. Okay, since I'm going Titans on the Volibear, I'm pretty sure you have to do this. It feels really bad, but like this needs to be Titans on Volibear 3. Okay, I'm gonna just hit one Volibear, then triple dupe, and then I'll get a natural Darius 3. But uh, this game's basically over. This is what happens when you roll down and completely miss. Why are you playing two Yasos? It's because I didn't hit the least in yet, but I don't have a unit to play. Alright, I mean, there is a path. If I can hit one Lee Sin and one Vola Bear, there is actually a path. Oh. All right, well, that's the Titans. And then LDP will make whoever... Yeah, LDP will make whoever shares these items really strong. This story is not yet finished. Okay, come on, Albert. One Volibear, you can do it. Oh. Wow. Um. Okay, honestly, do I even need Tristana three? So, this is actually very interesting, because I can go for Irelia too. 
I can print the Darius 3 and the Yasuo 3 back to back, and then I can dupe the Irelia and then have Volley 3, Irelia 2 as my two carries. I just got completely smoked. This is the build I played last game. I'm so jealous. This guy actually was able to hit items on his Kai'Sa. He's level 850 gold. He just smoked me. We're probably dead. I alone decide my Probably do this right now. This is necessary. Man, I'm so frustrated. That rolldown was actually horrible. My build's like finally not bad, but it might be too late. One bad fight, it's all over. Alright, I think I'm dead. Oh, one life. If I, if I go eight, I could play Exalted. Exalted actually looks kind of good here. Uh, so I need a Soraka specifically. But I, I would take basically any Exalted, so Rek'Sai, Ari, Alune. Hello, VDP. Welcome. Paint fades. Life fades. Okay, I'm just gonna level. So... What do we need here? I need one exalted unit. You forgot to bow. Heavens bless me. Heavens bless me. Okay, I'm pretty sure you are supposed to do a Titans here. And you do Titans Irelia. I'm pretty sure. Because then um the Titans the Irelia gives Volibear stacks. Oh fuck, this guy is too strong. All right, the only way I can win is if my Volibear goes infinity with all the stats. It's gonna be iffy. He could, it is LDP. You're so close. You were literally like one auto off. Well, that's the most depressing game of my life. We knew the game was over on level five when we rolled and failed to hit anything, like literally anything. And then we just had to sit there and try to salvage it. And we got so close to salvaging it too, but it was unfortunately too weak. It was like barely too weak too. The Volibear 3 was crazy. We're also like a few turns away from getting Irelia 2. And Irelia 2, that might actually be first place material. You get Irelia 2, you sell the Huey for like a Dragon Lord or an Ultraist, preferably both with a Rakan. And you actually like have the stats needed to make it God Bear. That is incredibly frustrating. I, like, I, don't, I don't even think we were wrong to roll at five. I think it was like absolutely correct. We have a streak, we have five Yasos, we have five Dariuses. Rolling can make progress towards a three star. Rolling can make progress towards getting four duelists to stabilize your board and keep streaking. Like, I definitely don't think it was wrong. I just think we didn't hit. There was like eight units that make my board stronger and in 10 gold, I saw none of them. It was like just enough for the game to not be literally over, but it was mostly over. And then as you saw, we almost salvaged it, but we were a little bit, a little bit short on power. I needed to hit 10 gold sooner and save a little bit of HP. Did Volibear get nerfed? No, I don't think he got nerfed. I think uh, other builds are just pretty good. Like, you saw at the end, that Volibear wasn't bad. He was competing against endgame boards. The problem was, like, you're supposed to save a lot of HP when you play Volibear. Or when you play Duelist. Duelist is supposed to, like, win streak early. And, like, I couldn't win streak early because I saw zero Duelist for the first 25 shops of the game. 
I went extended duel, which forces you to play a duelist. There's no pivoting. And then we didn't see a duelist for 25 shops. It was actually disgusting. Like, that is just how TFT is sometimes, but holy shit, I'm very frustrated. This is two games in a row now of, like, blatantly missing. All I can hope for is that it gets a little bit better. Alright, I'll play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, there's my Volibear. This story is not yet finished. Okay, we're definitely not playing a Lune. If I get a bow or rod, I'll consider the Bard angle. When life gives you sour Wait, Titans? Oh, not again. We are going to once again rely on the bear. Thank you, Zaximus. My destination okay, is clear. We're definitely playing it. Yes. Hello, Bubble Gap. Hello, Ninat. Welcome. The Exalted is not useful for us. Imagine. <laughs> Wait, these items are actually really good. Lucky pause. Alright, not in this game. Uh, the best thing I can get here is Duelist Crest for sure. Duelist Crest. Dang it. Uh, stationary support is good enough. I want to reroll it and try for Duelist Crest, but the odds are just so low. It's definitely my best choice right now. Oh, Banshees. Okay, Banshees is actually quite large. Hey, I did it! I hit Duelists. Damn, Albert. You're so good at the game. You you actually hit them this time. Alright, well, here's the Titans. Sterex is, like, pretty good. Let me look up how it does on Volibear. But it's actually pretty good, because even though Volibear looks like an AP champion, he still does a lot of physical damage. Uh, so Sterex is like totally fine. But the question is, how does it compare to a second... How does it compare to a second uh, Titans? According to the stats, Sterex Gage is... decent. It's definitely not better than a second Titans. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look at the item trios. Right. Volley Bear item trios. BT Titans Titans has the best average pl placement. What about BT Titans Sterex? Okay, BT Titans Sterex is definitely like uh, noticeably worse. It goes from like God Bear to pretty decent bear. Okay, then I'll just like wait for uh, an even showed. I was gone for three minutes and we already have a Volibear of the Titans. Yeah, this is what last game should have been. Or I, like, this is the board that I wanted to hit on stage three. That's why I rolled. But like after rolling on stage three, I couldn't hit this board. And this time we naturaled it. I deserve this. I deserve every bit of this LP that I'm going to get here. Although, we shouldn't get too excited yet. The, ga the game's not over yet. Hello, soup. Thanks for the two months. Hello, senpai. I haven't streamed in a long time. Like, four days or so. I've been playing a lot of Helldivers. And Tekken. I got this, uh... This new controller. Sagem gave me a very fancy leverless controller. And the idea behind it is very interesting. Uh, your movement, instead of going like D-pad or up, down, left, right, it's like attached to these four buttons that are in a very weird hand position. It's like very natural for your hand to press, 
but it's not very natural in terms of like like the the up button is we're in the middle the down button is on the far bottom right of the controller it's really weird I've been trying to practice with it, but I actually think I'm going to give up on the controller. I tried it for about five hours, and the unnatural movement is so awkward. Also, this guy's contesting me. Golden spatula. Okay. At least it's equal. There are no force natures. This guy's contesting. BT volley bear. BT volley pair. Okay, I know what I want. Luckily, the thing that I want, I don't think anyone else is going to want. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I got it mixed up. I got it mixed up. Uh, on the leverless controller, the bottom button is up. And the the middle button is down. Sorry, that, that was my bad. Destination is clear. But yeah, I uh, I can feel it when I use a controller. I'm a lot faster. The amount of time it takes me to like, like once I know I want to do a move, you basically can do the move almost instantly because your your hands are already in the correct spot for it. There's no moving across the controller, uh, which adds like a few milliseconds of of time. If I want to parry, I just have to press like my uh, my index and middle finger together instead of like move my thumb across the controller to the other side of the d-pad but yeah I had a lot of trouble thinking about like how to move and then it, it got in the way it was like in practice I could do all my combos but then whenever I was like in a fight it's like wait okay this grab is down, forward, one, two. And it's like, okay, which one's my down? Which one's my forward? And then, like, I keep screwing it up. It doesn't come naturally. And I got, I got really frustrated. I also looked at it out of curiosity. And apparently, leverless controllers are actually not that popular. Uh, apparently, leverless controllers are very, um, they're, they're in the niche. And that most people use either like an Xbox controller like I do, or they use uh, like a deep pat, uh, like a joystick. So I might actually just give up on the leverless idea. I really wanted to do it because I really wanted to have like the faster reaction time. Do I win this? Oh fuck! I think I lose. Oh wait, actually, hang on. Hang on. This bear is actually going crazy wait he's like perfectly healing oh my god what pog what the hell I, I like was ready to give up on my streak I was about to say like oh, it's not that bad we still have money yeah vol hitting a volley one early game my god Okay, this guy has Volibear 2, and he has Trade Sector. If he's going to roll for Duelist, I probably can't beat him, because I can't afford to roll yet. Uh, what are my other options to play BT Titans? I mean, late game, there's Udyr. Oh, another spat? Oh, imagine if that was a spat. Oh, what the? Wait. Hang on. Lucky Gloves? <laughs> Wait. What's going on here? You forgot to bow. Wait. <laughs> okay, this is actually like this is actually pretty crazy. Okay, if I get lucky gloves, I will scream. 
Yo, Yone is pretty good with Heavenly Spat. Okay, I haven't scouted yet, but there's just no way that Yone is available, right? There's no way Yone is available. I refuse to believe it. In an all spat lobby, like surely somebody is thinking, oh boy, I can't wait to slam a heavenly spat and force Yone. And then I definitely can't go, I can't downgrade. Like I can't now try to hit an R3. It needs to be an upgrade. So it's like you go for a four or five cost carry. Oh, fine vintage. I don't think I take it here. My items are way too good. I don't think I take fine vintage. Like, there is a cool pivot where you make a heavenly spat and then just sell all your units and then find vintage it up. Recon Bob. Uh, no, I only have one three cost. It's actually not very good here. Okay. All right, lunch money again. Oh boy, here I go, bullying kids out of their lunch money. Uh, I have a cane here. I'm coming for you. <laughs> there is a very real pivot I could do. Uh, it's a cane, Kha'Zix, Heavenly, and then BT Titans cane. And then you make a Heavenly spat, and then you just like tempo that to nine. That, that is real, but I think what would be much more real here is get a Volibear too. Okay, well, I'm definitely rolling until I hit something here. Kiana 2, Darius 2, wait, no, uh, Kiana 2, Volibear 2, 6 Duelists, random 1 star legendary. <laughs> Fuck it, give me an Udyr right here. Alright, Albert, you can do it. Boom! Boom, hit a bear. Bear. Come on, Albert, you can do it. Hit a bear. Bear. Always a release. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, shit. If I lose here, I only have myself to blame. I went all in saying, oh, I'm just like one Volibear bear away from stealing everybody's lunch money and then going nine. This, this would be like the perfect time to play like a Volibear 2 to 9. The items are perfect. My supporting units are perfect. There is a chance that I might play this cane instead, but like only if some miracle happens. Volibear is just like so, so fitting here. Holy crap, the one star Volibear just healed to infinity. Okay, uh, I'm gonna sell. I'm Oh, wait, I'm so stupid. I didn't have to sell. I had lunch money. I <laughs> fucking healing. I forgot. Alright, I had lunch money. Okay. Alright, odds of me hitting Elise in. Okay, I'm definitely slamming the Sterics. Is Red Blood and Bear not good? No, it is not. Uh, he's much better with Titans. If you take the Rage Blade, it wouldn't be horrible as a tempo play. Okay, I'm gonna roll. And I really mean it, guys. I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit a bear. Oh, Leeson. One bear, please. Oh, God. One bear, for the love of God. For the love of God, please! Thank you. Oh my god, just in time. Okay, I'm, I'm slamming this. I need to win. Just in time, holy shit. To face this guy who also leveled up and rolled. Come on, bear. You need to outbear the bear. Yes! Okay, this is actually huge. Because this guy was streaking. If I didn't hit the bear on that final roll, I would have lost this round and the game would have been over on the spot. Because my contester would keep streaking. Oh my god, that is so huge. Okay, I had to slam an awkward item, but like, this isn't that bad. This is like the third best item on Volibear. Oh, wait, this is awesome. My econ is restored.
My econ is restored. I've been seeing a double rune on tech with Tristana. What are your thoughts? I mean, Runons is really good on her. She is somebody who does a very large amount of physical damage on her auto. So Runons, Runons is good on anybody who does a lot of physical damage. You, you smell me? Therefore, if given the choice to, uh, Hurricane is a very optimal item slam. It basically is like deal 50% more damage. Arguably even more than that because she, not only is the Bolt doing 55% auto attack damage, it also gives her attack speed. And it also gives her damage. So like, it gives her a little bit of everything and then like doubles her damage output. Give me your lunch money. Okay, so last time I lunch moneyed, win streaked, and then died. Because I didn't hit anything in the end game. This time, surely I will hit. So what's my end game? Well, I'll keep six duels in for a while. Cap out with Irelia. Uh, and then just like late game, try to pivot to like Endgame Dragonlord board. Um, drop the Darius. Drop the Yasuo. Play like, oh dear. Orn, Azir. Yeah, I think it's doable. So this time we're not going to think about ruling at all because this guy's contesting. Uh, what spat do I want to slum then? Probably just Heavenly. I think we will always have Heavenly units here. Hello, Ishvano. Thanks for 11 months. My god. I need a cloak. Uh, what are my options here? My options are Sunfire. Sunfire Gunblade. Well, do I have a spat I want to make? No, I don't. Uh, it's probably Sunfire Gunblade. Otherwise, Edge of Night Morelos. Yeah, it's definitely Sunfire Gunblade. Gunblade is a fine item. Let's give it to Tristana. And then, Lee Sin can hold the Sunfire. Oh fuck, there's a Yone with a really strong item. But I, I think my build is pre pretty equipped to handle this. Yeah, my bear is kind of kicking his ass. It'll be a while until anybody has the damage needed to beat this bear. You know what I just realized? Isn't this Volibear extremely similar to Shioyu from set 8? Or set, set 7. It's like a 3 hit thing that, that stuns the target. It's like very close, now that I think about it. I didn't even realize. Um, Heavenly Crest looks great here. It's not Little Buddies. It could be Epitaph. I need to think about Heavenly here. So, Heavenly would go hard late game, like double Heavenly Crest. Uh, I don't think it's Best Friends. Gifts from the Fallen's also good. These are all pretty good. Um, Epitaph is best for right now. 100% Epitaph is best right now. Heavenly Crest won't become good until like a little bit later, once I have more Heavenly units in, and then like the bonus goes to like 600 or 200%. Uh, I'm gonna reroll it. Okay, Epitaph. All right, roll until I hit like a good random unit. Oh, you know what? Dragon Lord was definitely better. Ah, shit. How does Double Heavenly Spat work? Oh, good question. I don't even know how it would work. Would you get the Omni Map twice? Or would it just like not stack? I don't even know. I didn't even think about the part. Come on, Volibear. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, I think I lost. No, you were actually very close. Man, if I play this Janna, it might have been better. This is necessary. Okay. I just had like six different people tell me either it stacks or it doesn't stack. And they gave me very mixed answers. That was incredibly not useful. Half the people are very confidently saying it doesn't work and half people are confidently saying it does work. I'm going to just not think about it.
I'm pretty sure it won't work. From from like how the game looks to be, it doesn't look like it would work. Wait, I can't believe I didn't notice that Volibear was literally just Shoyu from set 7. Because Shoyu is my favorite unit in the entire game, like ever. Literally my all-time favorite. Come on, Trist. Clutch it. Yeah, Shoyu's spell was she gets tanky for three autos. And then, like, each of her three autos does, like, a small, like, stun. Or it gets empowered. Whereas this Volibear is three hour autos get empowered and heals and then stuns. It's, like, very, very close. Uh, I don't know what I need here. I think it's a bow. I have a gunblade, so I'm thinking, like, you're going to have some backline carry. Oh. Oh. This unit's good. My journey's only beginning. Okay, it might already... Is it time to drop six duels? Probably not yet. But like, I'm ready to drop Yasuo. Hmm. I'm ready to drop this Yasuo Darius and then start putting in more buffs. But right now, the 12% the less damage taken, I think, is too big of a deal. Oh, I, I just destroyed this guy. Lunch money, please. A taste of the dragon's fury. Wukong doesn't have space to walk up. Fuck the monkey, man. I don't even like him. He's only being played for his buffs. <laughs> Two random support items. That's, in general, pretty good for, for melee builds. Uh, Randuin's... Okay, wait. So how do I want to do this? Probably put them both on Lee Sin. Oh, wait. No, hang on. I think it's like this. Oh, fuck. Ah. Ah. Uh oh. <laughs> I think that what I have here is good, but I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like I'm playing backpack battles. Was there a better way to do this? Oh, it's fine. It's temporary items. Just buff this vault. This guy has a set two on eight. What the? What the? That's not fair. It's crazy. I have three three different support items to position for. Wait, someone has that earlier too. Really? Where? Oh fuck! Okay, well at least this guy wasn't going for faded. All right, this guy wasn't going for duelists. So he'll eventually die off and then I will hit. Improve your skills. Then find me again. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I want a cloak here, right? This component almost always wants to be a cloak because Heavenly Spat's the only flexible endgame spat, I believe. Okay, and then that leaves red buff, which is fine. Red buff and Sunfire, not not the worst. And then a full item for my backliner. 
Uh, Irelia will already shred. So I think it's Giant Slayer. Yeah, we're gonna have like a bit of a redundancy here, but I think it'll be fine. We'll have right buff Sunfire. Okay, I mean, I'm getting kind of owned here, but it's fine because I can go nine now. I think I'm supposed to sack two more. If I sack two, I will. I'll have time to roll. Would I ever full sack? If I want a full sack, I could get two stacks of Hoi here. No, I think I, I want to save the HP. But yeah, if I if I go now, I just like don't have time to level. Also, I need this I really player to die. Oh, um. Okay, so not playing these guys. Okay, so what's my game plan? Well, I want to pivot off of Duelist almost entirely. I think the end game, the only Duelist I want are Lee Sin and Irelia. Don't need anybody else. After that, it's just like standard end game legendary board. Irelia will just have all of Tristana's items one to one, and then Volibear will move his items to like a two star Wukong or Udir. Okay, sack one more round. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Next round is gonna be big. Uh, I I need to I need to mentally prepare. I'm gonna sell, maybe not Kiana, but I'll sell Volibear, Yasuo, Tristana, Darius, and then I will pivot to like an all legendary and four cost board, with only like Diana and Kiana for support. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, I'll be holding to this Janna. I'm gonna sell this Volibear in advance. I'm gonna sell this Tristana. Just like mentally prepare myself. Okay, unfortunately this guy's not dead and he's holding through Aurelia's. But I, I have to roll down now. The whole lobby's getting really low. I, I've been stacking rounds for like half the game. Cause I didn't want to have to... All right, I want to be able to go nine with a lot of money. This Volibear honestly got me quite far. All right, two lives, let's do this. Is Exalted worth? No, I don't think so. Too hard to fit in. All right, I mean, as long as I have a decent board, it's top four. It could maybe even be a first, but how am I ever going to beat the guy who hit a two-star set while playing Faded at level eight? Like, literally, he he made a Faded Crest, and then he naturally two-star set. That is, like, too lucky. Oh, uh, Shiv is good here. Oh, Shiv is really good here. It's also Ornn, too. One guy, two-star really. Yeah, I saw it. It's the guy I just faced. I wanted him- I was hoping he would die off before I rolled so I could hit the Irelia, but I definitely have to roll right now. I'm at two lives. It'd be a massive throw to not roll. Why not spend gold down to 50 now? Bro, you understand that, like, I can't level up. That's not how it works. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. This story is not yet finished. My journey's only beginning. Be my canvas. The power of a dragon. Come on, Albert. Figure it out. You got, you do have two lives at least. Okay. Not a bad pivot. I still need to drop one more duelist. I need to drop Darius. Honestly, I don't even need that really anymore. Deny me no longer. Okay. Uh, just hit like anything Some here. Call me oh, evil. that is. Oh, wait, Shall wait, wait, wait. Prove them right? Show me the 
Okay. This is pretty good. I think I'll just give this to Udyr. Like, it's fine. A bit awkward, but it's fine. Is there anyone else who can take a Steric's Gage? It was originally supposed to be Wukong. Well, Wukong was supposed to take all of it. So that was my bad. I'm just gonna give it to Udyr. It's not horrible. It's a bit wasted because it's an AP unit though. Oh god, it's the heavenly guy. I think I live at least. I should be alive. Ah! Oh yeah, by one. By one only unit. <gasps> okay. Man, I actually completed my pivot pretty well. Ah, let's get a way through. <laughs> I actually completed my pivot pretty well, but I'm still getting owned. Some of these endgame boards are just too strong. Man, only a fourth. My, my early board was so good. I mean, if I hit a Rakan, my endgame is pretty complete. Okay, wait, I'm not even kidding. Double Hoi might actually be something interesting here. Double Hoi too. We are made by our choices. Okay, I need one Rakan. One Rakan. As you wish. I don't think it's worth it. One Rakan. One Rakan. 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 Yes. Okay, winning this fight would be so huge, especially if I kill him. If I kill him, I think it's tough too. If I lose, obviously it is a fourth. Oh fuck, I didn't position, but maybe it's good enough. Monkey clutches this. Nice. Nice! Oh, I actually top two. Is empty without empathy. Rakan. 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 Stick to the plan. We have a plan? Okay, I mean, it's probably the end. This is probably the end. Oh, it's a ghost board. Maybe I beat the ghost board and then this guy loses. Cause this set two is like illegally powerful. That's just what happens when you force faded and then you hit your ideal legend. That's like if I played duels and hit two star really at eight. He he can have his first place. I will play for the second. It's Rakan and Zaya, you gotta mention his wife. Fuck his wife, man! I am only interested in the Rakan. Wait. Set two guy lost? Uh oh. Is it a third? Wait, I lost! No! The Syndra just clutched it out. Damn. Third place is fine there, but I was just sad because I thought it could have been more. I didn't have. My Hui doesn't do enough single target damage, and all my other guys were dead. That's not too bad, though. It was like about to be a sixth if I didn't salvage it at nine. How does she heal? I. She has the Faded Link. Set and Thresh, so she gets a lot of resist, and then she also gets Omni Vamp. So in the end of a fight, the Syndra is doing so much. Oops, the Syndra is doing so much single target damage that she um, she like casts, deals like three thousand damage, and heals for like fifteen hundred HP. So the only way to kill her is to like stun her or have a lot of single target damage, which I had neither. I only had like my um my Hoi alive at the end. It's a matchup that I wasn't expecting to win, so like, I'm not too upset about that. Did they link set with Syndra? No, they usually link set with Thresh, because it, it's like the two tank traits together, and then you have time to scale up, and then your Syndra becomes like a raid boss at the end, or your Aphelios 3. 
I had games where I play sub and faded Aphelios 3, and then, like, when he's the last one alive, he actually, like, 1v9s because he's so tanky. He takes damage, he casts his ability, heals back to full, and repeats. Should have abandoned the Udir to give Wukong the items. Oh, I definitely think that's incorrect. Like, I should have made the correct decision. You know what I mean? Like, I should have slammed all my items on Wukong mid-pivot, but, like, I was dizzy. I did a million operations in one turn. And, like, I got that one operation wrong. But, like, once I'd already slammed items on Udir, you definitely should not be selling the Udir there. If I abandon the Udir there, I become, like, quite a bit weaker. If I had an Udir copy available, yes, I should swap. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. I need to go play a game that's like Dark Souls, but with a sexy protagonist. I heard that one recently came out. I need to give it a try. Oh, define reflex. Thanks for 15 months. Did you just play Neo? Yeah, Neo 2 was great. That was probably my favorite Dark Souls but with sexy characters game. Hello, one fungal pop. Hope everything is good. Everything's pretty fine. I've been playing a lot of Helldivers. I've been having a fun time off stream. I don't normally stream on weekends, but I felt like I hadn't streamed in a while. I'm ready to climb 200 LP and then go back to Helldiving. Oh wait, I don't think I want Anvil Buffet. I feel like it's very like force heavy. break is there any Tekken tonight not tonight I'm still trying to get used to the leverless controller I uh, I demoted like three times I like dropped three full ranks because I am failing to understand how to use the controller it feels really bad I I cannot understand the leverless like mechanic like 
the the right hand is fine the left hand is not the left hand is the one that controls the movement I definitely could have made 10 right there. If I was ready to sell everything, I probably should have. What's leverless? Uh, it's it's a type of controller. Give me one second and I'll show you. Pretty sure I'm not playing Yone, like almost no matter what here. One, two, three, four. Why is sticks and stones so bad? Guaranteed shred and sunder. Um. Let's do silver spoon. Okay, I have a very interesting board. Never a dull moment. I'm probably not going to slam the Hodge. The only unit who could use it was maybe that Yone, but even then, Hodge alone as the first item is pretty bad. Okay, so this is the Leverless. It's like a it's a controller where instead of a joypad, you have um you have like your movements here and this like button down here. This is your up. It's really weird. And then uh left, right and down are over here. The idea is not that it like makes sense. The idea is that you just get to put one every single finger is responsible for one action and it makes it so that once you're, you are used to it, the amount of time it takes to like think of something and then respond is very fast. You know what I mean? You smell me? I uh, Cuz normally like when you're playing on a controller, once you think of something, you have to like move your thumb to the right location and that takes a little bit of time. That takes a couple frames. So you're like permanently a little bit slower. I herald the greatest blessing. Death is not always a release. Yeah, you are permanently a little bit slower. Uh, when playing on controller. But I've been trying. I've, I've tried for like five hours now, and I I, I could not get used to it. I keep on getting confused when trying to do my combos. I'm like, oh, I need to do down back four. And it's like, wait, which one was which one was down? Was it my thumb or was it my middle finger? It's so frustrating. Oh. No prison can hold me. When life gives you sour vandalberries. Well, fuck me sideways. That's a Silas. I could actually unironically no cap for real for real slam a Hodge on Silas and it would pop off. This is like a pretty interesting spot for flex play. What what could be my um What could be my backline? Maybe my backline would be a kindred for Dryad. Alright, you know what? Let's let's see it, let's see it. Hodge Silas, do you make a diff? I would like to keep my streak here. Come on, Hodgeless. Hodge Silas, make me proud, son. Wow, it actually does make a diff. That's awesome. What the hell? Okay, I know that Silas's best items are Hodge, Crown Guard, and JG. Not necessarily in that order, but uh, I think I'm down for Rod here. Okay. Hmm. Another glove is a little bit dicey, but it is three gold. Also, Silas does a lot of damage. I could probably just play uh, Bruisers here. 
burdens of the past. If only I had like a different umbral unit. Cause York, I, I, I want like a backline umbral. Like, um, what's that bitch's name? Yone. No, um, if I had a, an Alune, I think it would've been really good here. Hello, Meepins. Thanks for the sub. Death is not always a release. Yone is a bitch. There's no way you can disagree with me on that. That unit is so annoying. Like, he's strong, but he is so obnoxious. Every single set that Yone is in, Yone is obnoxious. We all agree on that, right? Like, the amount of times where you think you have a good board, and then there's just like a guy with a Yone 3, and the Yone is unbeatable because you literally can't keep your backline alive. It, it's so high. Like, Yone is in that spot where like every single game, somebody wants to force him. Oh, thanks set. Like, I'm not saying he's badly designed. I'm saying that he's frustrating to play against. Okay, well, I'm down to, like, be flexible this game and just try to make it to nine. I think I want to position my Silas safe. Uh, I want him to take a little bit of damage. This is tough. If he's in this spot, there's a chance he gets sniped. Yeah, there is a chance he gets sniped in this spot. But also, he has a Hodge, so I kind of want him to like start healing. Fuck it, take my glove. You know what I just realized? This glove doesn't do anything, because he can't, doesn't have the ability to crit yet. This Darius is going fast! He's accelerating! Okay. In darkness, we find ourselves. Travel awaits. Okay. Is it ever a six bruiser Silas carry um like Umbral game? Guys, be honest. Isn't that kinda sick? Isn't that kinda like a tuber? How often do you get to play Silas carry? Like nobody thinks of Silas as a carry. Like everybody knows he's like a tank bruiser mage carry, but nobody ever plays around him. I could be the one, right? Like, I just happened to be playing Bruisers and Umbral, and then I happened to hit a Silas, and I happened to have items. It actually works out. This could be my Silas 3 carry. All I need now is a Rod. A Rod and then a Rod, in that order. Rod and Rod in that order. Rod and Rod in that order! Okay, <laughs> what if I played Titan's Silas? I mean, sure, that's not bad. Oh, life is good. Sure, that's not bad. I'm gonna look it up, but I'm pretty sure the stats will agree with me. Silas 2. Items. So his most played items are BT, Titans, Crown Guard, Hodge. Apparently, BT is like average. Titans is very slightly below average. TG is really good. Crown Guard is very, very good. By far his highest placing item. Uh, Adaptive Helm is also good. But I mean, I'm down to slam this Titans just because... Okay, I might as well wait this round. Okay, so let me look up his best performing item trios. So... It looks like it's BT, Titans, Crown Guard. Yeah, imagine I get Gargantuan Resolve right here. Holy crap, wait. Imagine BT, Titans, Crown Guard. Wait, Dryad Crest? I could do Dryless. Okay, there's only one downside. I already slammed. Wait, I gotta do it, guys. I gotta play Dryless. Okay, the only problem is that I already slammed this. 
this glove. So it's actually like pretty sad. Wait, okay, you gotta admit, this is awesome though, right? We are playing for Bruiser, for Dryad, Silas. I am so excited. It, it makes so much sense. It's AP and HP. That's exactly what Silas wants. And then we, we get him to start stacking immediately. Like, come on. Come on. How can you not like this? Also, I need a Yone for Umbral Reaper. But yeah. Okay. So how do I get this, T uh, this glove off? The first way is TG. Burdens of the past. Yeah, you have to make a TG basically, or you have to upgrade him and then put a Titans on. Are you gonna put the vest on Silas? No, that would lock in the item. I'll wait for this carousel. Man, I, I'm like getting punished for that glove slam earlier. Oh fuck, I think I lose. No! I actually lost because I couldn't slam the item. Sad. That's uh, my fault, I only have myself to blame. Who start? Dude. Oh man, I'm playing a build that does not need any three costs. Is there anything here that's useful? Like, I guess a Lune? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Pretty sure I want Glove. Oh, it's gone. Dude. That's such a frustrating event. Anyone who got like a anyone who was playing three cost for real just like won the game. This guy just got. Oh wait, he ended up selling. I was gonna say like the bard player gets a two star bard and wins the game. The yone player gets a two star yone. Oh. I really hate that event. Okay, well, I'm down to just chill for a bit. Well, actually, I'm down to slam a Sunfire. One source of anti-heal because we're so tanky. Should be good. What about your Titans? All right, I don't actually need Titans. The, the last item can be anything. It could be JG. Okay, so what do I want? For sure, I want six Dryad. And then my endgame is gonna be a Zir carry. Okay, sure, sure. Um, and then Silas will be my, my, my guy. You don't even need like the other bruisers, but we can flex them in for now. So if you have your six dry, uh, Dryads right here, what are like the most fitting units? Well, I mean, a there, are, there are a bunch of legendaries that fit here, right? Udyr fits with Behemoth, Set fits in with uh, Warden, and what do we got? Invoker? Oh, maybe a Lune for um Umbral and Invoker. Then you're almost at Faded. But I don't think you'd play a Sindra here. Oh wait, Set gives Umbral, you're right. If Set gives Umbral, then you can play anything like Annie. Or Lilia. I guess we'll keep it flexible. Okay. Dryless carry. I'm super excited for this. 
but I'm not excited for the fact that like half the lobby just made insane amounts of progress towards their reroll build. That part actually upsets me a lot. That event needs to be removed from the game. It is way, like, even if I benefited from it, I would still be calling for the removal of it. It's way too, like, if you happen to be loose streaking, you win. Oh, I got my glove. Alright, here's the TG. Wait, before that, let me, um... How much AP in the lobby? AD, AD, AD. All right, my mind has been made. Uh, let's roll until I get one decent unit here. Oh. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Okay, a faded unit can actually go pretty well here. And then I can start stacking set really early. Wait, did I win? Oh my god, red buff Kench. Let's go. Oh, Silas didn't cast. No! It's because I didn't put in the correct end, uh, final unit. I don't know what to do with these items. It's actually really tragic. Okay, Pandora's items could lead to something cool, but it's well, definitely not Umbral Crown. It's definitely not Warden Crown. It's definitely not Cybernetic. It could actually be Pandora's, but Pandora's is in general pretty bad here. Like, you can see right here, it has one of the worst average placements ever of all Radiant items, or all Prismatics. But like, it would let me fix my items. So maybe I'm down. I think I'm down. Okay, so what do I want my last item on Silas to be? Do I want my last item to be a JG? What do the stats say? Oh, I mean, I guarantee you there, there's nobody's playing Dryless in the stats. So we got to use our own brain here. I, I'm also down to think about Syndra's best in slot, which is a Nashers here. And then you probably want a spark somewhere. Yeah, I'll hold this cloak to make a spark. It doesn't have to necessarily... It doesn't necessarily have to go on, um... The Silas, though. And then I'll hold on to this QS or this Radiant item until it makes a Silas item or a Syndra item, because it definitely looks like Syndra is going to be my carry for now, which I think she'll do fine, right? It, it, this is a very creative board. I'm down. I did it! Wait. This guy just griefed me. He forfeited. Now I don't get to farm Dryad stacks. Gnar is not on Umbral. Why, why does that matter? My Umbral spots are full. Uh, okay. Spark does tend to do really well on Silas, but that's usually like if he's not the main carry. I think I'll take the Syndra, just have a Syndra. I'm pretty sure Syndra 2 will be my my carry. Because it'll be a while until you hit Azir. I wonder if Nashers is fine on Azir. His mana cost is a little high. Oh wait, radiant. Wait, oh, yeah, I got, I got to roll. I got to roll. 
I gotta roll until I hit. Oh. Uh, one upgrade of some sort. It's not looking good. I just rolled down 30 gold looking for a Silas or a Syndra, and I got neither. Such power. Okay, let me think. I do have a ship available. I do have a ship available. What does Radiant BT give? Uh, oh, actually, I don't even think I like the stats on Radiant BT. It gives AD, AP, Omni Vamp. Okay, I thought it only gave, I don't know why I thought this, but I, I thought it gave mostly AP. Here's Spark. All right, now get a blue buff on Syndra. Uh, okay, what are my options here? My options are roll it down for Silas 2, or try to survive two rounds and go nine. Actually, fuck it, I'll go nine right now. And then I'll roll once and I'll hit an Azir. For you. Time to take what's ours. All right, well, let's see what happens now. This is a very woke game. Let me be the first one to say this. This is incredibly woke. We are playing Dryless. We're playing Dryless with a Syndra sub carry. To play around the fact that Set is Umbral Faded Warden. And then Kindred is uh, Dryad Reaper. Oh, Dryad Faded, sorry. Very, very unusual build. This is like a one in a million game. I'm super down. Why did you make blue? It's not good for Azir. Bro! <laughs> I don't have time to play around the Azir. I need to play around what I have right now. Otherwise, I will die. I, will, I am not going to spend my remaining two and a half lives waiting for my items to reroll into an Azir item when I don't have an Azir right now. One roll! Oh, wait. Let's move. I've got people to inspire. Okay, so what's my end game here? My end game, I will sell Kench, sell Galio, play Orn, play Azir, and then I think that's it. My synergies should come up pretty beautifully there. Yeah, then it'll link the Annie uh, with my board. I gotta say though, I'm definitely disappointed in the Dryless. He doesn't seem very good. Okay, two lives. Is Annie actually good? I mean, once I get Azir, yes. She is a four cost tank who actually has like a pretty good ability.
Silas is not on an umbral space. Oh, is he not? Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, you're right. He's not. Oh, he's on a set tile. Oh, red or blue? Oh, man. I already have a blue buff. And I don't think red buff's good for me either. Oh, I think um, red buff comes with a reforger, though. Yeah, okay. I want to sell Kench here, but Kench definitely is my strongest board right now. No, no, no. I, I, I think I just win the fight by set and then give up on the Udyr. All right, everybody, pray. I'm a man with a mission. I need Azir to come home. Oh, I need an AP item. Oh, there are zero AP items. All right, TG again. <laughs> Let's do this. TG's on everybody. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need Azir. No prison can hold Azir. 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 We can do this. We can get first with Dryless. I believe in Dryless. Is it just me, or does this kind of suck? This is my wait. I took no. Ah! Okay, no. Hang on. At least the fourth. A red buff, really? Heart is empty without empathy. Come on, Azir. Me evil. Shall I I'm in my time life? of need, Azir. One more chance! Azir! No. Ah. Uh. Heart is empty without empathy. This story is not yet finished. At least play away. I need to live. Play does do something. He does apply anti-heal to the whole team. Is there a chance that Dryalus pops off? Dryalus, no! All right. Well, that sucks. The entire game lost because we couldn't hit our one unit win con. 40 gold at nine, zero Azir's. We don't even need him to like play him as a carry. We gave up on that long ago. I actually need him for the six dread synergy at all. That's so sad. The Dryless actually could have been sick. Why is it that every time we try to play a cool build, we just fail to hit and then we lose to somebody who forced the build? The Silas items were troll. I mean, what do you want me to do? Do, do? do you want me to like lose 30 HP to wait for the Radiant item to turn to something good? You understand that that's why Radiant uh, Radiant Pandora's has like such a bad average placement. It's because people greed too hard. People greed too hard on getting like the correct item that they just like die. 
Every round that you are playing without slamming the Radiant item, you are throwing away 20 HP. So you need to like take the first decent one. You do not have time to wait. Obviously it's ideal if I hit Radiant Crown Guard or Radiant JG, you know, or Radiant Titans. I would've been very happy, but the BT was good enough for me to slam. The reason why we lost was not because of the BT. The reason we lost was because we didn't hit one and zero for six Dryad to spike. Like, the amount of people who say like, oh, Radiant Item, Radiant Pandora is awesome. You get to get like best in slot. Like, you don't actually. The longer you wait, the longer you, or the more likely you are to just die. And unless you are, you have like the ultra win out, it's really bad. Like, there's this concept that every single good player understands and every single like bad player does not understand. I don't know if that's the right Such way to describe life. it, but like, it's a concept that some people do not understand and it leads to them like thinking certain things are really good when they're actually not um Watch it's like this. the idea of uh opportunity cost if you are playing if you have like six components and they're all really bad for your build and you have like five bards you want silver pandora's items you don't want prismatic pandora's items right you get why right because if you get prismatic pandora's items you still you you get the reroll effect yeah you get the reroll effect but then your opponents get something way better than a reroll effect whereas for silver augment you get the reroll effect and your opponents barely get anything there are a lot of people out there who unironically think like oh my god radiant pandora's it's lit no it's not lit it's actually the opposite of lit you you specifically wanted the silver one to be able to play the game It is a concept that goes over a lot of people's heads. The idea of like opportunity cost. Of like when you hire when you get something, your opponents are getting something equally good or sometimes better. So they like think that every time they get a prismatic augment, it's a high roll. Alright, well it's definitely not a cut above. Don't know what I'm playing exactly here. It could be shock treatment. No, I think I'd rather do you at my bow. Okay, I have no idea what we're playing here, but I'm down to just flex. Come closer. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Anyway, with all that being said, thanks for listening to my TED talk on why Radiant Pandora sucks and why it's like the worst performing prismatic augment in the game. I will see you guys after the ad break. I was supposed to play it earlier, but I was rambling. Four free rules this round. Oh shit. Um... Is there a chance that I can level up first before I do these rolls? Uh... I want to roll at 5 for, the, for these rerolls because there's like a small chance that you hit a random forecast and then just play off of it. The The awkward part is that you don't have enough money to hold any of your options. So like, I missed out on like what I think was a Straka 2 because I didn't have the money to hold it. Was it worth it? I'm not sure. I mean, if I hit a forecast, it would have absolutely been worth it, but I didn't hit a forecast and now I couldn't hold the unit. 
Well, fuck me sideways. That was pretty good. Every flower okay. Blooms to be I haven't experimented with the blue kale tech yet, so I'm just gonna just keep it standard. Not green, because I already have a shiv. Wait, why didn't this Jax get taunted? Oh, it doesn't matter. Never a dull moment. I think I'm supposed to buy this Teemo. I don't think Lily actually does anything here. Wait, wasn't this supposed to taunt? Taunt enemies within three hexes. It was definitely within three hexes. Okay, I mean, it's it's fine. I won the round. Uh, what do I want here? Uh, Zyra two. No place is safe. Lilia, you're cute, but I need econ. When life gives you sour bandle bandles, make bandle brew. Wow, I mean, what a what a wild twist of events, right? I was like, oh man, I leveled to five so that I could hit a four cost, and I didn't hit, and then I immediately get two four costs. Hello, KYR Birdman, thanks for the prime. Hey Annie, what was that song? What was that song that made everybody go vibe? Yeah, that one. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, there was a song that I heard that I was like, if everybody heard this, they would immediately go vibe. And he, would you believe it? He's in my living room right now. Star Kogma of too much candy plus all the rerolls. Holy crap. What's the name of this song? Uh, Looking for Something by Marcos G. I love names like that. Marcos G. What does the G stand for? It could be anything. I call this the Belt Diff. Are you guys ready for the biggest belt dip of your life? Oh wait, I think I still lost. Oh no. Wait, it's really close actually. Okay. Whew. It was actually not a belt diff. Looks like I would have won anyway. Oh, hello Ramblin. Nice to see you here. of the past. Oh wow, I just realized like how good Riven is here. I didn't even think about it, but like that that was a lot of synergy. Do you think Helldivers is gonna continue being updated? I haven't streamed in four days because I've just been playing Helldivers with my friends and uh and Tekken. And we're starting to get close to what I think is the end of Helldivers, and I'm worried that we're gonna like run out of things to do. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, I just got a small dupe and a big dupe? Wait, I didn't know that was possible. Small dupe, big dupe? What the? Yeah, I hope they'll keep updating it. 
Like, it doesn't seem like there's a very large variety of uh, missions yet, but there might be later. That's the vibe I got. Wait, what am I supposed to do with a dupe and a dupe? I, I probably go seven, roll a tiny bit, and then use both dupes to keep a win streak. The longer you hold a dupe, the more the value depreciates. Or, like, unless you're like, oh, I'll just open port, lose streak for a while, and then dupe the first pair of legendary I see. Like, that's also viable. Alright, I'm gonna go seven, I'm gonna roll once, and then the crowd goes poggers. Not silver ticket. Guys, would I ever take branching out and just pray for a miracle? I really shouldn't. Okay, it's definitely tri uh, unified. Alright. Can I get a pause champ in the chat? Boop. Come closer. Dang it. <laughs> I made one of the worst possible, most greedy plays ever, and then I didn't get rewarded. That was pretty fucking greedy. I was definitely supposed to just like sit and be fine with losing my streak. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to just like lose my streak. Wait, 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 maybe Gunblade Zyra clutches this? Rewarded for being a psychotic and greedy player. Okay, what do I need here? Um, I need like a Zoe. Okay, but guys, wouldn't you agree? Oh my god, York reduces the cost of rerolling your shop? I mean, I just have to roll now. Don't we all agree? This is necessary. This is necessary. We shall agree, I gotta do this. I go where the trouble is. Wait. No prison can hold me. Time to take what's ours. The game is saved. I have a naked Silas. Guys, the we are so back. We are actually so back. Dupe the Riven? Fuck the Riven, man. She's too gold. Do I want anti heal? Or do I want Warmogs?
Oh no. Is it possible that leveling and rolling down a zero like a literal psychopath was the wrong play? Okay, this guy just slaughtered me. Duelist Yone. Okay, I definitely can never beat that, even with healing reduction. Red or blue? Uh, probably red. Violence to end the violence. Oh, Garen three. Box, box can you read my previous message and have your thoughts on it? Okay. Let's see if it's something. I'm, I'm really excited now. This might be like a sick message. Oh, he says, play five story weaver, Timo, and Bruiser. No, I'm good. I'm not saying I think it's bad. It's definitely just not playable in my current spot. But, like, I wouldn't be surprised if 3-star Teemo was a pretty good build. But it's way too late for me to consider that now. If I wanted to do that, I'd have to roll at 6. I'm Zoe. What's your name? Travel awaits. Okay, I need to, like, calm down and try to go 9. I keep throwing games by being a literal psycho and going to, like, 0 gold. And then, like, you face one high roller and the game's over. Being a literal psycho only works if you are sure that you are the best. What do you have a reroll for Zoe? No, not with these items. I have good flex items. Well, that was satisfying. Uh, okay, hang on. I, I have four Zoes, but no, 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 no. My items are not good. I think I should be itemizing my Silas. If I'm going to use my dupe on Silas, it would make sense to also itemize the Silas. Right? Like, otherwise, I just have this, like, big, giant, naked man on my team. But the only item I could slam right here is a Jeweled Gauntlet. Can I give him something better? Not really. I mean, Jeweled Gauntlet does go hard once you get other items on him. It's not Uplink. I don't think it's Harm Resist either. I already have a Gunblade. Okay, I think I'm down to do this. Every and then I'm down to do away. this. And you don't need a spark because I already have a shiv. So yeah, let's just do this. Okay, and then I'll just sit and look cute for a while. Adaptive Helm is really good here. You can put on Silas for now and then move it later. Well, hello Kibble. Nice to see you here. Okay. I definitely fucked up, right? Like, my Econ's screwed. Because I rolled so much at 7. Everybody else is gonna, like, make it to 8. And I'm gonna be- or make it to 9. And I'm gonna be, like, sitting here on my ass taking 20 damage per round. Because I'm a psycho. And really, I only have myself to blame. Why did I roll like that? No, not playable. Alright, I think I'll go 8 and then I'll roll for 1 buff. So like 1 Arcanist, or 1 Soraka, 1 Legendary. And we just try to flex to 9. 
Actually, you know what? People don't look that rich. I think a lot of people also rolled during the event. Only this guy is rich. But he's definitely not contesting me. He's playing trick shot. Well, I guess he'll take Zaya's. Don't you think Volley needs some tuning down? Not really. I, I, I think I just played Volley twice and I went seventh place both times. Oh no, I think one of them I went third. Like, he's definitely insane once you get the items. But that's like saying, hey, don't you think best in slot Yone is too strong? Like, that's the point. Once you have this best in slot, it should be really strong. Don't you think best in slot Kog'Ma 3 is too strong? Ball Bear with Titans, Titans BT should, like, fuck you in the ass. I agree that it is, in general, like, kind of strong. But, like, that's Titans, not Volley Bear. Man, that's the tier. Don't you think Titans needs an nerf then? Oh yeah, Titans is strong. Okay, I'm gonna roll until I hit one spike for my team. Come closer. One spike. Uh, one spike. Uh. I think I don't care about this Zoe. Oh, I actually almost won. This guy's going Duelist Yone 3. That's so interesting. Honestly? I'm kind of down. Right, I'm going to do this and sell for Econ. I'm kind of down because there's another guy who's forcing Yone. And they both kind of grief each other. I'm still probably fucked, though, because of my earlier rolling. Okay, so what needs to happen for me to not be fucked? Well, I need to hit an Irelia 1. Yeah, I need to hit an Irelia 1, put this blue buff Gunblade on. Then I need to hit, like, either a Hue or a Zier. One, either one will work. And then I need to just, like, do the standard level 9 end game. Where it's like, you drop all your Story Weavers except for Riven, Galio, and Irelia. And then you just like start putting in good endgame units. Have you tried this? Have you ever tried Blue Kale? I haven't yet. I heard it got nerfed, so I haven't been interested in trying it, but maybe it's still good. Oh, good loss. That's actually a pretty big loss. Four gold. The last time I ate a plant, okay, it was I'll sack one more and level. It's not that much gold to roll, but like, what else can I do, right? I don't think I can realistically, um, like, sack three. It's my own fault. I'm probably gonna go, like, sixth place, and it's gonna be my fault. Deserved loss for being so greedy. Once you roll, like, a psycho and you lose, like, you spend the rest of the game, like, knowing you're fucked. Oh, I can actually hold this Yone. That's funny. Uh, Titans? Well, hang on. Do I want a Gwinsu's? I think it's Titans, like, play around this, uh, Silas that I have. Yeah, I think, I think you should itemize this Silas. Okay, one round, and then I level up. A lot of people actually already went nine. Oh, fuck. Maybe I'll just go nine. One of them hit Yone 3 already. Okay, uh, I'll get to roll down 50 gold. Let's just hope it's good enough. 
So let's start thinking about this. Uh, almost every legendary fits really well. Orn, Diana, Soraka. Oh, and Lee Sin. This is necessary. No prison can hold me. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? The last time I ate a plant, never. Oh yeah, Galio 3. Legends are told in word and deed. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Uh, Diana over Zara. Thought you were going 7 Star Weaver. 7 Star Weaver is really bad. Uh, bad late game. It's really good mid game. Wait, I need to kill this guy right now before he levels up. Does this kill him? Is this 9 damage? Die! Nice. Hello, Avkata. Thanks for 14 months. Bench yeah. unit, Malphite knocks our items off. Okay, sure. Oh? Imagine one more Irelia. Give me an eye. Ready for this? Give me an eye. My journey's only beginning. Wukong 2. Wukong 2 is pretty good with the Titans, GG. I really need Irelia 2, though. Oh, is there any chance we can kill the backline? Oh, no. Need Irelia 2. Oh, God. Okay, come on, Albert. Your first pick, get an Irelia with a damage item. Irelia on Carousel with a Hurricane. Oh, TG Udir is good. Guardbreaker is also Irelia's like best item. So let me like, okay. It's also Lee Sin too. Ooh, was that ever a Hodge Wukong actually? Oh shit, I should've thought about that. Was that ever a Hodge Wukong? Get Diana for Sage. No, I had a Diana earlier, but. Uh, you're supposed to sell Riven and Galio, but there's no way I can sell them right now. Come on, Albert. You can do it. Hit something crazy. Okay. Fuck. I think I'm supposed to sell Morgana. I think I'm supposed to sell Morgana and then just play Rakan and then roll some more. But like Morgana 2 is pretty good. It's a fair amount of damage. Okay, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. Ah! All right, come on, Albert. You can do this. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, I mean, no one, no one on the, in this game benefits from this. 
Oh. We can be heroes. All right, my board actually looks good. This actually was a successful level nine pivot. I'm at one life, is it doable? My Aurelia's items are actually quite crazy. Guardbreaker, JG should be fine. It's like some AP, but whatever. The important part is she can crit. Oh, top four? Heart is empty without empathy. Okay, Udyr should be on this side opposite my carries. It could actually be a top four if I beat this guy. Oh, he's gonna go 10. No, he's gonna go 10 because of the evolve. At least I didn't have to face him. I can someone stronger than me to beat him. You know what's crazy? This guy went Yone, got contested, and he's still just like winning. Yone 2 wins? Are you serious? How is that possible? This Yone unit is very strong. Alright, come on. Just roll for whatever legendary. Oh, wait. No, I, I can't level. Yeah, I can't level. I just throw. No prison can hold me. We have a plan? We are made by our choices. Is this the end? Duelist Yone 3. Oh. Duelist Yone 3. Just don't reach my Irelia. Please. I'm begging you. Do not touch my Irelia. One more cast. Okay. Is it at least a top four? At least a top four? Yes! Yes, it is. All right, cool. I uh, all I can do is just donkey roll. The power of a dragon. Okay, so I'll just keep passing this TJ around based on what the items are, because it'll always stay the same. Alright, let's put Wukong next to Orn to print an item. I'm gonna, that's actually gonna be the difference, isn't it? The the ten percent attack speed on kill or on Irelia, twelve percent. That's gonna be the difference. Okay, no, we're fine. What's up? I I might be winning. I'm not sure. Ah! Oh! 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 My bad. Can you give me a napkin? Or you spilled a bit of drink. Thanks. Oh shit, I gotta scout. Oh, okay, against this guy, I think I'm fine to stay in the corner. Oh wait. Uh, I should've sent my Udyr straight at the Senna. Okay, I mean, this is like a full endgame board. I think in every individual fight I'm favored, as long as I really doesn't die. Okay, they have to walk up. Come on, Irelia. Come on. No! Oh, it was a tie? What? Damn, I died mid-animation. She literally, like, if she finished her animation, I at least get a third there. Damn.
If only I sent my Udyr at the Senna to, just for a quick stun. That actually would have made the diff. Oh my god. Such a good level 9 pivot, too. Just to miss position one fight and lose. And then tie for third. And then lose the tiebreaker. Alright. I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. How is the tie calculated? It's based on who had more HP before the round, and I had less HP. If you have equal amounts of HP, then Mortdog takes a look through your webcam and gives the win to whoever he thinks is more attractive. So if you find yourself losing tiebreakers very often, it's because Mortdog hates you. Hello, Matthias BB. Oh, Matthias Ab. Welcome. What do you think of Brazil? Uh, I don't have any opinion on any country. I just like to play video games. Hello, sexy links. Hello, warm hat. Welcome. Hello, Wings of Dink. Hello, DB Nitro. Hello, Nitro Land. Welcome back, you three. Thanks for the resub. Wait, this is it. It's Lucky Pause time. Time for a good nap. Wait, it's actually Lucky Pause time. They call me Jolly. They're right. Gives you sour okay. Bandle bandle Guys, brew. is anybody friends with somebody at Riot? Welcome back from the ad break, everybody. I need somebody who has friends at Riot to make a Never phone call. A make a phone call and arrange for uh, lucky pause, please. Definitely playing this. Yeah, Lucky Pause has been buffed. It gives you a two-star Kabuko now. Kabuki. So I definitely want a... Like, a, oh my god. It would actually be very close to a three-star if I just got it immediately. This world needs hope. Spirits are calling. Oh, Silver Augment. There you go. I'm pretty sure I can win streak. Uh. 
burdens of the past. All right, artifact endo. What do we got? Oh. If I'm gonna play gold, that was, there was a lot of thinking to do in that one turn. If I'm gonna play Goldmancer Staff, which I, I didn't really want to, I'd rather have like an item for Kabuko. It, I had Death's Defiance, which I'm definitely not doing because it's not good on Kabuko. Okay, and then I had I uh, the AD money item or the AP money item. So like I had to choose right there on the spot which one I wanted to do. Sure, that's fine with me. Uh, the issue then came down to. Uh, how are you going to follow up with your anvil? Yeah, how are you then going to follow up on the anvil? And then JG Shojin is probably the best way to play around it. So you can cast and then you also amplify the AP of the Goldmancers. I don't think this is ideal, by the way. I would have rather had uh, an adaptive helm. But I felt like this was the best way to make it work. Yes. Is Teemo good this set? He's really good as a tempo play. You get a two-star Teemo, and then you go nine. So that's probably what I'll do here. And then move these items to a Hoya or Azir. Can anyone give me a T? Oh my god. Do you want Earl Grey? No, I actually don't like Earl Grey tea. I like Jasmine, because it sounds like the name of a hot babe. Well, actually, Earl could also be the name of a hot babe. You, you never know, really. All right, Timo, could you print me two gold? I know it's asking for a lot, but holy crap, imagine. Everybody should slowly bleed out here. Come on, two gold, two gold. 40% chance per. Aw. Also. What were the odds of printing? It was 40% chance on each kill. Oh, it was actually pretty likely to hit that, now that I think about it. Okay, let's just get tank items now. Belt cook. Okay, what if I take this glove and then play fortune? Is that trolling? Fortune win streak? You could do the thing where, like, you start losing now. Or, like, you wait till stage three and then start losing. That's what a lot of pros do. But, like, my board is good. My board is good. Do I really want to, like, throw for fortune when my board is already very winnable? That's what I never understood about the fortune play. Like, I feel like if you're win streaking to set up the fortune, Shouldn't you just keep win streaking? Like, unless you really fail to spike later. Yeah, I am if I naturally lose here, like, then I'm down to start, uh, lose streaking.
Does the better player win in TFT or is it just luck? I mean, that's the beauty of the game, right? The answer is both. The better player sometimes wins, or I should say the better player usually wins. I uh, but sometimes you can luck into a win. Wait, I think I trapped my Teemo. Uh oh. Wait! Teemo! Oh actually it's fine. No! Teemo, where's my money? Bitch! Poophead. Where's my money? How does this man keep failing to print gold? He does so much damage. Guys, I want to push my luck of z zero. Burdens of the past. Come closer. Who am I missing? Oh, I'm missing the Garen that I sold. Time for a good nap. TG and Gwinces. Okay, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. If I naturally lose the next round, I'm down to sack. If I win the next round, I will probably just start pushing win streak. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's agree on that. If I face this guy and I get owned, then I'll just start my loose streak. I think I need to be on this side. I definitely don't want to roll for a team of two, but if it just like happens, I'm down. He also has been very disappointed with this gold monster stat. He's printed like three gold so far, but I think I can check. Four gold. That's pretty weak. Okay, two gold. Sheesh. Not having a dragon spirit at this point in the game. Epoch is actually pretty good if I want to just like flex and give up on fortune. All right, I'm down. I'm down. I go where the trouble is. Take back what's out. I herald the greatest blessing. Try to keep up. Now, let me show you darkness. <laughs> you skipped a tryst? Bro, I, I'm not playing Fortune 5. I'm not playing Fortune 5. I. I didn't come here, I didn't level up to go to zero gold to then start loose streaking. I am doing this to start winning. Watch me immediately lose after saying that. It's fortune time! Can I get a pog in the chat? How do I do this? Uh, I need to weaken my board a little bit. Maybe do this. Into a little bit, but not too hard.
Have you played Riven carry this set? No, she's garbage. She has a good trait buff, that's it. Need tank items. Hello, Belly Pill. Hello, Rise Cash. Welcome. Come closer. Okay, I need to be weaker than the weakest player. Let's in two units. Have you tried Janet Carry? I did once yesterday night, and it was actually pretty impressive. That unit is quite powerful. The build's pretty cool. It's like Star Weavers. You actually don't play Invoker. These are some pretty good losses. This is a loss, right? Wait. Wait. I might be the worst fortune player in existence. I'm actually like so bad at it. Should've played Diana. Kabuko. No! And I'm, I'm so tired of people telling me to do that. Like, yeah, you guarantee that you lose. But if you play Fortune, if you play Fortune, and you purposely throw to, like, get streak, like, you're fucked. I go where the trouble is. You're actually fucked if you do that. World needs hope. If you get full losses, then no matter how good your cash out is, against good players you will lose. Against bad players you'll win, because like getting the cash out is more important than not getting the cash out. But like against good players, you have to like actually save HP while playing Fortune. You cannot trap your Kabuko, take a seven unit loss five times in a row. It's just not strong enough. You forgot to bow. Heavens bless me. <laughs> All right, anything good here? Okay, yeah, imagine I get lucky gloves. Uh, Jeweled Lotus is actually pretty good here. Yeah, Jeweled Lotus is actually very good here. 
Okay, I'll just go nine. This build's good enough. Just go nine, set up the baseboard. Save the item mover for Sirocco. Why do you hold units on the bench not in the same comp? Uh, there's a lot of units that if I two-star them, I would play them for a little bit. There's also like a chance that if you hit certain combinations of units, you can make a pivot. And then also thinning the pool helps a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. There are people who try to thin the pool too much and it's a huge throw. Thin the pool when it matters. Don't thin the pool when it doesn't matter. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. And like a grief to your thinking time. But like, there I held two ball berries because if I hit a randomly Sinar Irelia, there was a chance I could play something there. eight gold here. That's a bit of an interesting choice. The component anvil. The component anvil would give me, um, whatchamacallit, like a shojin right now. I kind of want to just play this for one round and like lose the round, get like four gold. I am down. Play this for one round, get my cash out, get like four gold, get out. I just killed zero units. This guy is very strong. It's okay, Albert. Just sack two rounds. And then Epoch, you're to nine. Pog, I was here, Pog. Most likely, I want a sword here. Although, I would just take the Rakan, just to have a Rakan. Okay, uh, most likely I want a sword here. Issue Lotus should be really good with all my TGs. Just slap a TG on a random two-star legendary, ultra high value, because now they can crit. How's the stream? It's pretty average. Huge cash out. New day, new I could actually level up right now, but that'd probably be a huge throw. Did you watch Soju run it down at all yesterday? Uh, no, I... People keep asking me if I watch, like, X streamer do Y. I, like, never watch streams. Uh, the moment I finish streaming, I try to stay off of Twitch. I think there's, like, a right amount to be on Twitch. And, like, because I'm streaming, I, I like, need to, like, try to live a normal human life, otherwise I'll go crazy. I think, like, eight hours on Twitch already for my stream is, like, enough. Level 9 is lackluster this set. Uh, I mean, if you hit your legendaries, it's really good. Will you hit your legendaries? I don't know. If I don't, I'm going 8th. But if I do, I'm going 1st. Right, like, my entire board is going to get sold here. I think the only unit that stays on this board is Soraka. And, like, maybe Riven. But maybe I will still sell because I, I need the TG on a legendary. So, like, maybe I keep the Riven... Maybe I keep the Soraka, then I go for Diana, Lee Sin, Galio, uh, and then usual Rakan, Udir, Orn, Azir, Hui, Irelia, Wukong. Basically click every single legendary.
Definitely gonna play more around the AP carries. Can we kill like one more unit? Aw, oh, dang it. All right, is it two lives? Yeah, it's two lives. Okay, wishing me luck, everybody. I'm going in. The entire game determined by this roll down. Okay, so sell. Sell the Sivir, sell the Zoe, sell the Kabuko. Oh wait, I'm not gonna lose the round, right? Okay, let me, let me play this for now to make sure I don't lose the round. Wait, I'm like scared that I'm gonna lose the round. Okay, no, I'm fine. The, these Krugs are like really weak. All right, come on, Albert. Huge pivot right here. Actually huge, actually huge pivot. You can do it. Just buy legendaries, things that light up. Stick to the plan. We have a plan? Heaven bless me. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? We can be heroes. Stand back! It's from Nico coming through! Let's move! I've got people to inspire. Okay, that, that was like a pretty bad pivot on my part. Oh my god, I, I could have done this way better. No, I, I lose one of my lives because I failed my pivot. I didn't put in the least in in time. Oh, that's actually game losing. Because I'm, I'm like ultra strong now, but... Dude! Well, fuck me, I guess. Fuck me for choosing to do my roll down on 5-1. At least I have a little bit of gold left. Okay, I had to play this Galio. And then that was probably all I needed, all honestly. Empty without empathy. The last time I ate a plant was never. I channeled the spirits I feel closest to. My Irelia items are so scuffed. Oh my god, I'm dead. I left the Kog'Maw one. Dude! I'm actually so mad! Like, fuck this event! I planned the entire game to do a 5-1 roll down, and 5-2 rerolls are one gold. I'll just lose! I'll just lose! Everybody else gets a guaranteed free roll down, and me, the guy who had to roll on that round, because otherwise I would have died, just loses. What the fuck? Not to mention the items were terrible. Like, I know I was building, to I was not building for Irelia, but Irelia was the unit I hit. I had to play around it. Uh, there's no way I'm passing up on a two star Irelia. You had one life on 5-2, couldn't you have waited? Okay. There is a term for this. This is called hindsight bias. Or hindsight gaming. You technically had one life. You should have waited because the perfect rolldown event was coming. You should have predicted that of the 90 encounters in the game, the perfect one that rewards you for waiting was going to be there. Not to mention the fact that you have Epoch, and you have three rolls that only work on that turn, so you absolutely should level so that those three free rolls are level nine. Yeah, you should have just predicted that it was going to be the one gold reroll, level to nine, Epoch your three free rolls, and then sit. My bad.
Why didn't I just do that? Get the exact event that wins me the game and then play around it. Not to mention the fact that a full board pivot takes time. Like, I could have won that earlier fight if I was like 20% faster. That was definitely my bad. Like, the, the round was winnable. I had to put in Galio over duplicate Lee Sin. Or was it duplicate Rakan? I mean, if I had done that, I'd at least have one more life. Although, it was most likely fucked anyway because I have Shojin, Shojin, Goldmancer staff. Morello's, JG, and the only unit I hit was Irelia. I had one Azir, one Hui, neither of which were playable in that spot. I haven't seen Big Lost Streak into full board pivot win once here. Then you must clearly not watch the stream. We've done it many times. Like, it, it's not bad, but it is a gamble. You have to hit your two star legendaries or you die. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh. Take back what's out. Okay, going back from the ad break. Uh, really quickly, I want to address this. Uh, Zeptex1995 asks, why is he so quiet? Pandaman1017 says, he's malding. I want to clarify, uh, the reason why I don't talk is because there's an ad break. I don't want people who support the stream by watching the ads to miss out on anything. So I always stay silent. 
Again, thank you to those of you that watch the ads to support the stream. I am upset about the previous game, but I'm not quiet because I'm molding. If anything, I'd be more loud. Okay, I have Fine Vintage here. Uh, the strat that I've learned for Fine Vintage is not you just like immediately start inting for it. You just play normally down an augment, and then at the right time, you sell everything. That's what I've been taught to do. So, uh, you you play normally until 3-5, preserve HP, hold the heavenly units, and then when it's time, you uh, sell. Hello, Grimu. Thanks for the prime. Do you like blue kale? I haven't tried it yet, so I just I just default. Unless it's like really broken, I don't see any reason to like learn it. This might already be better. No, 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 no. you need more time on your server. Thank you, Ski Ball. Thank you, Sir Bubbles. Thank you, Lethal, and thank you, Zeptex. Welcome. Aren't you gonna lose more HP later? When you int? Not really. Uh, if you int now for fine vintage, you're like inting and you eventually get one item and you're still gonna keep losing. Then you're inting and then you get one item and you're still losing and so on. Whereas here I can just like win. I can just play down a silver augment, it's not the end of the world. You just win and then on 3-5 you sell everything. Put your heavenly in and you int two rounds. Because it's one round, two round, and then on the creep round uh, it also counts. So that's the strat I've seen. So I'm just gonna slam every single item because in the end it doesn't matter because it's fine vintage. Um, take three gold. Oh wait, they changed it so it doesn't count on creep rounds? Wait, when did they change that? Was that a B patch? I actually didn't know that. Oh shit, I had no idea. I see, that's how they nerfed it. I mean, that's fine. It, it was broken. Burdens of the past. You forgot to bow. It was definitely like quite a broken trait. So it, it deserved to be nerfed. Okay, so if I remember correctly, I don't play this very often. I think the village is just like all heavenlies. And then like dragon lords. And uh, what else? I feel like I see some people play like Yone or Kane. Oh yeah, I re Elia and Lissandra also. I mean, I'm always buying all the legendaries, so I don't need to mark those. Why is your front line in the back? Uh, th there's a really specific reason for it. I challenge you to try and guess. Yeah, I challenge you to try and guess why they're all in the back. There's, a, there's actually a very specific reason for it. Okay, the reason why, uh, for those who are curious, is I want the attack speed buff on Kha'Zix, and for that to be happen, he has to be here. If your frontline is here, then Kha'Zix has to walk all the way up, and your team is taking three seconds of damage without Kha'Zix contributing. If I, if I instead move everybody back, then they all walk up together, and they all make contact with the enemy at the same time, and I still get the attack speed buff. It is like a... It's an optimization that gives you like two more autos in a fight. It's one of those things where you might as well do it. It it likely won't make the difference in a fight, but why not do it if it doesn't cost you anything else? Oh wow, this Yone one just sniped my server. Damn. Okay, I'm honestly not that bad. We saved a lot of HP.
creature. I think I'm... Uh... I'm not sure if I'm down to pivot yet. Server is pretty good at saving HP. Let's see what the items I get are. Chase. Oh, I wonder if that counted in time. It might not have. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I don't think this is the round yet to do it. Yeah, I don't think this is yet the round. You forgot to bow. This is necessary. Okay. Oh right, creeps don't count anymore. I keep forgetting, so you don't have to do that tech anymore. All right, saver, save me a little bit of HP. Nice. Are there any items that I should not find vintage? Probably not. Oh, it's definitely Martyr. Oh, actually, wait. It could have been Gish from the Fallen. But I, I like Martyr here. You're going to have a lot of random ZZ ruts that will die. Yeah, I feel like that's a play. Forget the past. It only clouds the future. Uh, okay, let's play this for one more round, and then... I'll make the commitment. Wasn't it nine gold before? The reigning gold? Uh, it's nine gold on stage two, 18 gold on stage three. It has always been that way. You don't play ZZ Rots anymore? I'm, I, I saw they nerfed it. I think it's still playable. Although I will admit I have not played fine vintage in a while. All right, we saved four HP per round thanks to Sivir. Oh seven, Sivir, you did great. It is now time for the inting. Oh, this is gonna be pretty scary because I'm gonna int three rounds. Like I, I was still losing these rounds, but like we killed a few every time. Now we're like losing, losing. All right, so boom, boom. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. All right, now we're like full inting. Uh, I herald the greatest blessing. I kind of want to keep this red buff, but like it's only going to be useful much later down the line once you hit Nyrelia. And I don't think I'm going to be like it's not going to save me any HP right now. Okay, now we're gonna like kill zero units. Save your red buff. I feel like I can just get a red buff or Morellos later. I don't think it's going to matter that much right now. Yeah, okay, fine. Fine, I can. I'm down. Oh. Uh, King? Oh no. There was a Soraka. Maybe let's just take the Soraka. Okay, I'm gonna get really low.
Okay, there's definitely not much reason to play this Morgana right now. Because honestly, like, the way she targets, she's not going to kill a unit. Alright, two rounds of inting. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Two rounds of inting. We can do it. Did I miss something? Is it just me or is 50 gold at level 5 at 3-6 low? Oh, it's definitely low. I, I leveled aggressively early to save HP. I went 5 pretty early to like... So that instead of being 20... What? 25 HP here? 27 HP, I think. 28. Instead of being 28 HP, I would have been like, like 19 HP. So we, we like paid money to save HP here. Okay. Alright, can I get a pause champ in the chat? It's time. Pray for... Uh, I think it's like Randuin's Aegis the ZZ Rot is like the ideal. Maybe one cleaver. Okay. Uh, I need like one Soraka. We were like twice here. Oh. Alright, come on. Randuins. Randuins. Oh, what the hell? And Randuins. Okay, I need a Zizerot. Also, I I basically like have to level here, I think. Level up and like get one of every synergy. Oh, this, this is really nerve-wracking. If I don't hit a board right now, I, I, I'm dead. Alright, Albert, come on. Level up and just like have synergies that win out. You either like you either win out or you're dead here. Thank you, Sivir. Yeah. You either win out right now, or it's all Jover. I definitely was like really slow. I don't know why I spent so long picking. Oh, I I like was thinking about my team comp, but, but this like Riven Ghostly thing was not that useful. Uh, how many three costs? Not that many. Uh, no, I don't think it's balanced budget either, or I don't think it's Stand United. How is Stand United here? I don't think it'll be that good because almost all heavenly. Oh, Ultra's Crest. I'm down. Oh, it's gotta be Epitaph. Zizira, nice. This is necessary. Am I satisfied? 
Uh, might as well do this. I think, yeah, I'll move the Zizera into the Randuins, and then I'll move Morgana back. So, a lot of this comes down to if I can hit one Irelia, huh? But, like, it's starting to come together. What can this Aatrox be sold for? But, like, Aatrox right now gives Bruiser and Ghostly. Like, I'm kind of down. Uh-oh. Guys, I've got bad news. I need an Irelia right now. Come closer. I don't think we're playing this. Yes. I might need to slam this Edge of Night to stay alive. I'll, I'll be on the lookout. Come on. Please, I, I really don't want to slam this. Yone, please! Oh, I'm dead. No! Wait, I failed to set it up. Tell me there's no Irelia on the carousel. There was Irelia and Lissandra! The two instant win units right there. All I had to do was live, man. Oh my god. Literally, if I just get the Irelia, I just, the game is already over. That Irelia transforms the game from 8th to 1st. I had to save more HP. I don't even know what to do differently there. I, I saved as much HP as I could with that Sivir. And then I set up the Heavenly Board. I set up the team-wide synergies. It wasn't good enough. I had to hit an Irelia or Lissandra, and they're both on the carousel. I'm so sad. Literally, just facing one weaker opponent there in like the last three fights, I would have gotten the Irelia. The red buff Irelia would have instantly won me the game. The game was over. Box Box feels like Heavenly Vintage is a 1st or 8th comp in general. Yes, it, it is. At the moment you reach the critical mass, the game is over. The moment you get your Randuins, 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 Aegis, and then two Zizirots, like, the, the game is over with the supporting synergies. They can all be one stars and you'll still win. The fact that I lost one round before setting up my red buff Irelia to actually, like, have damage, I am, like, I'm just so depressed. Red buff Morgana was an okay item holder, but red buff Irelia does triple the damage. And it was right there. I just had to win that one very close fight. Like, if my Aatrox tanked, I would have won the game. If I didn't put the, the triple randuins on Aatrox and instead had the Aatrox in the front line and then had uh, the items on like Kha'Zix or something, I would have won the game. I'm actually just so sad. Every single minor thing there, like if I just like say, kill two more units, high rolled one round of matchmaking, or, like, just didn't die on that final round because of bad targeting. I don't know if you guys saw, but my Aatrox inted. He, like, went off to the other side. And the side that he goes is random. Like, I, I guess I, I could have forced the side by moving him uh, out of the center. That was probably what I had to do. He, uh, he was in the middle, and then he went left, and then he didn't tank at all, which made me lose. I'm actually just... Oh, uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna say it. Dang, oh. Wait, sorry. You have now reached 100 D faces today. Dang! Will you take fine vintage again if you get the chance to? 
I mean, yeah, it's really strong. It's interesting and it's strong. Like just because I went eighth on it now, barely like not. I, I, I'm I'm very serious. If I had survived that round, I would have gotten first place, and it would not have been close. I would have reached infinity. I had to save like three HP or three unit kills more somewhere earlier. I like to be fair. I wasn't really paying attention. Like I was just like, oh, we're gonna lose anyway. Just put our units in the corner and try to save HP. But like, if you fished through those rounds, there was probably somewhere where you could have positioned to save HP. Like literally that round, that game was like the the fine vintage nerf fucked me, right? Because I had to int my units uh, one round earlier, and that was the difference. That was the difference. If I could use the creep round like before the B patch, I would have been fine, and I would have lived, and then I would have gotten first, and it would have been game over. Ah, uh, you know, maybe I should stop trying to copy what people do. Like I keep on playing these things that I've been told are strong. But I think I'm down to just play the game and think about each game on its own instead of autopiloting. I think autopilot TFT is really boring. Box box, I don't see why you don't leave items on the bench at the start. A nine lost streak can't be the move. I don't understand. Are you stupid? Your your phrases doesn't don't make any sense together. Sorry, I'm like extra mean towards this guy because this guy is known to say stupid things. If you leave your items on the bench, you are loose streaking. He's saying, why don't you leave the items on the bench? Because like loose streaking isn't the move. What? It doesn't make any sense. This world needs hope. He's saying two contradicting ideas in a condescending way. No, you, you you have to save HP and then int all your items at the same time. If you int at the beginning of the game for fine vintage, then you'll int three rounds, get your support item, still be losing because then you're going to be inting another item. Then you're still going to be losing and it's like a chain of inting. It's not good. <laughs> it's really, really, really not good to just like chain in. You need to just play normally, play down and augment, save HP, and then decide at some tipping point that you're going to start playing to win. Uh, that you're going to sack three rounds, and then you're going to start trying to win. That is exactly what we did there, and we were very close to getting first. I'm not kidding. If I got that Irelia, the game was over. We were very close. Box box, you would have had three fine vintage items at 70 HP instead of at 20. No, if I did the int like you are suggesting, I would be like 12 HP. It would be significantly less okay. I think you are used to facing people who don't punish you for open forting. I promise you, the higher rank you get, you will be become more and more punished for playing weak boards. And you will bleed a large amount of HP. All right, I need to decide here. Do I want to take the Lucky Streak, which is guaranteed pretty good right now, or do I want to take Wandering Trainer, which has... I'm going to do it. I'm going to do Wandering Trainer and see what I get. Oh, no. Stand back. Big, strong oh, no. Okay. I will not hold her! This is really, 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 really bad. I see the link between the units, but it's it's not ideal at all. Okay, so here's the link. The link is, you play Mythic. You play Mythic with Nico, right? And then you play Lux with Arcanist. And then that gives you Porcelain and two out of three Mythic. But then you play one more... I like it kind of works, but not really. And action. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't make econ. Okay. I uh, I need to just int for a while. This is gonna take a really long time to be useful. I could easily see a world where at the end of the game you become really strong, but until then, I'm gonna be weak as fuck. So definitely play around all the porcelain units. Oh my god, I hit so many faded units. Massive regret on not just going Gambler's Blade. Take back what's up. Mythic, Arcanist. Yeah, none of these are good. Okay. Hello, the Max. Welcome. So, put all the porcelains on the board. If I can get one more porcelain spat, it could be a, like an easy win at first place at uh, level 9. Okay, then Nico, and then Nautilus. That's There's your mythic. Then you throw in one more Arcanist. It's not very clean. Just grab a sunfire. Okay, I'll play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Sorry, I was supposed to play it way earlier, but I was I was rambling for a long time. I'll play it now so you guys don't miss anything in the uh, mid to end game. What frustrating games today. I want to see everything. Hello, one eyes. Hello, Sweeney. Alright, let's try to make this work. Porcelain dummy is really bad. The mythic is fine. I'm gonna make 30 here. Hello, La Mello Ball Superstar. Thanks to the Prime. This guy has five Luxes. Okay, it's fine. I'm not. I'm not rolling Lux. Is this just a mythic game plus a Mumu? Uh, Porcelain is really strong at four and really weak at two. And really, really strong, like instant win at six. So I definitely want to try to play around six Porcelain. Getting there is gonna be really hard. Yeah, getting there is going to be very, very hard. I mean, I'm down to play it very flexibly and just see what I hit. You also just like ignore the porcelain for a long time until you are ready for Lissandra. That might be the play. Naturally, a spat here would be huge.
Okay. Uh, if I get porcelain spat, I win. I win the game. The game isn't just over, it's like super over. But to get there is going to be pretty hard. Oh, this guy rolled down for Garen 3 and didn't hit. Can you get another porcelain emblem from Augments? Yes. You cannot get two of the same... You cannot get porcelain augment into porcelain crown. But you can get wandering trainer into, like, mythic or porcelain here. I mean, either one is fine. If I get mythic or porcelain, I'm very happy. And I'll just lean towards that. Mythic's not the best build right now. Lily is a pretty weak unit, but I'm down to just play flexibly. Salvage bin could be what I was what I'm looking for. Then you just take any spat light game and it's porcelain. I think I'm down for salvage bin. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. We're either gonna go like ultra first or ultra eight. Alright, what do we got here? Our wills align. Let's find some friends. You forgot to bow. I have a million cloaks. Uh, which is honestly fine because you can make adaptive homes, they're very flexible. Alright, so what I'll do is I'm going to flex it up, try to make it to 9, and then try to play 6 porcelain. And to make porcelain spat, you need to get a bow and a spat. So on stage 5, I'll take any spatula. If you sell a dummy, isn't that two spats? Yeah, let me just do that. Let me just go ahead and sell. Hello, Wormlex. Hello, Magic. Welcome. Uh, I need one more mythic unit. As you wish. This is necessary. I think I'm down to level. It doesn't really cost you that much here. Oh wait, yeah, my training W will become epic soon. This guy has six Luxes, that's horrifying. Boiling point. Porcelain attacks grant five bonus mana. While boiling, their attacks also burn and wound. Oh my god. These Luxes are going crazy. Alright. Give it to me. Spat on Carousel. Spat, 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 spat. Uh, okay, Lilia, Lilia. These items are really bad. Definitely try to maintain good econ. There's no need to roll here. Lilia is unfortunately one of the worst units in the game. Also, unfortunately, my salvage bin gave me cloak, cloak, when I already had cloaks. So now I have four cloaks. 
Usually on Salvage Bin, you can like slam something, but I actually have nothing to slam here, which is really sad. Any reason not make items with Salvage Bin? Literally, like, none of them are good here. I could make a QSS, but then I'd have to sell the unit later. Like, I can make a QSS Shen, it's gonna save me zero HP. And then I'm, it forces me to sell the Shen. As you wish. What about 10 Mythic? Uh, 10 Mythic is possible. I would say it's very ambitious. 10 Mythic is asking for two spatulas. That means I need to natural one here, and then I need to uh, hit one on Carousel. I mean, I'm like, I'm down. You, you could hit it at nine because of the target dummy. I would, the, I would need a lot to go right. What's the spat for Mythic? It's tier. I have one tier right now. Uh, it is not looking good. I'm like not saving any HP at all because my items are actually complete garbage. Dude! Oh yeah, I'd actually need one less spat. This can't be possible, man. It's just too many cloaks. Please, just like a regular spat. A regular spat. I'm begging you. By your command. Damn, these items are so unplayable. I, I seriously like, don't know if like I have a Nashers. Or a giant slayer, like, BT? What am I supposed to even do here? These are so unplayable. Here's a temporary item. Here's a Nashers. Oh my god. It's actually like not playable. Even with Salvage Bin, it's unplayable. I need like a reforger. All right, well, I think I'm ready to end my stream. This has been quite a frustrating day. A lot of these games are incredibly unplayable. Everything must go. No, I need a spatula. Keepers, Keepers is actually kind of good here. But I, I really need a spatula. Alright, please. Any spat. Oh. Okay. Yay, Azeeks. I just don't know what to do with these items. They're incredibly unplayable. Like, I think I have to do IE Lilia. I'm not even kidding. Just like for spell crit. And like, another declaw, I guess. Even with salvage bin, it's so unplayable. Okay. All right, calm down. You can salvage this. Haha. <laughs> All right, I'm mean, gonna just roll. See what you get. I don't. I don't need to play that. I will not hold back. Try to keep up. Stand back, big strong Nico coming through. Your 
Well, I tried my best to make it work. Five cloaks in a game where everybody's playing AD is not the answer. Any chance of a... Sp oh, there's a Lissandra with a cloak. Okay, well, the only way I can see myself winning this is to miraculously make it to nine. Yeah, miraculously make it to nine, get to 10 mythic. Every river ends in me. It might be BT Redemption. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's BT Redemption. It, it doesn't feel good at all, but like again, what else can you do? So here I'm going to pray. I, I'm not expecting it, but I'm going to pray that I face some really weak opponents. Oh, fucking soup. Go get him, Chogath. <laughs> Dude. Alright, get me out. I just rolled. I think I've had enough of set 11. I just rolled. I got five cloaks on salvage bin. Hello, zero LP, my old friend. I don't think that could be, I don't like, there was already incredibly frustrating games today where games that very easily could have been a first became eighths because of critically bad low rolls. But this takes the cake. Salvage bin, five cloaks. Swords, zero playable items, despite being able to break everything up. That was disgusting. <sighs> I'm not getting my stream yet, but... I, I feel like I've had enough of set 11. Actually, I lost to this exact encounter already. This exact thing happened to me twice already, where it's like, you have to roll down because of circumstances. If you don't roll down, you're trolling. You roll down and it's like, haha, now all, in, all rolls are one gold. There was another game where I played tempo and then we got the carousel where every single unit was a two star three cost. And then everybody who was rerolling like four players instantly hit their three stars. Like, oh, well, fuck you if you didn't happen to choose the, the strat that lined up with the encounter. I don't have problems with encounters normally, but I think some of them are way too strong. Encounters as a concept is fine, but certain ones are ridiculously instant win or instant lose. There are like 90 encounters, and I think over half of them are fine. I think there's like 20 to 30 encounters that are really bad for the game. They're never gonna remove them because they're fun for the casual player. And Riot really cares a lot about the casual player, and they should. But I just don't think this is the right way to do it. Alright, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit.
This story is not yet finished. Destination is clear. Slide of hand here. It's in general a good augment, but I don't have a glove, and I also don't have a winning board. I kind of want to reroll and pray for like a good econ augment. Slide of hand is not going to be that strong here. My board's too weak. Please, an econ augment. Econ. Uh. I, I guess. Wow! I just hit. Wow. Yes. Now I wish I had sleight of hand. I actually just hit the nuts shop. Is that a good wow or a bad wow? It's a bit of both. If I had seen the shop one round earlier, I would have taken the TG one and then I would have win streaked. So like I'm I'm a little sad on that regard. But also, like I did hit, so happy about that part. This story is not yet finished. Don't know what I'm gonna do with my item slimes. Every single item you can slam here is really bad for this build. The least bad item you could slam is a Vow Yasuo. And then. But that denies you your Titan's Volibear. Like, all of these could become decent items if you wait. Titans, BT, Hodge, or Redemption. What about Edgenite? Edgenite is very bad here. I I would say doing Edgenite is a throw. You deny yourself BT and Titans, two of your best items, for an item that is not very good at all. It's like good on a squishy high damage melee unit. That's it. No way you bought four in this spot, right? I've given up. The, I, I've like seen enough bullshit. I've started off a lot of games playing aggressively, being 100 HP on stage 4, into 7th. It's happened twice today, because of encounters. Because of encounters and missing on my level 9 rolldown. Or keeping the Malphites. Because you play Kiana, you play Kiana over a Duelist, probably Tristana. 
And then you play Malphite for Heavenly uh, Behemoth for stats on your whole team. Malphite's just a very good unit. His Heavenly bonus is basically Altruist. He is a unit you should absolutely just keep in the early game because he's so flexible. Like, Heavenly pairs up with every single board. And Malphite's bonus is... 8 armor and 8 magic resist, which is insane. Insane value for a 1 cost. Uh, I need a bow or a chain. No, uh, bow or cloak. Probably not going to get the bow. That's a bard. I would be happy with the BT. Okay, nice. Horn. You forgot to bow. say I win just because Darius 2 goes really crazy. Do I have to slam this bow? Oh wait. Okay. I got owned. I'm actually really surprised that I lost that. Oh, what the fuck? He has a cane. Did he have a cane last round? Oh, he didn't. He beat me without the cane. Just Heavenly Reaper? Damn. I think I know why I lost that. I think I lost it because I didn't let my Darius tank enough. If he tanked more and let the other duelist stay alive, God damn it, man. Okay, my fault. I didn't think it was gonna matter. But I did end up losing a five streak, which is like 20 gold. I did end up losing a five streak because I didn't position correctly. I wanted to keep my best unit alive, but I should have let my best unit tank more. This story is not yet finished. Okay, I would also say, if we don't hit a duelist here that it augment, I should not be playing duelist here. I should tempo it to nine. How is it 20 gold? Well, it's one gold for the win, one gold for the streak, then on this one, it is two gold for the streak, then another two gold for the streak, then it's three gold for the streak, 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 gold for the streak. forever, how, how, forever, what much longer you're going to win for. In my opinion, this board could easily have win streaked for the entire next stage. So that's like minus 15 gold already. Not to count, not counting the amount that I lost for this streak right here, which is five, which is adds up to 20 gold. It is like actually like a fuck ton of uh, amount of gold to lose. Actually, I think I'm down to do this. Oh, I didn't link in time. I'm down to like pivot to faded if I get a faded crest. I have all the units. Duelist doesn't have much future if you don't hit Duelist Dogman. 
But yeah, like, the amount of gold I've already lost from losing that one round is like 8 gold. In lost win streak. It's it's really depressing. Like, it's fine. The game is still top 4 -able. But there is a good chance that that will be the difference between making it to 9 or not. Oh, this is huge. There's a very high chance I get Duelist Crest here, or um, Extended Duel, or Faded Crest. Because those are the only two traits I have on the board. Alright, Faded Crest, or Duelist Crest, or Extended Duel, please. Oh. Shit. Uh, I don't think it's fine vintage this time around. Actually, it could be. It could be. I don't think I will. Oh, if only I took the thing earlier. I'd probably still take it. I think I am pivoting to Faded. You really cannot play Duelist under these circumstances. But you can play Faded here. Yeah. I want to play 5 Faded right now. Oh, well, it's weaker to play 5 Faded right now, but it gets you Econ. That loss didn't cost you 20 after all. That is an incorrect way to think about it. If I had my streak, I would have leveled to 7 and rolled. But instead, because I didn't have a streak, it wasn't worth it for me to roll. You can't just say, well, you lost, therefore, like, it didn't really cost you that much money. I would have fought to protect it. Would I have won? Who knows? But I would have 100% fought to protect it. That last uh, that last fight was definitely winnable if I roll, but I cannot afford to roll here because I don't have a streak to protect. If you win at the cost of twenty gold, like you're not making you're not making the money back because you don't have a streak. Okay, I am super down to play Syndra. I actually don't like playing Aphilius. I like the Syndra variant much more. So if I want the Syndra variant, I grab a blue buff right here. Alright. Okay, I do need to roll like twice here though. I'm sitting on a lot of pairs. Uh, would I ever roll one time here to see if I can hit something better than Darius? Okay. Fate hunts you today. Oh shit, I've got four Aphiliuses. I should probably actually consider Aphiliuses through here. My items are like... very bad. My items and my augments are in a spot of like... Oh. 
if I don't hit a crazy board, crazy board being like go nine, two star everything, including set, or I uh, hit three star thresh, three star yasuo. If I don't hit something like that, it's pretty fucked. I'm down to roll down to 40 though, since I already can't make econ here. See if I hit something. Here's an ash. Spirit, reveal our way. I'm not sure if it's better yet. But I was down because it made econ. What unit gets the BT? Uh, the only one that makes sense is set. It's actually like very good on set, but yeah, that, that BT is a bit awkward for sure. Uh, if I'm at five Aphelioses, let's plug it into the calculator. Oh, do I win this? I think I win. It's really close. Uh oh, damn. I couldn't out damage the cane. Alright, so I want a 3 cost. I'm currently level 7. Does anybody else have this? No, it's completely uncontested. It's also like reverse contested. There's a lot of Yone's out. Alright, according to the chart, if I roll 50 gold, I have a 30% chance of hitting Aphelios 3. If I roll 75 gold, I have a 34% chance of hitting. The odds don't seem that great. If I don't have Aphelios items, I don't think I'm gonna. Oh. Oh. This is freedom. Okay, hang on. Such oh. Potential. Okay, well, I'm definitely rolling now. Oh. Wish my fate on what? Okay, well, I'm I'm a hundred I'm a hundred million percent rolling. I held the greatest blessing. I alone decide my fate. Wow, fuck. These items are trash. Oh, they're not trash for Syndra. Yeah, they're not trash for Syndra. They're trash for Aphelios, though. Dang. I just rolled 30 gold and didn't hit an Aphelios. I also need to hit one Syndra. Uh, Hero Grab Bag is 3-star Aphelios right now. But I actually think that's a huge throw. Uh, because I have zero items. I wonder if it's Sniper Aphelios, actually, though. Sniper Syndra? That could actually work. Yeah. I'm done for that. And then we, we just have to roll the zero here. I'm too low. I have to hit one Syndra. Sninja. I'm playing two Yasos by accident. I didn't even realize. Okay, I gotta go fix that. It's okay. I was never beating this guy anyway. He's level 9, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh? Okay. That's bittersweet, because I just rolled a fuck ton. But I'm definitely rolling down to zero now. This story is not yet finished. Oh. Such potential.
Okay. I probably wait a little bit and then re-roll the rest. Yeah, that's pretty bittersweet because I just rolled like... I think I just rolled 50 gold. And I still had money to roll, so it's not the end of the world, but... That was definitely like not ideal. I desperately need items on this Aphilios. And that's happened to you three times in a row, yeah. Yeah, it's also the event I complain about the most. It's like super obvious when you get fucked by it. Alright, well, I know what I want. I definitely want the rod. Okay, uh, there's another rod. There's also a Yasuo with a glove. But I think I'd rather just have Aphelios items. Oh. Okay, I... Uh... I warned you, box box, bro. I'm not, not rolling, because of the one in ninety chance of a specific encounter. Okay, like it sucks that it happened, but like, I'm not going to leave that up to consideration. Why did you skip Yasuo through a TG? Because I have an Aphelios three, and if I don't try to give him good items, the game is over. Like, I, I like the idea of Yasuo through with a TG. But the only person you could put the TG on would be Kindred. It's not worth it. Oh yeah, I need to Link's set. Sorry, I've spent this entire game just tilted the entire time. But yes, I should Link the set. This game is going to be over, and it's going to be because of that event, and also because I cannot hit a few of items for the life of me. There was two rods, I was second pick, and I didn't get it. Please. The odds of the three people, or the two and a half people who can pick before me, taking both of the rods is like almost zero. And it happened. The odds of me getting the, the reroll York event three times today, right after I do my roll down, is also almost zero. And it happened anyway. This is like beyond sad. Okay, this is the last round of the York event, so I'm just gonna roll to zero here. Try to hit my Thresh, try to hit my Yasuo. It's 100% it's worth it to roll to zero here. Or die. And just like see what you get. I herald the greatest blessing. I will not hold back. Such potential. Spirits are calling. Okay. That's actually not that bad. I will have to eventually hit the Yasuo and eventually hit the Syndra. If I can get playable items, this is pretty good. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting to link the set. I gotta remember to do that next round. I'm playing this game on full tilt. Pray for two playable items. Like, it doesn't have to be Gwinsu's, but if it's not Gwinsu's, then it has to be like Giant Slayer and like IE. Like, it needs to be something that lets him have good base attack speed. All right, pray. Honestly, I was probably supposed to um, not make a hurricane here. I was probably supposed to make a, a glove item. That way I could leave the bow and maybe get a Gwinsu's. Cause now I'm basically asking to natural one bow or rod and then use the anvil to finish it. The odds are not very likely. Dang. All right, well, it's definitely an IE slam. And then one last item. Oh, I guess we didn't even hit the rod, so it's probably fine. Uh, last Whisper is not the worst. It also does give him some much needed attack speed. Yeah, I, th I think you have to do it. The reason why Last Whisper is not normally that good here is because uh, he already Sunders. He already Sunders. Uh, Last Whisper Sunders for more, so it's not the worst. But like, I need it because I need attack speed. Why not Guardbreaker? Guardbreaker gives AP, so it is not ideal here. I would Last Whisper is better than Guardbreaker. 100%. I had your back. 
Like, not having Gwinters, though, is really sad. Need another Sintra Elementa first. I, I I don't have high hopes for this game. Uh, what I do need is a Thresh three item. If you're playing Thresh three and you don't have items for him, like it's it's a pretty big throw. Is this just for Aphelios? I uh, no. Replace the Lost Whisper with a Gwinsus, and it might be. But we didn't hit a rod the entire game. It was actually like not possible to make a Gwinsus because of what happened on that carousel. This is, like, good enough for a fifth place. But like, keep in mind, my augments suck. So it, it's, like, really not good. Wow, I actually almost won that. I could have killed him right there. One auto attack. If only my Aphelios had something. Alright, any chance of an Orn? Any chance of an Orn? Dang it. It was actually like one auto attack. My Aphelios almost clutched it. I'm pretty sure you want these two on the same side. Hit the same target. What if you pair Kindred and Set? For the attack speed? That's interesting, actually. That's actually very interesting. I, I think I might be down. Doesn't Aphelios Sunder in his ability today? Dude, there's something wrong with my chat today. I've never seen this level of backseating, and I've seen, like, a lot of backseating. I literally just talked about this for, like, four minutes, four minutes ago. Alright, what's good here? Uh, Gunblade Syndra is good. Red buff set is not that good. Uh, okay, it's probably just Gunblade. Of, of these choices, it's probably Gunblade. Wait, no. I think it's Crown Guard. I already have the... I already have the Thresh, or uh, the set link. Sheesh. The grave is your home. Okay, I think I'm actually down to Link, Set, and Kindred. Because if you Link, Kindred, your whole team gets 54% attack speed. 18 times 3. Like, that actually sounds very good. That sounds like what I need to stay alive here. Is it better than the Syndra Link? Uh, Syndra's 30% attack speed. Uh, I feel like this Aphelios just desperately needs attack speed. I could be wrong, but... I believe that 54% attack speed is better than 30% more damage. Hang in there, Set and Thresh. Okay, he actually looks like a unit now. Yeah, he actually looks good here. Uh, if I sack this round, I might be able to go 9. It is Scuttle... Oh, it's Crab Rave. Okay, I'm gonna sit. Like, I don't even think Orn 1 is better here. This Yone is a bit scary, but my Syndra and Aphelios, they both heal a lot. It's so, like, Aphelios will survive.
Nice. Wow, this Kindred Link goes crazy. Thank you to the guy who has suggested that. Makes a lot of sense too, since um, the Gwinsus make sense with the the full tank link, but because we don't have that, we don't really have that much scaling. Oh, what a chunker. All right. I believe that my team wins this. I'm pretty sure my team wins this. I wonder if this guy loses. You take exactly nine damage from Scuttle Puddle. Oh, actually, he has Lissandra too, probably not. Come on, the Omni Vamp is going hard. Come on. I need the items, please. Okay, nice. This is freedom. All right, nice. I get one set item, one uh, Syndra item. Jeweled Gauntlet. Yeah, Jeweled Gauntlet, and then, a, uh, then an item for set. Titans. Oh wait, he actually did die. Yeah, wow. That's really funny. All right, let's do this. I think this time I'm gonna do this. Alright, attempt to make it to 9. What an exciting game. We all rolled very hard, and we somehow made it work. Fight, Aphelios, fight! Oh, I got owned. Oh! He's level 10! With Lissandra 2 printing items! Alright, is there a chance of second place? Well, I'll have to live this round. I would have to live this round. If I... Oh, they're both level 10. Oh, no. Okay, how do I want to position this? Probably like that. And then just let them fight. This Yone 3 is terrifying, but if the Yone 3 goes for Aphelios, Aphelios can heal it back up. It's actually possible. Also, in a 1v1, set beats Yone. Wait, he did not survive. Wow, really? I think I win though, Singer's alive. Holy crap, this fight. Whew. All right, let's go nine and play anything. All right, I got one roll. What can I play? Here's an Ornn. I, I don't really need to print any items though. I think I'd rather just play a Warden. Okay. Hi, Aphelios! I saw him die earlier. I don't want him to suffer the same fate. Just everybody run from the Yone! Oh wait, they're both printing infinite components with Lissandra. No! This Yone, no! Wait, Yone failed. Oh, what a clutch lantern! Winnable, actually winnable! Oh my God. Oh, that's it. That's it, a set two. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. We could take the Umbral Crest, that's the strongest play here. But, there is a small chance! 
a very, very small chance of set two, and set two would actually save the game. All right. I will not S. 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 Two sets. S. <gasps> you got spirit. Is there a chance? Is there a chance? The the one cost actually make decent synergies. Maybe set two diff, actually. Not even kidding. For real, for real. Oh god, somebody peel for Aphilios! Somebody protect the, the AD carry! Oh no! Wait, somebody protect the AP carry! Oh no! Wait, but look at Set in the backlight! Set doesn't give a fuck about the team! He's actually just going in on his own! He's gonna bring it home! He doesn't give a fuck! Oh my god. Okay. Should I, should I hide my guy again? Oh, ghost board. Come on, come on team. Come on. In a 1v1, Set does win. This is no longer about Syndra or Aphilios. Let him die. Set, with these items, has been scaling up the whole game. He doesn't need anyone else. Top two. Trying to beat me, like trying to paint on water. He's gained 169% AD. All right, for the final round, squatting doesn't matter. For the final round, just get good positioning. All right, Albert, what's the game plan? Do this. Look at my set! Straight to the back line! <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck! <laughs> he just goes straight for the carries! Bring it home! What a beautiful comeback! What a game. We beat two players who high rolled level 10, Lissandra 2, and farm components. And it all came down to linking Kindred with set for the attack speed to make up for the lack of a Gwinsu's, and then hitting a set 2 against all odds and barely being able to feel the board of one cuss that somehow kept the synergies.
insane. Thanks for the gift sub. Thanks for the gift sub. Thanks for the gift sub. A Nodders A Nodders. Thank you very much, Jfish, for the 10 gifted subs. What a game. Can I get a box bobbing in the chat? That was awesome. First good game of the day. Very hype. Let me go tell Tim about it. The YouTube. Okay, hello VN Remix. Hello Bathing Green Tea. Welcome. Gift the chatter who linked you the idea a sub. I have no idea who linked me the sub. Or linked me the idea. Could the guy who told me the idea give me a me? Just so we know who it was. Alright, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Solid warm up. Who's next? Larger legends. Uh oh. I hate larger legends. Spirits are calling. Oh, it's Porp. Thanks, Porp. Uh, what do we got here? I go where the trouble is. Okay, there we go. Need to buy these two units. Yeah, I am that good. Okay, I don't understand how to play this going long. I'm going, so I'm not even gonna think about it. Starter kit. Do I have good items for a starter kit? I don't think so. I'm surprised Warden Crown has. Oh, it's low sample size. Pretty sure Warden Crown here is really bad. Uh, I feel like... I like the idea of Radiant Relics, and then you set up a really strong early game carry. So like, give me like a Radiant Gwinsus. Radiant Hurricane. With these items, I think it's good. Okay, and then what do we got? I have Giant Slayer Guardbreaker. I have IE Hurricane. Even Shroud IE and then a bow. I think that sounds correct. Even Shroud IE and then a bow item. I don't think double hurricane is correct. They call me Jolly. They're right. When life gives you sour bandleberries, make bandle brew. Guardbreaker plus hurricane is bis. I don't think it's actually this. Guardbreaker is a very weird item because it gives you crit, attack speed, and AP. So for most of the units who like you're thinking of putting it on, the AP is wasted. Which is really unfortunate, because like otherwise it'd be a great item. If Guardbreaker was just attack speed, crit, and then like the um 
the shield breaking passive, it'd be so much more flexible. But because part of the item power budget is in the, the AP, it's not a very good item. Uh, the only people who like it are people who can crit and like AP and like attack speed, which is like a few AP units. With that being said, like late game, I would still slam it if it was all I had. Yeah, if it's all I had, I would still play it. What is Irelia's best in slot? Uh, Hurricane, Guardbreaker, Red Buff. If you're wondering why Guardbreaker on Irelia, it's because of her incredible ability to always have the buff active. Burdens of the past. She like always has the buff active. Was Hurricane buffed? No, it's always just been decent. Uh, this is an unfortunate amount of pairs to have. Uh, I'll sell all of this. Does Hurricane proc Guardbreaker? It does. Still not very good though. But yeah. Radiant Relics is a very interesting argument. You should know this. This is very important. Radiant Relics is bad, or it's it's good early game on stage two. It's bad on stage three, and it's very bad on stage four. It's because the value of an augment is just very low, like an uh, an item. The value of an item goes down. Early game, it's very high because it's like you only have like two or three items, so having a super item is really good. But late game, having one super item barely means anything because you already have like ten items total. I uh, late game, you want power in the form of out like outside of items, right? Because you want your like three item Kaisa to also have tiny but deadly. You don't want Radiant Relics where you then just like swap out one of your items and it's like kinda not really much stronger as a team. Hello, Aizanag one. Thanks for 13 months. But yeah, also, if you take Gradient Relics early game, I... Oh, fuck. Oh, dude, I'm sitting on so many pairs. Okay, is it trolling if I roll one time here? I want to roll one time here so that I can keep my streak. I'm going to do it. I believe I'll hit a Sivir and it'll make the difference. Take that. Like, I have three pairs. I, if I don't roll there, I'm definitely gonna lose. Wait, what if I roll and lose? No, 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 it's a Sivir diff, it's a Sivir diff. Oh, it's a Sivir diff. It's a Sivir diff, I promise. Why does this guy have like 12 units? It was not a Sivir diff. Oh, I'm so stupid. I need to also level. Okay. That's my bad. I, I actually deserve to lose that. I, I also had to support it by leveling and then playing, like, anything. I'm not sure if two ribbons is enough to win that, but it would have made it very close. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to level. Okay, my fault. They call me Jolly. They're right. Yeah, I need to roll once, hit the Sivir, and then level. I can't believe I forgot. How did I make such a big mistake? What a huge mistake. I passed the RNG check, but I didn't level to support my team. I could have ended his streak, man. I could have ended his streak. Holy shit. Actually, nobody has a streak. Interesting. Okay, I could definitely just play four bruisers and then uh, finish up with the Kaisa build. I'm in a great spot to play Kaisa here. Kaisa, Galio, Set. Kench, Riven, Sivir. Oh. 
Yeah, I am that good. <laughs> Watch this. Kill, are you okay? She's really angry. This world needs hope. Okay, I'm actually not going to make um I'm actually not gonna make a sunfire here. I know what you're thinking. D colon Y. Uh, fuck the Sunfire. My server does so much damage, we don't need it. But I am really sad that I didn't level. That's gonna cost me a lot of money, and it's completely my fault. Actually, no, maybe it was fine. I kinda got owned anyway. Damn, really? I lost a two-star Senna. Uh, uh, it's not Pandora's. Pandora's is horrible here. I don't think it's Trash or Treasure. My items are pretty good. It could just be Buried Components. Or uh, Buried Treasures. Stationary Support is on average pretty good, but it has a chance of really low roll. I'm done to just like, itemize a bunch of carries. I also already lost my streak, so I think this is fine. I go where the trouble. Yeah, I already lost my streak, so we can just chill. Well, thanks, Jaden. I'm glad that my streams help you out. If it cheers you up. I do want to let you know that I've been working on my backflip. Check us out. Ta-da! Allowee grants you eight free rerolls this round. Wait, this round. Uh, I should level. Oh, uh, this this is like super strong for rerollers. My destination is clear. What do I even want here? Fuck! I wish I could be level seven right now. I guess I just want bruisers. Oh, and these guys. Oh, eight rolls is a lot. Holy shit, eight rolls is a lot. Oh wait, you know, I actually could have run Fortune. Yeah, this actually would have been a time to run Fortune, because I like naturally want to run Teemo and Zoe. Yeah, I actually should have. I need tank items. Oh. Wait, these are like not tank items at all. I can maybe make a Shojin. Five? That's actually not bad. That's like sack until the next carousel.
I'm in a spot where I could actually lose five here. And then uh, once I lose five, I cash out. Can you explain how fortune works? Not really. I, I lose and then I get rewards when I when it's over. I don't want to win. But if you if you want to know more than that, you'll have to like look up a guide on it. it it's a little intricate. Do you have to lose streak? Yes. If you like win at any point besides maybe the very end, it's pretty fucked because uh, your luck per loss go resets back when you win. So you like really don't want to win. All right, so what do I have here? I have a Shojin for Kaisa. I have a Morellos I can put on Teemo and I have tank items. I just want to kill a couple units every round and that's it. bad win. I, I moved my Sivir, and I ended up dodging perfectly. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's fine. I, I don't... Okay, I'm, I'm just not gonna play Fortune. I, I wasn't too committed to it. My Fortune streak of one. <laughs> Head. Oh, maybe I'll hit Timo 3. Uh, yeah, let's do this. That's definitely a Shojin. And then there's definitely a Gargoyle here. Uh, what else are we looking at? Sterex. No, I'm trying to play four bruiser, four trick shot. So it's like all tank items or items for uh, trick shots. Sterex is neither of those. This is necessary. Could be Martyr. It's not Forge. I need like combat augments. Teaming up? Nah. It's probably Martyr. Okay, do I dare roll here a little bit? How troll is it for me to roll here? If I hit one Kaisa, I just like win the game. Or Galio. I'll roll twice and then after that just sack. Two rolls! Today. One. Let's move. I've got people to install. All right, let's go for Timo three and Kaisa two. Also, Silas over Kabuko. Did you say you're gonna roll twice? All right, I hit on my first roll, so there's no need. Oh no, this guy's also going trick shots. Oh, he is like very clearly hard contesting me. Oh shit. Wait, you're level eight with 30 gold. Oh no, he's gonna beat me to it. I think I take eight gold here. I don't think I need one component anvil that badly. I've got plenty of items already. How many Teemos are out of the pool? Rolling at seven could actually be correct here. One. That's it. Okay, Teemo three actually sounds pretty good. So I'll roll a tiny bit at seven and then I'll level up. Travel awaits. 
So, what am I gonna do here? Let's get a Shojin for Kaisa. I don't know who's gonna keep this Gwinsu's. I guess it's like Bard. Oh, yeah, two or three Exalted. Ah, uh, I had to play like a really wasted unit, but I could. Well, I'm, I'm leveling up for Bard. Oh, wait. This is a big deal. What the fuck? That's Shojin? Wait. That's Shojin? And a Kaisa or a Zaya. Isn't Shojin bad? Uh, I don't think it's bad on Kaisa. Better than Gwinsu's. Wait, let me look it up. Kaisa 2. Uh, best items. Shojin's like decent. It apparently is not best in slot. Now I'm just gonna slam it. Hmm. How do I fit in this, uh... Hmm. Why not GS though? Uh, then she won't cast enough. Shojin and GS perform about the same on Kaisa. Which makes sense, because her mana is perfectly divisible by 5. It turns her um, 8 autos to 5. Level to 8. No, I'm waiting because there's a chance that this encounter... Like, it's stupid, but there's a chance that this encounter gives me what I want. I also like have quite a bit of HP. Oh, I don't like any of these. Oh, I should definitely roll at 7. I'm gonna roll at 7 and hit Timo. The last time I ate a plant was never. Hear this cursed form sing! No prison can hold me. Oh, not bad, actually. Okay, I'm gonna go 8 here. Oh, my Timo just dodged. I'm gonna go 8 here, and then I'm going to roll for two Kaisas and a Timo. And then we'll also throw in this Zaya. Okay, let's do it. I need two Timos and a Kaisa. Two Timos, Kaisa. You have... is that a Kaisa too? Oh shit. How many Kaisas do you have? You have none? Okay, maybe it's hittable. Come on, Albert. Aurelia, no. Take that one. Travel awaits. Come on. No. I'll sell the head.
All right, Albert, you can do it. If you're the best player in the world, you hit something here. If you're the best player in the world, you hit one Kai'Sa, or one Zaya, or one... that guy. Oh, fuck. I actually want this. But I don't think it's worth locking. Oh, actually. As you wish. Let's do this. Okay, my backline is very strong, and it's very close to getting very, very strong. Oh my god, no, it came down to just the Soraka. Come on, Albert. Honestly, Exalted might be, like, better. Is there you? Oh, wait. Oh, it's not even exalted. Fuck. I'm so stupid. It's not even exalted. Oh, okay. This doesn't work. Well, you get Ultras, but you don't get two Dragon Lord. Oh, fuck. Okay. Come on, Albert. Wait, this guy is about to cash out 75 gold. This me of our first game. Okay, thank God I'm facing him now. You lost four bruiser? Yes, I'm aware. It is because I, w I wanted to uh, be able to buy that unit. All right, I need a tank item. I am down for another gargoyle. Okay, please, I am begging you. That's three Zayas out of the pool, or three uh, Kaisas out of the pool. Only three? Come on, Albert. Oh yeah, how big is this guy's cash out gonna be? It's definitely like an instant win, 95 gold. He's level 950 gold before the cash out. Three Dragon Lord Spets. Travel awaits. Okay, thank God I just faced him, because he could go 10 if he wants to now. If we're like ultra lucky. If we're ultra lucky, then he fa he faces someone really strong, got dizzy, didn't finish his board, and then he loses. Like, he didn't slam uh, some of his items. Maybe? Man, I'm gonna lose because I can't hit one Kai'Sa. My strongest unit is just so weak now. It's so sad. All right, Albert. You're just praying for a literal miracle at this point. Man, one day I want to make this trick shot build work, but my inability to hit Kaisa 2 astounds me. I don't know how it's possible to miss every single time. It was hardly even contested. One guy had a Kaisa 2, that was it. Goodbye, world. Yeah, Kaisa's not real. Maybe I face someone really weak here. Oh, he looks pretty strong. Like, I've gotten owned by other people playing this build. It's definitely a good build. But I have yet to be able to set it up correctly. Oh, I'm alive. A chance. Okay, maybe this guy dies, I get sixth. Oh, yeah, maybe I have to look up Kaisa Fanart Hot. <laughs> Alright. I'm looking up Kaisa Fanart Hot. This is what I see.
Now that I've appreciated her body, maybe she'll show up. It's probably almost guaranteed a six though, because this guy's going first place. Everybody else has a lot of HP. I think if I, what if I hit a Kaisa? Okay, what if I hit a Kaisa and a Zaya? Come on, Albert. You can do it. You are literally the best. You're literally the best. Come on. <laughs> she doesn't exist. She actually doesn't exist. Goodbye, world. That was like 80 gold at Kaisa Pair. It's fine. I don't think I was going to win anyway. This guy has a very strong board. It is a shame because we had our game plan on 2-1. The moment we like saw the the items, we're like, "Holy shit! This would be such an awesome Kaisa game." How many Kaisa are in the pool? Ten. I had two. One guy had three. So your odds hitting a Kaisa were wait, the Kaisa player died. All of the Kaisas were in the pool. It was completely uncontested. Holy crap! It's fine. Sometimes you really just can't hit. If I hit on that roll down, I would have gotten like fourth or third. I'd save a million HP from having a Kaisa 2 the entire time with Radiant Item. I'm gonna play the ad break, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, Cyanide.
All right, welcome back from the ad break. All right, what do we have here? Uh, I want to hang on to these two. I have to either sell the Yone or the Zoe. Probably sell the uh, the Zoe. Never a dull moment. I have not been a fan of Fortune. I had two games yesterday where I got the worst cash out possible and then instantly lost, and it was incredibly tilting. Never a dull moment. Like if you're at a certain the way Fortune works, if you're at a certain amount of luck and then you cash out, there's like a pool of like five possible rewards and then there there is just like a worst reward and if you happen to get the worst reward you just lose i find it very frustrating it was like any other reward i get first place and i get this one reward i go last and then it happened twice it was beyond frustrating Stay down. oh shopping spree is kind of crazy Uh, yeah, I like shopping spree. I also kind of like wandering trainer. How flexible am I feeling? Let's do wandering trainer. Oh wait, freaky Friday. No, my items aren't very good for it. All right, let's see what I get. Fortune, Story Weaver. Oh my god, I sold my Zoe. You day, new friends, same old me. No, I sold my Zoe. No, I made the wrong choice. I sold Zoe instead of Yonai. The Story Weaver stage is crazy though. Yeah, even if you just remove the uh, the fortune. This world needs hope. I think it's the last game I have time for today. I gotta go at midnight. I promised some friends I would play Helldivers. What a great game. Probably the best co-op co game in like years, besides like Baldur's Gate. What does oh no mean? Oh no is oh no. I don't know what else to say about it. All right, come on, any fortune unit. Ah, fuck. Okay, I mean, setting up Econ's not bad. I'm just so sad about that Zoe cell. I thought Yone was more likely to be useful than Zoe. And I was literally talking about how I didn't like playing fortune. So it was like, this is so sad. Oh, there's also another fortune loose streaker. Fortune, level up. Oh, Jesus. This guy is going to win the game, first place. That seems like a pretty unlosable angle. Actually, it's probably in my interest to int him. I'm pretty weak. Yeah, I'm pretty weak. I could actually do it. This guy's name is Hyun is cute. You think it's talking about the Hyun that I'm thinking of? What an interesting name. Uh, any story weavers? 
Oh, Riven. Wait, any fortune? No fortune. Would you ever do a stream to teach someone how to play TFT that's brand new? Uh, almost guaranteed no, because they would... Like, teaching the basics is not fun. I would coach somebody who's, like, gold and trying to improve. That's kind of interesting. If the person was... If the person themselves was interesting, I would coach them. But I wouldn't just teach a random person. I'm not really a coach. Oh yeah, should I try the blue Kale tech? This might be a game to, to try the blue Kale. You could charge a lot. I mean, the the rates that I would charge, nobody would pay. I don't know what numbers you're thinking of, but if I were to spend my time coaching, I would charge a ridiculous amount of t amount of money. Not because I think I'm a good coach, but because I value my time. Because I can just stream, right? I can just stream and play ads. It'd have to pay a lot more than that. It'd have to pay like as much as a sponsored stream. Alina will permanently empower one tier of champions for you. Oh, fuck. Uh, I really hate this. Should I do four costs? Three cost? I could like do like a bard reroll kind of thing. Never a dull moment. When life gives you sour bandle berries, make bandle brew. Okay, so my problem here is, like, you could play Bard Reroll from this spot. It's not very good. Bard Reroll, when you have Wandering Trainer, like, the, the Bard builds fits perfectly without any crests. So, unless the, the Wandering Trainer happens to, like, adapt perfectly into it, I don't think it's the play. Man. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm so stupid. I was inting, and I forgot that I already faced him. I go where the trouble is. This is necessary. Okay, also, I realize now, I have blue kale. If you have blue kale, you should not play bard reroll. Uh, let's figure something else out. This world needs hope. Did someone say full level, buy Aatrox, lose one gold, and then hit a Galio and shop? Fortune. Probably, I don't think I can actually play it though. Oh, you know what I could do? Since I chose three costs as the empowerment. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. What if I reroll? Yeah, reroll Zoe. Rowie. And you get to reroll like all of these bad boys. Maybe this. Thank you, the Molar Jackson, for the Raid 01. Wait, okay. I am down to reroll Zoe, Soraka, and Diana, and Kench, I guess. Do a Lowy over Kench? Wait, let me think. I could see it. Oh, perfect loss. 
What's the late game? I don't know. Three star everything. Wait, three is a crowd. Isn't it time? It's time. It's actually pretty bad according to the stats, but I feel like in this particular build, it's got to be big. I'm going to do it. Take that. Okay, this is gonna be so interesting. Wandering trainer, three is a crowd. Let me let me decide what my exact level seven is gonna be. Cause you, you can't play all of these, right? So not Kench. That's still nine units. Uh drop Sivir Garen. So these seven units. I mean, it is 4-3 cost, and they, like, decently synergize. Is it second row Kale? Didn't they nerf that trick? Pretty sure they nerfed that trick. Oh, if I lose this, that's perfect. Oh! Do I take my, like, four gold? I'm pretty sure I take my four gold, because I, uh, I'm about to set up my real board. If I roll, like, a more than, like, a two, I won't, I won't be able to cash out. Okay, so I have Jeweled Gauntlet for Zoe. What is Zoe's best in slot? What are we thinking? Jeweled Gauntlet, and then a mana item. Definitely got a tier here. Alright, now I'm gonna level up and roll for my board. Yeah, Nashers is probably fine. Yeah, Nashers is probably fine. JG, Shoujin, or JG Nashers, and then a tier item. And that tier item will probably be Shoujin. Okay, I mean, we could be cooking. We'll see. Wait, did somebody say Galio too? Guys, I swear it'll work out. I know I just d denied my Zoe. Fuck the Zoe. I'm getting Galio too. All right, let's do this. You gain new friends. Save all me. All right, roll a little bit. Set up a Zoe. Let me show you darkness. Oh. Wait. Guardians of the past. No, I, I don't think I can play it. Deny me no longer. I need a one star Zoe, please. Need a one star Zoe. Also, I, I need a Zyra, right? Yeah, I need a Zyra for Sage.
Guess the outcome. Oh, I have to win. I'm rolling and I have to win. I'll win and we roll. Yeah, I'd win. Uh, I might even like roll for one Zyra. It only clouds the future. I'm Zoe. What's your name? Okay. If this isn't good enough. If this isn't good enough, literally nothing is. I have to win this. I, I will forfeit on the spot if I lose. I'm, I'm actually like so fucked without the 10 gold. I rolled to like hell and back for two stars. I've got a two star Galio, I got three as a crowd, my three costs are empowered. I have to win. I think this guy's in the same boat. Actually, this is my friend, S Shade. He's in the same boat as me. He probably also said, nah, I'd win. Come on, Zoe, do something. Okay, okay. We're alive. Come closer. Okay, I mean, we did it. We set up my board. Uh. Yeah, you don't need Warden, huh? Not a bad board to adapt to this uh, wandering trainer. Imagine a spat. Oh. None will escape my grasp. Oh. Closer to the divine. Uh. What do you think? Archangels. I also have a bramble. AD is good. 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 AD is not good, and AD is good, so a majority of people. I could do this. Not sure how good an Archangels is on Zoe, though. She like has this weird stacking mechanic where you want to get kills and then she pops off really hard. Once she gets like the first kill, it starts to snowball because once she gets the first kill, uh, all of her future casts are empowered. So you want like a Zoe 3 that gets like, the first kill and then goes infinity and then just bounces and kills the whole board. And it's like very satisfying. Arcanist emblem? I don't think it's that worth. I wonder if it's ever a big grab bag. I mean, Ultra's Crest is free, right? That's just like guaranteed buff to my whole team, but it's not that much. Big grab bag would finish my Zoe's items right now. Jeweled Lotus. I nah, probably won't trust. Violence to end the violence. Okay, I'm gonna use this extra time to look up uh Look up Zoe's best items. Units, Zoe. Okay, Jewel Lotus would have gone pretty hard with uh Kale. Okay. Zoe's most played trio is JG, Shojin, Nashers. And it does not do very well. Wait. Okay. I'm looking at the stats, and literally every variation of Zoe is losing. Every single, like, three items you could build on Zoe is worse than if you had just, like, built a different carry. It all like averages a 4.7. Uh, the best performing one that I can see 
is Shojin JG Shiv. This is necessary. Like, I'm not slamming a Shiv on my main carry. I think I'm just gonna do it anyway and like hope that it's good enough. I got, I'm, I'm already committed. I've slammed three components on here. I'm going all the. Oh. I never rest. I want to see everything. No, no, I'm pretty sure this Lissandra is a bait. Like, yeah, I could level and then play her. And then play this Lux for Porcelain for Arcanist. I think that's a bait. I'm pretty sure I have three's a crowd. I have the Alune buff. I should stick to this. I commit. I will commit. I think I'd rather have the Shojin or the JG over the Shojin because I can do JG and then adaptive JG blue buff JG Shojin, very easy to hit the out. But I really want this uh, JG because Zoe is getting a lot of AP. All right, no, I choose to commit. I choose to commit, and I believe that it'll it'll pay out. It'll pay out, guys. I swear. If I just am loyal to my Zoe. You can do it, Albert. You're gonna hit everything. Wait, this guy? Is that Bard 3? How do you have a Bard 3 already? Oh. Hero Crab Bag. Wait, he's Bard 3 Kench 1. Interesting. Ow. Don't worry, guys! I swear, once I hit, it will be awesome. All right, I'm at six Zoe's, five Alawis, five Dianas, five Sorakas. I will hit, and it will be glorious. Oh God, I'm probably fucked. Actually, this guy, Fortune Cash shouted, is level nine. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. It will all be okay. I'm fucked. I give myself a 5% chance of top fouring. But maybe I just hit everything. Maybe, just maybe. Zoe carry definitely does not seem nearly as good as uh, anyone else carry. She's only good if she can get the kills, and she's definitely not getting the kills right now. Don't worry, I got this. Travel awaits. Come closer. Deny me no longer. I will roll like thunder. I will hit everything, and the crowd goes poggers. Can I get three Zs, three Ds, four Ss, four Is, and one Z? No place is safe while I'm free. 
Hello? What? What? Okay. Where is the units? Well, I should zero Zoe's. Well, this might have been one of the lamest games of all time. I tried very hard to adapt to the wandering trainer that I was given instead of just being a brain dead, I'm gonna force something on 2 1. We found a good build, and then we simply did not hit, and we went eighth. The build was cool, I just didn't hit. Makes me feel like the correct play was to just. If I was gonna not hit on a build, I should at least not hit on a build that was good instead of trying to play creatively. There are five players in this game who just forced a very common popular meta build from 2-1 without pivoting. I should have just been the sixth. That's what I feel like. It was a cool build. If I had hit my units, I think I actually could have beaten some of them. Boxbox, you had seven story, but at some point didn't play it. Yeah, you know why? Because I was being flexible. I adapted to the encounter that makes it so that you are supposed to reroll. That Aluna encounter is so bad for the game. That Aluna encounter is literally, are you playing flexibly? Fuck you, right? Because people who reroll know exactly what their tiers of champions are going to be before, the, before that event even happens. People who are playing flexibly have to decide on the spot, right? So you get that Aluna event, it's like, okay, I have to choose two, three, or four costs. I can either be a reroller Reroll a build where we know that it will get value from this event or I could take four cost play flex and then just like hope that I hit something I choose the three cost because I know there is an available reroll build I can pivot into through flex play then I hit three as a crowd it looks really good you just have to hit but of course I'm not going to take seven store weaver at that point that's that's literally throwing the game the only way you could have played the seven store weaver that was given to me was if I chose four cost ignored the three as a crowd and then played tempo which also would have lost by the way to anyone who hits their reroll build and forced three costs. That's why I'm so frustrated. Like, if that encounter didn't happen, I could have played the seven store weaver to nine. But now if you try to play the seven store weaver, you're just behind a lot of combat power. People who force the build get a free gold augment's worth of combat power, and you get nothing. You get like a quarter of an augment, because like one unit will, without items will randomly be affected by it. So we try our best to play around it, and then we just lose. It's so frustrating. What's the point of ever, be, ever being creative if it will always just lose to people who force? It's so frustrating, man. I want to like this set, but like, I haven't streamed in four days and it's because it's, it's not fun to play. I, today, on today's stream alone, I have lost two encounters five times. Five different games today. I only played like eight games. In five different of the of the eight games I played today, I lost met like two or three placements to an encounter. I'm forced to do my roll down. Here's the York encounter where our roll downs are free. I'm forced to level to nine here and try to save HP. Well, here's the evolve. Everybody gets to level up for three gold instead of four. I'm playing flex. Here's a carousel full of two star three costs, so anybody who's reroll it gets their three star instantly. Like, I understand that sometimes I'll be on the other side of this encounter where it's like, holy shit, I'm rerolling bard and there's a two star bard on the carousel. I win! That doesn't even feel good. I don't even feel good. Like, I don't know about you guys. I don't know how many of you guys are like this, but I don't like winning if it's because I got lucky. I like winning because I'm better. And I don't mind losing if I'm worse. That's why it's so frustrating. If I won because of an encounter, I don't even feel good. I don't feel like I earned anything. I feel like I got bailed out by an encounter and I won the game. It, I'm not happy about it at all. And I know that I still suck. 
And I know that I'm going to lose the LP anyway because I didn't deserve it in the first place. This has actually been the most aggravating day of TFT ever. Lose to encounter over and over and over again. Like, long term, it'll be fine. I have no doubt I will be challenger in a week. Short term, it is the most infuriating thing in the world. Like, the previous most infuriating thing in the world was you miss your headliner and you lose short term. I was in the greatest spot to play 7 KDA, and then I rolled down 80 gold uncontested and didn't hit my KDA Akali. Happens. Right? It sucks when that happens. Sometimes it even happens two games in a row. But I lost five out of eight games to encounters today. There's no planning for it. They're just random. There's 90 of them. You cannot plan for a single encounter. You just have to like hope that the ones that happen benefit your board. The only thing you can do is be like, all right, well, I am going to guess that the one in 90 encounter is the one that really benefits me here. The, like, the, the most skill you can do in involving adapting to encounters is notice that there is an encounter on the carousel and then int for carousel priority. Because I'll, if, you, if you read the entire list of 90 encounters, most of them benefit you for being first pick. There is only one encounter that does not benefit you for being first pick, which is the Irelia one. It actually fucks you over if you're first pick. But like, if there's eight carousel encounters that all benefit you for being first pick, and there's one that doesn't benefit you, and you see that there's a carousel encounter, inting is actually a strat. But like, that's about as far as it goes in terms of like planning for encounters. It's so frustrating. What's the early encounter? Everybody moves freely. So like, there is no carousel pick order. It's really stupid and shouldn't exist in the game. Anyway. Yeah, that's my rant. I'm like pretty fucking pissed. They had the opposite issue in set 10. Where the game did not have enough for fun mechanics. And it led to a game that was just kind of stale to play after 500 games. In set 10, the game was actually pretty balanced. A lot of the game did come down to your skill, your flexibility, and to a reasonable extent, your luck. You're not always going to hit your desired headliner, but the skill in how you play around it and the skill in how you manage an undesirable but still playable headliner was very interesting. The complaints around set 10 mostly revolved around the, the, the frustration of not hitting your headliner, but also the fact that they removed all the fun augments. There needs to be some amount of fun in the game for the game to be fun. If you remove every augment like Blank Slate or like Think Fast, uh, you remove all the crazy highlights of the game that people will remember long term. And I don't think they needed to go that far as they did in set 10 to remove every single one so that you were basically just playing like the boring same game. Every game felt really samey. The units themselves were fun, but the game was basically the same. You get the AP items, you figure out your AP tree, and then you play a build based on the items that you've been given. Okay, sure. There's skill in maneuvering it, but like whether you're playing Karthus 2 or RA2, it was basically the same game. In set 11... There is more variety, but they went too far on the other end. These encounters are ridiculous. When I played this in PvE, I, was, I specifically was like, dude, yeah, it's fun right now, but in ranked, people are going to get so angry. And here I am, one, two weeks later, pissed. For, for what reason? Encounters, man. Ex for literally exactly encounters. There's nothing you can do about it, and it's completely outside of your control. If you get an encounter that benefits five other players in your lobby and doesn't benefit you, you just lose already. That's minus five placements. I would pray, I would hope that most of these encounters are at least like reasonably balanced, where like no one player is going to get so much of a benefit from it. But like... They clearly showed their hand, right? Clearly showed their hand that they want the game to be exciting and fun. That is why, uh, like, the Rakan encounter exists. They recombobulate. Which, by the way, if you guys don't know, you're always supposed to recombobulate. There's, like, 2% of situations where you're not supposed to recombobulate. You're supposed to just, like, gamble the entire game on the spot. All eight players. Like, that is the optimal play. 
I'm pretty sure if we had a if if we went to the world championship right now and the Rakan encounter happened, every single all eight out of eight players are going to recombub and they're just going to pray that they are the one who hits something that makes sense. And the reason why you're supposed to recombobulate, it's actually a very interesting reason. Asa was the one who taught me this. He said, you can either recombobulate or get five gold, right? It's like, oh, well, my board is good. I don't want to recombobulate. I will just take the five gold. But you actually shouldn't. If your board is good, you would actually swap your board with your bench, put five, six, seven units, however many units, onto the board, and then recombobulate those units, and then you just sell them. Because if you have five, three costs, now you have five, four costs, and then you sell them for a five gold profit. You decide if you like the unit, and then if you don't, you sell it for the same amount of profit you would have gotten anyway. The amount of gold on the recombobulate would need to be like much higher. It needs to be like 10 to 15 gold for it to like even be worth considering. It's a, it's a cool optimization, but it doesn't change the fact that when this encounter happens, your best move is to gamble and pray. What if you have no bench units and your board is good? Then you should take the five gold. But there will be some guy who had a three-star Yone who now instantly has a three-star Kaisa, and the game is instantly over. Okay? The point I'm trying to make is that the game is beyond frustrating because wins and losses are handed out on the spot thanks to encounters. I am particularly angry because I was on the losing end of the encounter five times now out of eight games today. In three games, I had encounters that didn't really affect me. And then in five of them, I had ones that actively fucked me over. I am so frustrated that like I'm trying to pr play an interesting board, trying to play a creative board and adapt to what the game is giving us. But like it doesn't matter. Clearly the best play was to just force from the beginning and no, no scout, no pivot. It's so dumb. I took Wandering Trainer every single time because I believe that like the design space of you're going you get a lot of power, but you have to figure out how to correctly play it. I think that's really cool. But like, if it's just gonna lose to a guy who says, I'm playing if you lose no matter what, then what's the point? I don't think we did a bad job solving it out. Our board was pretty good. I, w I really want to like TFT. I do the boot camp every single time. It is it is the biggest non riot official event that TFT ever has. Every single set, and I want to keep doing them. But every single set, I just get more and more frustrated at the game. TFT at its core is such a beautiful game, but the, every single set, there's like a few decisions that I find to be very strange that lead to some of the most aggravating moments. Box box set 9.5 was peak. It was not peak. Set 9.5 was actually very bad. It was actually my best set competitively. I beat a lot of pro players in set 9.5, but the set like was fucking garbage. Set 9 was the last good set. Set 9 was actually like very good gameplay and very fun. I think almost every single patch was exciting. Even if some things were broken, there were still a lot of interesting strats and it felt like you were rewarded for being a good player. 9.5 was the first set where it was just like lock in your strat before the game even begins and then never pivot and then pray that you're the one who hits. Set 10, I think was okay. And set 11, I thought was really good besides the encounters. Like it's not too late. I don't think they're going to do it, but it's not too late. 
if randomly Riot had this moment of epiphany and they're like, wait, perhaps we went too far on the gambling side of the game and we should tone down the amount that encounters affect the game. This could be the best set. The units are really fun. Aphelios is a fun build. Bard is a fun unit to watch. Volibear is a fun unit to watch. Kai'Sa, it looks beautiful. Irelia is an incredibly satisfying endgame unit. Building a good level 9 board feels great. The only thing that doesn't feel great is the encounters. Like, either you're a complete casual and, like, you're really happy when the encounter benefits you and you don't think about it when the encounter doesn't benefit you, or you're a competitive player and you're not happy when the encounter benefits you because you just feel like you won because of luck, and then you're very unhappy when the encounter doesn't benefit you because you lose because of something outside of your control. Casual players outnumber competitive players, like, I want to say over 10 to 1. Like, how many players are actually trying to, like, play in tournaments? Probably less than 1% of the game. I would say some challengers and some grandmasters are actually trying to play in tournaments and, like, see how well they do. And some challengers and some grandmasters equates to, like, less than half a percentage of the player base. So, like, if Riot is press of the choice to either cater to the 99.5% that just play the game to play the game, and they just, like, to roll for their bard three before the game even starts, or, like, before the game even starts, they just are, have already decided that, or they can cater to the people who play, like, 800 games a, a per set and, like, try to be competitive, they will choose the casual player base. That's why in set 10, they added in raise the stakes, which ended up, like, I don't know if I'd say ruined the set, but made it very not fun. It was like a very hacked in way to add in more Gamba into the set. And Mortdog, when talking about it, literally was like, hey, I've been told we need more Gamba, so this is how we did it. And like, just to be clear, set 10 did need more Gamba. It was kind of a boring set in terms of every game was pretty samey. It was a good set to play competitively. It was not a very good set to just like play for fun. A lot of casual players quit in set 10. And that's why they, they, did, they, raised, they brought in raise the stakes to try to bring them back. Uh, the way that I think they should have done it was through adding in more interesting augments. And like, let me be very clear, the augments that they added in this set are actually very good. Two for one is a very cool idea. Everything must go, very cool. Too much candy. Also very cool. They dramatically changed the game in a very interesting way. Fine Vintage is probably going to be one of the most memorable augments in a long time. Everybody either loves it or hates it, which is actually very cool. Because, like, the average placement of it's not even that good. But it's, like, an incredibly memorable build. I think Fortune is, like, an okay econ trait. I don't think it's the best, but it does its job of, like, people who want to gamble can gamble. I think uh, their previous implementations have been better. Like, I think Underground is a more interesting version of Fortune. They're in this weird dilemma where if they make it too easy slash reliable to cash out, then they have to limit the power of it. Otherwise, everybody would be playing Fortune every time. It reminds me of when um, some, there was some challenger players who would literally force Piltover. And when I say they would force Piltover in set 9, I mean they would literally, every single game... I uh, take the Pengu Legend, go Tiny Titans or Metabolic Accelerator, whichever one was uh, matched the tier of the augment that was given, and then they would roll on four for Piltover and then Int. And even if they didn't hit Piltover until like two seven, they would still get first place. It was kind of insane. They would Int the entire game with their Metabolic Accelerator. They would never, they would never like scout or pivot. They would just full Int every single round and then just get like a, a nine loss cash out, and then they were good enough at the game to turn that into a first. If you make it too strong, then that's what will happen. Anyway, I've been sitting here complaining for a lot. I'm not sure if I'm gonna play again, let me think. I wanna get my LP back, but also like I have no faith. What if I just queue up and then lose to another encounter? Oh, 
What if they listed at the start of the game what the encounters would be? I would love that. I don't think they would ever do it. I think they really want it to like be really random. And they I think they specifically like the feeling of a player getting bailed out. Right? There are situations where it's like, oh fuck, I rolled down and I'm at eight Yones and eight Alunes. What am I gonna do? And then it's like Chogath offers you two lesser duplicators or one big duplicator. It's like, oh, bailed out, I win. Like, Riot likes that. They want you to like be like, okay, wait, let's not give up yet. Maybe the next encounter wins us the game. Yeah, also, if people knew exactly when the York encounter was going to happen, then nobody would roll until then. And then people would literally roll like 120 gold in one turn and then hit everything. I mean, in my opinion, they should show the encounters... When, uh, or like list the encounters and they should remove the ones like the Yorick one. If they were to just show the encounters, then it'd get very imbalanced. If you knew the Rakan encounter was coming, the recombobulate, you would just roll for a three star four cost, uh, three star three cost, and then recombobulate into a three star four cost, instantly winning. So like, they would have to balance the augments and show you when it would happen for it to feel good. I don't think they'll ever do that because that would be bad for the casual player base. Thoughts on having separate comp and casual modes. Horrible. You cannot split your player base up like that. Have you seen how long TF2 queue times can get? Did you see in the Boxbox bootcamp, the reason why Setsuko beat YBY1 was because Setsuko got a lead and then uh, YBY tried to queue up and couldn't find a match in time? Imagine if the player base was further divided. Like, it's not just solo queue, double up, and hyper roll. Now it's solo queue, double up, hyper roll, casual, casual double up. Like, you're splitting your player base way too much and the queue times will get way too long. Oh yeah, I even forgot normal games existed. Yeah, their player base is already quite split. They cannot afford to split it anymore. Yeah, I'm pretty sure casuals play ranked anyway, because it's just more fun if your opponents are trying. If you ever played a game of TF2 with no stakes, it's really lame. Like, I dread PBE time. I have to play on it because I have to farm YouTube content and it's actually good to just learn the set in advance, especially in preparation for boot camp. But like when you play on PvE, people will just like roll down for the dumbest shit and then if they didn't hit, they'll just forfeit because there's no stakes. In League of Legends, you at least like can have fun with the mechanical part of the game. You could play a normal game and play your 80 Soraka and like have a fun time trying to make it work. Uh, for rank or not for rank, it's fine. But in TFT, like, there's not really any difference between playing a troll build and playing a real build. If there was no rank, you would just, like, force the dumbest shit and then forfeit as soon as you miss. Because, like, it's not fun to play it out. Like, the, the, skill, the most skilled part of TFT is salvaging, like, a fourth or third from a bad spot. Or a very bad spot turned into a sixth. But that's also, like, the least fun part of TFT. But... If you want your game to be skill based, like that's the part, that's where people, that's where skilled players express their skill. And nobody's gonna do that in a normal game. If there's nothing on the line, the moment the game looks bad, you'll just leave. Even worse, like, there's no reason for players to stay once you hit your high roll. If you hit your, like, Fortune 5, and the players actually, like, paid attention, everybody would just leave. Because the game's already over. They already knew you won. What's the point of playing it out when they know you're going to win? Like, that's how degenerate gets on PvE. You'll, like, try to hit your 3-star 4 cost, or 3-star 5 cost, and the moment you hit, everyone will just leave. And then you don't even feel like you did anything. Are you done with TFT for tonight? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I have to leave, but I'm also, like, beyond pissed. I just lost 200 LP, and I really don't feel like I got to play the game. Half of me wants to queue it up. The other half of me wants to end my stream because I said I was going to end my stream at midnight. 
and then go do something with my friends. So I'm sitting here thinking, Also, please stop telling me to stream my games with my friends. I always say the exact same thing. Like, my friends don't want to be on stream, and I like to actually have a life. And I can't have a life if I broadcast every single waking moment of everything I do. Please let me do my stream, and then let me enjoy my real life afterwards. The amount of people that, like, tell me to stream when I say I'm going to go do something, it's really high. I'm going to go to Japan with Annie. Stream it! Stream your Japan date with Annie! Fuck you, I don't want to. That's a private moment. Let me just, like, enjoy being low energy and comfortable with my girlfriend in another country. I might actually be one of the most boring people off stream, by the way. I use all my effort and energy on stream. And then when off stream, I'm incredibly quiet and I barely talk. The moment the, the moment the camera is off, I am ridiculously introverted. All right, I'm gonna go get my LP back. I will simply just be on the winning side of the encounter, and then I will end my stream. Oh, hello, Sage. I'm nice to see you here. How was the chocolate? It was very good. Is this tilt cue? Oh, I think I've been tilted for seven hours. Oh wait, no, the stream's only been going on for six hours. I've been tilted for six hours. I think I, I lost the very first game of the stream to encounters. And like, I was already tilted from then on. I don't think it affected my play, at least not that much. But yes, I've been tilted the entire day. Like, losing a game when it's not your fault feels horrible. And trust me, I am the first guy who will tell you when it's my fault. There's like this big stereotype that like players just like to blame anything but themselves. And while I would agree that, that stereotype is mostly true, I see a lot of streamers fall under that stereotype. I, I go through like double effort to make sure when I make a mistake, I'm the one who calls it out so that you guys know exactly when, like, you'll know exactly when I threw the game and I deserve to lose. And then hopefully by converse, you'll know when the game actually fucked us. I always make sure to call out my mistakes as I see them so that when we actually get fucked by RNG, like the encounters, you'll know it. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys later. Thank you, Vlad hates TFT. Box, box. I don't think you see all your mistakes. I, I don't claim to. I think anyone who claims that they can see all their mistakes is full of shit. If you can see all of your mistakes, you would have already been the rank one player by now. I'm saying I call out all the mistakes of mine that I can see.
promise tomorrow. I alone decide my fate. Destination is clear. Okay. Three players playing Trash to Treasure, one forcing Duelist, one playing Fortune, one playing Bard, one playing Aphilios. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, well, do I want to force a 3-cost reroll? Yeah, maybe I go two cost, and then I play Darkness, Shenna, like actually. If you don't play a rural build here, you're like pretty fucked. Mm. Shenna works pretty well here with pumping up. And it does look uncontested so far. Again, let me be the first one to say it. I fucking hate this encounter. This encounter is just, are you rerolling? Yes? Okay, congratulations, you top four. Or I guess a better way to put it is, are you uncontested while rerolling? Then you just choose the tier that, that buffs the most of your team and then you win the game. It's really stupid. This, this encounter does not do enough for the flex players. Like, you could continue playing your flex play, but you're just going to be doing it from very far behind, which is really frustrating. If I was in a god flex spot, I would still continue flexing, but I would just be like pretty sad because I'd have to choose four cost. It doesn't benefit me now. I'll likely lose my streak. Very, 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 very difficult. All right, this is the build. This one, we might be able to make it work by forcing the Senna, but like there's no pivoting from this spot. I'm just going to write it down. Senna slash Stefan. Let's just hope that nobody else chose it. There is a chance that somebody else in this lobby thought the exact same thing as me. And if so, then we're pretty fucked. I wonder if this is correct. 
I think I'm down because it's an Aatrox. Let's go ahead and look up Senna's best items. Uh, Senna's best item trios. I.e. Gwinsu's Last Whisper. Oh, wow. No shadow without light. All right, I'm done to start winning. Uh, let's see. I think the IE is more important, actually. Yeah, the IE is actually more important. Does pumping up change your ideal items here? I don't think so. Holy shit, I got I got smoked. I go where the trouble is. He's forcing a fillus and he hit five faded. Okay. Uh I should probably throw this round. Yeah, it's worth four gold to throw. Pre-level. If I'm uncontested, this is a pretty good start. The duck said the ghostly damage based on pre-mitigated. I see that. Infinity is way better than Lost Whisper. I'm missing. I'm missing Jack Salawi. Hurricane looks pretty good here. Oh, what the? Oh, perfect. Actually, perfect. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Up for a showdown. Oh wait, isn't this the worst tattoo? Choose my anvil. What? I crashed. Oh my god. Uh. Okay. Oh wait. Oh fuck. I I, I was not supposed to pick this. Um. But now that I did. I'm gonna do glove. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do bow because I think it's easier to get. I think it's easier to get glove. I forgot. You're you're not supposed to open the anvil yet. Okay, right, that's my bad. Wait. Oh my god. Thank God I reconnected in time.
Why not open the anvil? You're supposed to open it as you enter the carousel for the highest chance. Like here, I had to take half of a Lost Whisper, but I didn't know which half to get. He just licked me. I don't know which half of the Lost Whisper to take here. Okay, that's really stupid. Did you see that? That guy got Econ because he happened to randomly get his orb. Uh, I like Impenetrable Bulwark. Ah! That's why. Box box, it wasn't luck, he positioned for it. You literally can't position for it because it's random. You know that, right? You can't position for that because like, which orb is yours is random. Otherwise, everybody would always just stand in position to get their orb. Like, I, I've tested it out. I've tried standing still. I've tried standing still and you don't get your orb or like standing in your original spot. It doesn't work. You have to just guess and get like a one in eight chance. Can you position inside Kench? I've tried. Cause one time I accidentally got my orb and I made econ for it. And I was like, holy shit, I should do that every single time. But as far as I know, there is no way to guarantee it. Oh yeah, maybe by doing some crazy shenanigans with the minimap. But yeah, this is fucked. This is why you don't open the orb, man. The anvil until it's time. I just got encounter diffed, but also kind of my fault because I really should have, um, I really should have been, uh, not opening the anvil at all. There was no reason to. I'm going to roll down to 40 for Shen too. How is red buff on Senna? Red buff is apparently pretty good. Okay, fuck it. I'm actually down. According to the stats, red buff is equally good to Last Whisper. I'm assuming if you make a red buff, you're probably putting the the Lost Whisper or even try on somebody else. But I'm down. Yeah, I'm down to get an even shroud here. Okay. I'm down to change our mind and go back to Lost Whisper. The problem with this now is that there's not really any use for the remaining bow. Monsters are everywhere. All right, I'm gonna roll for a Shen. No shadow without light. Shen. This one's got fire. Shen. Let me show you darkness. Oh wait, why do I have Rek'Sai in this build? Do you want to buy the Morgana? No, actually. You don't need a Morgana until much later. It's not worth losing Econ for. Isn't Rageblade worse than Slot on Senna? No. It's actually really good. Like, you might be thinking it has a positive Delta, but like, you'll feel it if you don't have it. 
Like, I'm pretty sure Rage Blade is positive Delta on Aphelios as well. But, like, if you don't have it, you will feel it. Never a dull okay, I'm going to once again roll down to 40 and try to hit a Shen. In darkness, we find ourselves. Okay, it's actually kind of crazy. I'm, like, very... Oh. Okay, I don't know why I did that. Now I might as well roll down to 30. You forgot to bow. Okay, I'm definitely stopping here. I, I was definitely not supposed to roll that one time. I, I hit my Shen and had 40, so no reason to keep going. What's the ideal ink shadow for this build? I don't know. I very rarely play this build because it's so contested. This just happens to be the game where this was the only uncontested build, funny enough. So I am down to try to be flexible. Oh, protection? Okay. Got it. Wow! That's crazy. Okay, okay, I'm down to just roll after this. I only rolled like 30 gold and I'm already at 8 centos. That's insane. Not to mention I've got really good augments. Hello, Mary Lily. And make sure to not grab that by the Senna yet. It'd be a huge throw to grab the Senna. Solid warm up. Who's next? Okay, there we go. Wow. No shadow without light. Okay, well. I still need to roll for the others. Fate. Oh, yeah, that's definitely like a big wow. Uh, what am I gonna do with these items? These don't make anything playable. I'll wait. Uh, what's the end game of this build? The end game is just get Morgana Kane. That's your level 8. Go 10. No, I still did Shen 3. Like, Shen 3 with these items is unkillable. Senna 3 can't do it alone. Really nice to hit the Senna though, because now I can rest for a bit. Box Box, I'm trying to learn reroll Econ. Why did you roll to 40, stage 3, versus slow roll above 50? Uh, how do I explain this? It's, it's, a, it's a very good question. The reason why I rolled down to 40... If you think about it, why wouldn't you roll down to zero? Well, the reason why you don't... Oh, wait, hang on. No. No. Probably not this. It's probably just know your enemy. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's just know your enemy. Uh, not too much of any of those. Okay. So, I need to explain to you opportunity cost. Why don't you roll to zero? Well... First of all, are you even likely to hit if you roll to zero? Probably not. But if you roll to zero, compared to a guy who didn't roll at all, how much money are you wasting? Right? Because, like, the guy who's slow rolling at 50 is rolling all the money above 50, which is, like, 10-ish gold per round. If you roll to zero and then you don't win from that spot, the first round, you are losing five gold compared to the slow roller. The second round, you're losing five gold to the slow roller because you're at zero gold, he's at 50. The second round, you're at five gold, he's at 50. The third round, you're at 10 gold, he's at 50. So you're losing five, then five, then four, then four, then three, three, two, one, and then finally you're caught up. That is a lot of lost gold and opportunity cost. If you go down to 40, how far behind are you? Oh, I just got one by Zoe. If you go down to 40, you miss one gold, right? Because for one round, you are at 40, and your opponent who's slow rolling is at 50. So you lose one gold of opportunity cost in exchange for seeing five shops sooner. So if you believe that those five shops will make the difference in your streak, then you should roll down to 40. If you roll down to 30, you will lose two gold because it's five, 50 gold versus 30 gold. And then you will lose one gold because on the next turn you'll be 40. So it is a three gold opportunity cost. So if it means keeping us a, a five streak, I would roll down to 30. If it means keeping a 3 streak, I would roll down to 40. Does that make sense? And if it means keeping like a 6 streak, I'd basically roll down like any amount if I was like close to the correct power level. Oh, I need to roll. So it's kind of a complicated answer, but I hope that that was useful to you. Our 
wills alive. There's also like you have to think about how much HP you'll lose if you don't roll. Not just like if you'll win or lose the round. But yeah, so think of it like this way. When you roll down to 40, you are paying one gold to see five shops earlier. When you roll down to 30, you are paying three gold to see 10 shops earlier. Below that, it's like, it's very ridiculous. Uh, what do I want here? I want tank items. I like Virtue of Marty. Yeah, Virtue of the Marty or the Zephyr, or the Zizerot. Oh, the item sucks though. Alright, I need to roll, like, I need to roll pretty deep here. Just hit this shun and get out. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Never a dull moment. Never a Fuck. dull moment. Am I down to keep rolling? I think I am. I'm gonna bleed pretty hard. Up for a showdown. Oh no! Oh no, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lose because I didn't... I didn't spawn in the ZZ Rot. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay. But yeah, here I rolled down to 20 because I'm really close to a big spike. It will start a streak if I do. And uh, also I'm looking at the HP bars. Everybody's like kind of low. Saving HP matters a lot here. I was like, I was at seven Aatrox of seven Shens and like seven Caitlyn's, so I figured rolling there was pretty high. Realistically, I could have stopped once I hit the uh, Caitlyn three. Okay, nice. Uh, do I want to sell? Probably not. Actually, maybe. Maybe I do sell, because uh, you can't play her until eight. Yeah, you can't play her until 8. And I still have to roll. What's your level 7? Uh, any bruiser. I wonder if itemized Caitlyn's good. I'm sure she's decent. Like, who else am I gonna put the 80 items on, right? Oh, wow. Just one shot the Aurelia. What are you eating? Uh, ramen. Pug tasty. Alright, I need two S's. I feel for this guy, by the way. He went level 9, flex play. Loses to me, who locked in his build very early. Okay, I definitely need to roll for this Shen before I level up. Like, I've got the god tier items. Leveling up my Shen to 3 star doubles the value of 3 items. I didn't see any Shens. Yeah, I should be able to hit. Alright, what do I want here? I'm down for, like, 3 Caitlyn items. I got a Shen? Bro, I'm down to Thin the Pool. Alright, check us out. Thin the Pool no Jutsu. Just give me one S. One S. One S and GG. Alright. Do oh, wait, wait. Do I open the full item first? I think I opened the full item first. Any Caitlyn items? Uh, Gunblade. Wait, I mean, technically red buff, but I don't think red buff Caitlyn is that good. I think I still take it. I do need an anti-heal. And then either Hurricane or Gwyn Uh
Okay. Part of me feels like the hurricane was better. You already have a lot of attack speed from pumping up. So, like, do you really need a Gwinsu's? The other part of me says, Gwinsu's sniper sisters go brrrr, Which is kind of exciting to watch. Um, let's go ahead and just do split redemptions. I herald the greatest blessing. Cool. Yeah, we have blinding speed at home. My God. I don't think he thinks that Shiv does anything. I mean, does it? Look at this. Like, I, I'm aware that Ghostly is magic damage, but like, how much magic damage do I do here? I'd rather have the bow and Caitlyn. Uh oh. Uh, okay. I'm about to get knocked up. Okay, so what can I do here? You have now reached 100 flush today. I didn't have, I, I guess the wrong corner, but it's fine. Both of my carries are fine. Wow, the Senna and Caitlyn actually go very hard. It's incredibly satisfying. I find them unworthy. Need an Aatrox item. Okay. Uh, I take the spark. Travel awaits. Yeah, what a game. See what happens. I split up my uh, my carries this time. I'm sure if it's the right idea, but maybe my Caitlyn finds a crazy snap on this Kogma. I'm not even kidding. Like, look at the angle. Oh, Nautilus got in the way. Come on, Caitlyn, find the Kogma. He's right there. Right there. Pew. Nice. This Caitlyn is very impressive. She's doing almost as much damage as Senna. <laughs> this pumping up value, it goes crazy hard. Uh, I think I'm just going to choose a corner. Something like that. If you happen to be on the left side, it's over. He was not on the left side. 
Wait, wow, my Zephyr still got his Aphelios from that spot. That's nuts. Wait, I just ran over him. Wow. Is Lolly 3 bad? I don't know about bad. Like, it's not worth it. Like, I can I can hold this, but there's no way. I am probably just going to go 9 or roll for Morgana Kane. I think I'd rather go 9. At 9, you can hit Morgana Kane, Udyr. Also, we do so much frontline. Or we do so much damage that every bit of frontline matters a lot. Wow. This is what it feels like to play uncontested Shenna. We also got very lucky. We high rolled a lot of our roll down. Hitting the Senna 3 like super fast. Uh, Gargoyle. AP. And half. This guy's pretty scary. Let's do Gargoyle. I was thinking about doing D-Claw, but... Okay, you guys want to see something crazy? Check us out. If I position like this, my goal is to cut open a hole for Bard. Or for Caitlyn to snipe the Bard. Let's see if she can find him. Oh, it didn't one-shot. Alright, whatever. It is ridiculous how fast my team scales up. Hello, Zertalion. Cool. All right. Uh, well, let's level up. And then one Kane, one Morgana, one Udyr. One Kane, one Morgana, one Udyr. I channel the spirits I feel closest. Does this do anything? No, I don't think so. I don't I don't think I need that toxin. I already have red buff. Um Okay. I uh, Honestly, I have so many lives. Maybe I was not supposed to level up here. Oh fuck it, win anyway. Win any Wait. Yeah, win anyway. Wow. The Sandra sells you. I oh, do I have enough to afford this? Oh, component anvil. Nah. Uh, I'm just looking for my ghostlies. Come on, one more Ghana. Just waiting for one more Ghana. Uh, you guys want to see a psychotic play? Check us out. Boom. You see this positioning? This is the clear the path for the ultimate trick shot. I don't think it worked. Okay, it definitely didn't work. Oh god, this guy just destroyed my backline. Oh, I see. Lilia got a nice angle. Okay, think, Albert, think. You just hit the outposition him one time in the next three fights. Sage crap! Ah. I'm gonna sell this guy and I'm gonna hit a Morgana. I'm gonna hit a Morgana.
I did not hit. Okay, you should high roll one fight or out position him one time. This time I'm not gonna clump to get killed by Lilia. And then once you find the Morgana. Oh, hang on, hang on. Looking winnable. Bring it home! Nice. Okay, not clumping was the play. We didn't even need the Morgana. That was a really stupid game. Let me be the first one to say it. The first encounter forced me into rerolling, and then I found the only reroll build not currently contested that was viable in my spot, and then I played it, and then I, I was lucky enough to not be contested. I was lucky enough to hit my three-star center early, and then the rest was over. The only like skilled decision there was that I gave up the idea of being flexible. I am not that happy with that game. Definitely an undeserved win. Alright, let's do one more and then I'm gonna end the stream. That's true. I think the fact that he's also like ugly, like like it, it kinda does piss me off the more that it's true. Like he's so You won because of the encounter and you're still mad? Yeah. Yes, I You were second. I I've been very open about that. I don't like winning because of encounters. I like winning because I feel like I played well. And I don't feel like I played well. The first encounter forced everybody into a reroll build, and I happened to be uncontested, and I happened to hit. I was originally going to play flexibly, and then we got the encounter that forces everybody to reroll, and then I just I hit my board. I, I don't feel like I was skilled. I was just like, ah, shit. Okay. I will go for something. It doesn't really feel good to win like that. Didn't the guy who goes second not reroll? Yeah, and he got fucked by me because I like I definitely only won because my two costs were empowered. Right, like those fights are pretty close. If that encounter didn't happen, he would have gotten first. Like, yeah, he's still top forward. I was talking about that encounter earlier. I was like, if that Alune encounter happens and I'm in a god tier spot for flex play, I will still flex play. I'll just be a little upset because I'm behind now. Because everybody else is going to get something that benefits them. If you're flex playing, you have to take the four cost empowerment and then you should play from behind for a long time. What's the encounter? It's like, it's the Alune one where you get, um, you empower your two, three, or four cost for the rest of the game. So like, First of all, I like playing Kog'Maw, fuck you, right? Because there's no one cost choice. That was one of the options I was holding. Uh, if you're playing Flex, you'll empower the four costs. But like, you don't get to benefit from that for so long. Whereas, I chose two costs because I saw that no one was playing Shenna, and then I instantly benefited from it, and it, it led to a massive streak, and me having a million gold. Anyway, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bard game? <laughs> Not a bard game. Wait, what could this guy possibly hit that makes him force you on? One Yone? He has one Yone? And he dares to call Yone? 
I'm gonna hold every single Yone for the rest of the game. Out of spite. Okay, Caitlyn build is available. Uh, if you want to win with this portal, the component anvils, you need to like slam a really good item on a good unit early. So whatever you two star, slam like a best in slot item. Or even better, use the component anvils to make two out of three best in slot. Uh, it's not mind over matter. I don't think it's prize fighter. My board's pretty weak. Everything must go. I want to try it, but I don't know the playstyle yet. Yeah, I spent money on units on my bench, so I don't think it's good to take here. Wow, fuck. The shop actually gave me, like, no direction. I hit three upgrades. But yeah, taking that is good if you already made 10. It's not good if you uh, already spent all your money. All right, I'm not gonna open my anvils for a bit. Okay. Uh, I've got the story weaver angle. Story weaver is always really easy. This guy's got barred with Gwinsu's. I think I'm... Okay, there's a lot of Story Weaver contesting. I'm down to play Yasuo. If I'm down to play Yasuo, let's make Econ right now. Fate hunts you today. Like that. And then I'm down to slam a Gargoyle. Okay. Um... I really want to like three item a, a ya, uh, Yasuo. No, I don't have to though. Let's grab the bow. This is actually very interesting. York reduces the cost to reroll your shop. I kind of wish I was playing Kog'Maw right now. I can hit the whole Kog'Maw board like three star right now. Dude, in fact, I'm really sad that I sold my Kog'Maw just now. Spirits are calling. Yeah, I'm sad that I just sold my Kog'Maw. Otherwise, this could have been it. I could have just like rolled it down got insane value. Do it anyway. No, I'm pretty sure you should stick to the Yasuo. It's uncontested. I need to decide what my item is going to be, though. It's probably going to be a rod, but I might as well do the carousel trick. Oh, yeah. Imagine that with everything must go, actually. If you predicted that this event was going to happen and you took everything must go, you would just like buy everything in every shop and then hit everything right there on the spot. That would have gone crazy. Okay, so I probably need a rod here, but I also need a cloak. So let's figure out. I have rod and cloak. Oh, there's an Aphilios. I will, I will just take... Oh, there's a spat. Okay, then I'll take Faded Crest. Nice. 
Thank you, Carousel Trick. We would have never taken the rod otherwise. Actually, we might have, just because it was maybe Gwensu's. Okay, I'm down to loose streak here. Oh, wait. Rounds, rerolls cost one less. This is such an interesting dilemma. How much are you supposed to roll here? This story is not yet finished. How much are you supposed to reroll on this? Because you'll like grief your econ, and I'm not necessarily doing a reroll build. Do I want to reroll at all? I mean, honestly, maybe. Roll at five. It's half off. I, I could level to five next round and reroll a little bit. I could also just like not and just try to have good econ. Okay, wait, I wanna lose, I wanna lose. Can I lose by one unit? Oh. Okay, I'm making the executive choice. I choose to not roll here. Yeah, I choose to not roll here. There's not much for me to gain here. Actually, I'll roll as much as I can without griefing my econ, which is like twice, because I still wanna have 30 gold. I am living one. Fate hunts you today. Two. All right, that was fun. I really wonder what the right play here is. I've never seen the event like so early. Oh, actually, I did see it once, but I was playing Kogma, so the answer was really obvious. I just like rolled down to zero immediately. Or I rolled down to zero on the final round of the thing. But if you're if you're actually like want to have good econ, even the rolls being half off is probably not worth it here. Maybe if you like needed to streak, you'd roll a few times. All right. Well, I mean, I've got faded crest, so boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Boom, 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 pow, shebang. Why not slamming items? Uh, Cause I was trying to lose streak. Also, like I don't have good items. Uh, it's faded emblem. Giant slayer is not good. Steadfast Heart is not good. So like, slamming items, pretty big throw in my opinion. Red buff is good. Oh, Thresh? Okay. No, I didn't buy the Kiana in time. Uh, okay. I believe that I need to sack one more. Oh, I'll slam the Faded Crest for sure. Man, I didn't buy the Kiana in time. I'm actually so sad. Faded Emblem. I think TG is actually reasonable here. It's probably TG and then a red buff. Hello, Taizuka. I'm down. Yasuo 2 with 5 faded should go pretty hard. And then I'm gonna roll a little bit at 6 next round just to try to hit like one Aphelios or Kindred 2. Kindred 2 with red buff should be good. Last was for IE. No, I don't think so. Red buff is really good. Or save for Gwinsus. Okay. So I definitely want to win out now. Red Kindred is doo-doo. It's actually not bad. She hits almost every single unit. Uh, if I get Faded Crest... Oh, imagine Lucky Gloves. Wait, I just got Faded Crown. Holy shit. Holy shit. Travel awaits. Our wills align. Wait, I gotta chill and go seven. To play like the world's earliest. Oh my god, okay.
Wait, yeah, I actually... There's actually so much potential here. Oh yeah, I need to do this. Um, I think I'm just gonna slam a Giant Slayer then. You don't need red buff. Let's just slam Giant Slayer. If I get another spatula, that's actually 10 faded at 10. Although you're not guaranteed to uh, make it to 10 here. This guy is so strong. Uh oh. Uh oh. You forgot to bow. Forget the past. It only clouds the future. Oh, fuck. You need to get stable? I mean, there's no way I'm, I'm rolling at six. Aphelios one does not stabilize you here. Why? Because I can't play six. I can't play seven faded at six. I need to go seven. So I, I need to just like sack this round. It sucks, but I had to. All right, imagine a spat on Carousel or a Syndra. Uh, otherwise, I just want to rot here. You need a real AD item. I mean, Giant Slayer is a real AD item. If anything, I think Hurricane's probably the best last item. It might have not been worth it to slam these items on Kindred. Now I have to find a replacement Kindred. Okay, Albert Box Box Zang. If you are good, if you are good at TFT, you roll twice here and you hit another faded unit. Death is not Whoa. A what the heck? Okay, Faded Azir sounds fun. I'm pretty sure it's bad. Yeah, he doesn't actually fit the board that well. What about Faded Ash? I mean, with two Faded Crests, you just play the board that you were going to play for five faded, but now you have seven faded. Uh, I'm down to roll twice here and then see if I can stabilize my board. This guy, like, what? He just completely ignored his wandering trainer and he's contesting me. What? Right, I'll, I'll sit, I'll sit. Wait, what the hell is that strat? He just... He just completely ignored his gold augment and then said, yeah, it's just the target dummy. And then he just contested faded. Oh, what the fuck? He had a level seven Rakan? He had a level 7 Rakan to make use of the Ultraist. I'm a little bit hesitant to roll here. There's a lot of Aphelioses out of the pool. This guy's got four Aphelioses. He rolled like down to zero. Oh, 
Oh, that makes it so hard for me to hit. I might just go eight in tempo. Oh yeah, he might be doing the Baboom bug abuse. I forgot about that. There is a bug where Aphilios on Baboom is bugged and deals like double damage. Like normally you have to cast twice and then Baboom activates on Aphilios, but for some reason his ult counts as two ults. So then Baboom procs on every ult. So it is specifically an Aphilios bug that I think he is abusing. Kind of poopy items. I'll roll a little bit here. Come on, Albert, you can do it. Hit one Aphilios, and the crowd goes poggers. Fate hunts you today. One Aphilios, and the crowd goes poggers. Y'all seem to hit a kindred. I herald the greatest blessing. I have an Irelia. Can I make use of Irelia here? Like, probably, right? Faded Irelia? That, doesn't that sound like it'd be pretty good? Yeah, sell this Aphilios, play Faded Irelia instead of Kiana. That sounds like it'd work pretty well. I'll probably still level up and roll though. I need to streak for a while. Uh, it's not extended duel. I only have two duelists. Probably jeweled lotus. It's not stationary support because I've got best friends. Yeah, okay. Oh. Alright, well, if I'm contested, I'm definitely not going to roll for three stars. This guy, like, rolled down to zero. I'm just gonna go eight. Our will is aligned. Death is not always a release. Ah, fuck. Sorry, okay. Spirit, reveal our way. Sorry, Irelia. I wanted to play you, but I need the sniper way more. No, I almost won too. If I had a playable item on my Aphilius, I would have won. Why not sell the Heavenly and doesn't play Irelia? Because if I'm not itemizing her, the Irelia doesn't do anything. And I'm not itemizing her because I already hit the um, the two-star Aphilios. Okay, I think I need to sit on this for a while. This is like good enough. And I lost my streak already. Why don't you link the Aphilios? No, you always link uh, Thresh and Yasuo here. It's like, it's too strong not to. Aphilios gives bonus AD, which is like, not that useful here. He already does plenty of damage. Oh fuck, some of these guys hit. I can't believe I'm contested by the way. Like, a lot of why I play this is because it was uncontested. And then a guy like, forced into it. He, he ignored his story request and then just contested me. And then he rolled down to zero like a psycho to like lock me out of playing the game. He's not gonna win. He's just preventing me from playing the game. Okay, Albert, you gotta roll now. You're too low. All right, anything good? Uh, you need like, like a hurricane. Yeah, Hurricane. I think it was too good. 
What about GS? Alright, we already have one. Hurricane's pretty good here. It's one of his best items. Yeah, this guy's fucked. He rolled, like, to zero. But I, I'm, like... I'm more fucked. I'm going 8th and he's going 7th because of what he did. Alright, Albert, come on. Empathy. Here's a Syndra. You need to, like, hit back. something that stabilizes you. I don't know what. I'm so fucked. I don't even know what to play here. It's it's Orn and then something. But I don't know what that something's supposed to be. Any tank, I guess. Oh, Lissandra if I can hit one. Dang, I'm, I'm really going to go 8th. But I mean, like, what can I do, right? I rolled. I can't roll for Aphelios 3 because the guy is griefing me. Like, if you look at him, he's literally rolling to zero every single turn. My journey's only beginning. He's literally going to zero every single turn. The only game plan I can think of is he's trying to make sure I die first, and then he's, he gets a seventh or sixth. But yeah, I'm definitely dead. I don't think I can recover from this because I feel there's three is not pop. My, my main angle is gone because I am getting target griefed. I can hit an orn two and I can hit a set and I can hit like a center two. That's basically all I got. Malphite over orn. I don't think it's worth it. I know it's heavenly, but like Malphite one doesn't really do anything. I just gotta try to like get set and center two. <laughs> All right, what's the game plan here? I roll it down, pray for a miracle set. Oh my god, he's got every single one of my units and zero econ. That literally just feels like target griefing. He went completely out. He, he has a very viable, very viable target dummy that he just completely ignored to pivot into me. The guy who had two faded crests since the beginning of the game. And then he's rolling to zero every single turn. He has zero chance of top fouring. He's just like waiting for me to die. This is very frustrating. No fate is written. All right, let's try to figure something out. I will not hold back. Never. I never rest. We must press on. Come on, faded orn, print something. Weird idea. Ready for this. <sighs> I don't know if it's a good one, but let's give this a try. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm fucked anyway, but perhaps this ash could be stronger. 
Try for the miracle. We're already getting target griefed. Maybe Ash is stronger, and then maybe I hit a Cinder too. We'll see. Yeah, she's a four cost. Surely she's stronger. Surely the four cost sniper is better than the three cost sniper. If I live to this carousel, there is an encounter. Wait, I went seven. Guys, I went seven. Let's go. The game is winnable. Okay, wait. Uh, seriously, though. If I just live... A little inty winty tiny bit longer. Please. Wait, I'm facing him. Dude, imagine I get to be the one who kills him. Oh my god, that would be so satisfying. Oh no, the set is on my Syndra. Oh, the, the Lissandra save! Oh my god, beautiful clutch. Turn him into a teapot. Is he dead? He's dead! We beat our griefer. Ping him? No, I'm not that petty. I will celebrate beating him, but I'm not gonna ping him. Yeah, that was very cathartic. He literally like target griefed to me. I don't know why. Uh... Yo, these items kind of suck. Wait. Wait, there, <laughs> there are zero Syndra items here. Like, I, I guess I could have taken a Morello's. I'm just going to take a Crown Guard for the front line. Or a Guard Breaker. It's pretty bad. Um, I think I'm just rolling for a Miracle set. Yeah, I'm just rolling for a Miracle set. Spirits are calling. Oh wait, what if Lissandra prints me an item? Guys, I believe. I'm gonna bow this Syndra because I just know. I just know that we're printing. Oh, moving that Galio to the back is MVP behavior. Print, print, print! Come on! Money! Wait, do I win the round? Okay, Fash? Faded Ash is actually kind of popping off. Come on, come on! I'm alive! Alright, wait! Dude, if I top four, it's actually a legendary game. Alright, just roll it down once again for set. Wait! I mean, there's like a 0% chance, but imagine... What's the play here? Uh, I gotta sell the Lissandra. Feels bad, but like, this could have an Aphelios. This story is not yet finished. Dude. <laughs> nah, I, it's not worth it. I could sell the TG. I could sell the Yasuo and move the TG to Lissandra, and then buy this upgrade. I don't think it's worth it. I, do, I don't believe it's the play. Okay, if there's some miracle where, where Lissandra prints a component right here, and then I slam it mid-round. Come on, print a component! Print a component! Dang it. Okay, any chance that Faded Ash wins this? Probably not. But if I win, it's actually top four. Wait, 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 wait! I'm getting excited! Doesn't this look kind of winnable? Aww. No, it was actually so close to a top four. It's literally if I hit a set and linked the set, the Omnivamp would have won. 
Oh my god. We actually were almost pulled off the miracle comeback. Fifth place is insanely good from this spot. I, I'm pretty happy with it, but I knowing that it was so close to third or second. Wait, no, to fourth or third. I can't help but be a little sad. I seriously don't know what that guy's problem was. Why did he target grief me? Like, I've had people be in my games and then listen to my stream and then take the thing I need off carousel. But like, this is literally, he pivoted off of his very viable previous game plan to contest me. And then just like, he rolled it down every single turn for his, for my units. And then he ended up dying because of it. He, he could have top forward if he just played around what he had. He took wandering trainer and then ignored it and then pivoted into me. Like, thank God I at least beat him. He sent it to zero to, like, deny it. He didn't even hit Aphelios 3. And, like, you weren't going to. I know you were at 8 Aphelioses, but it was, like, lucky that he made it to 8 Aphelioses. You know what I mean? Because I was holding a lot of Aphelioses. Because, like, my I've been forecasting that from the beginning. If you, like, scouted once, you would have seen that, like, I had two Faded Crests. Like, the only thing he was he possibly could have been doing that I can think of is Target Grief. I refuse to believe there was a world where he actually felt like Faded was his best play. Unless you, like, look at his match history and it's literally, like, 20 out of 20 faded. I cannot imagine a world where that was the right play. I'm happy I got a fifth there. I need to play one more to get my LP back. Yeah, he got Duelist Crest. And, like, he was uncontested Duelist. It was actually so strong. Might have been because of the Baboom bug. That's even worse than that he's just a bug abuser. Maybe he was a boosted account, big fan into griefing. If you were a big fan, you would not grief. You would just play the game normally. That happens plenty, plenty of times where somebody is a fan of the stream. I played against my subs a lot in ranked and like they're always pretty normal. They don't particularly go out of their way to grief me or help me win. That's exactly how I'd want the game to be played. Are you mad right now or is it pog? I'm pretty indifferent. I think we salvaged a good fifth. I am frustrated at getting target griefed. It is very satisfying though, that like he target griefed us and then he went seventh. The only reason I can think of to go as far as to target grief somebody in a game like that is because they copied your homework in middle school, and then once the teacher called it out, you said that he copied you, and then the teacher believed him. Which, if that happens, yeah, fuck you. Fuck that guy. Alright, I'm play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to put my crosshair right here, and then I'm going to spam click while I go to the bathroom, and hopefully it'll automatically accept the queue.
Thank you, Inktatsu, for looking it up for me. <laughs> wow. This story is what a first shot. I, I don't have to change my team planner. It's just all in here from last game. Uh... I don't like Lux. She looks great, but I hate her. Spirits are calling. Oh, wow! No what? Promise tomorrow. Are you kidding me? Wait, this is like an any percent faded speedrun world record. I just got four faded. Okay. I could have five faded on the first PvP round if I get faded crest. Fate hunts you today. If I get faded crest, it's five faded. Okay, fuck it. Aphelios drop right here. Boom, Aphelios. Wait, okay, I'm not even kidding. You could actually hit. Faded Crest. Porcelain? No. Okay, I kind of like Dragon's Claw. Uh, I kind of like Cluttered Mind. Let me think, which one do I want here? Pretty sure this dragon's claw goes really hard. Oh wait. Okay, th this one goes harder. The Dragon Claw one is pretty interesting because uh, it's kind of a gamble. You're gambling that most of the lobby is going to be AP. But the idea of it is pretty fun. If it was like a, an item that didn't involve a uh, specific and magic resist, I'd be more down. But yeah, like. You, you could easily put it on a Thresh, and he'd print a lot of components over time. What do I want here? I really like TG with Faded. Yeah, I personally really like TG. Because you just slap a TG on a Kindred 2, or a Yasuo 2, and then with the Faded bonus, they're actually quite formidable. What about Last Whisper IE? That's pretty bad. First of all, I don't have an Aphelios right now. Second of all, Aphelios already shreds. Give me an A. Dang it. I have this yes. combo, which is really good synergy wise. <laughs> Darius and for Duelist. No, I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather just have another faded unit that benefits from this link. Is 
Is Shoujin good on Riven? In TFT, absolutely not. In League of Legends, I don't know. I have stopped playing League of Legends for like three years. I don't even play it for fun anymore. There was a time where I mostly played TFT on stream and I still played League of Legends, like with other streamers or for fun. But I would say it, w it was not, League of Legends is no longer that fun to me, so I don't play it anymore. Oh fuck, I have a Hulk Crusher. I'm actually like pretty incompatible with uh, most of these items. Ah, uh, shit. I'll take the big gem. I think that's really good. It's also an Ophelios. Doesn't three faded only benefit at the link? Oh yeah, you're right. All right, let's simply just do that. Hmm. Who can hold the big gem? <laughs> Me, smiley face? I don't think you can hold the big gem. I don't trust you. Could this be a glove and belt diff? Whenever I see uh, that we're probably going to lose, I always like to get a little hopeful. Pray that uh, the, the individual components make the diff. I don't think I'd ever slam a guard breaker, though. Wait, I actually think I do win. This might be a, a gem diff. Wait. Wait. Wait! Right here, baby. Boom. Mom said it was my turn to hold the big gem. No! Yes. You know what it is time for, though? It is time for what I like to call roll once and get an upgrade at Nojutsu. Big strong Nico coming true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I will roll one more time. I alone decide my fate. <laughs> okay, I ended up not facing the strongest player. Actually, this strongest, this other Mr. 100 is one of my friends. Interesting. How are you 100 HP with Hero Grab Bag? That's weird. I don't know how that's possible. This is freedom. Wait, how the hell did he do that? Oh, okay, he lost. Oh, he's actually not that strong because he didn't duplicate. Aren't your friends waiting for you? Yes, that's why this is the last game. No matter how frustrating the game will be, this is my last game. Have you had an encounter with D's yet? No, I haven't. Could you tell me more about that? What do I want here? I want bow rod. No one is promised tomorrow. Hello, Bert Macklin, FBI. Thanks for 25 months. Oh, that's huge. All runs are mine. Yes. Uh, don't want to do a behemoth. Or do I want to do an Arcanist? Or do I want to do... Hmm. I'm not sure. Why don't I just do this and like let the gods decide?
Okay, so what do I want here? Uh, I think Jeweled Lotus would actually be really good because I already have a lot of TG slab. It would make my Kindred just like do so much damage. Something else that I think is pretty cool. If I get Faded Crest, obviously we win. Uh, but maybe Lucky Gloves? Boom! Wait. Am I a baboom bug abuser? I'm not. Okay. All right. Uh, what do I need here? Uh. Oh, I forgot that you get sunfire. Fuck. Uh, maybe if I roll once, I'll hit a Sentra for seven faded. I held the greatest blessing. Okay. Yeah, we are rewarded for not being a bug abuser. Oh, I just realized. I feel this who doesn't actually do anything. Uh-oh. Okay, but hang on. I've got a big gem. Maybe it all works out. Oh, no. Okay, I got owned. I need to chill out now. Oh, this guy also rolled down, that's why. Yeah, I guess the only thing that could have won me this was a two-star thrush. If I had a nickel for every time in the last two games, I got an Azir at seven while playing Faded Crown, I would have two nickels, which is not a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. I don't think it's worth. I think it's chill. I've got a lot of HP. I can just sit and then try rolling again. I'm uncontested this time. I forgot that Sunfire or Faded Crown gives you Sunfire. Otherwise, I would have slumped Redemption. He rolled past the Thresh, pretty sure. You know how I'm actually certain that I did not roll past the Thresh? Because if I did, my entire chat would be going, Miss Thrash! Hey, asshole, you missed the Thrash! Yeah, I mean. Also, like, I'm not the best at TFT, but I would definitely not miss the most important unit. Three spats? Oh, no, I'm not going to get one. I'm not gonna get it. No. Um, I'm down for. I'm down for blue buff and or adaptive helm and or bow. Okay. I'm going to do adaptive helm instead of blue buff here, because that way you can play adaptive helm on Kiana too, and then uh, move over. I wonder if blue buff is good on her. Probably not. She gets mana locked. But yeah, let's do this for now. Slap all the items on her. Okay, can we talk about this Kindred? She only gets Warmogs. Why? <laughs> Why does she only get Warmogs? I think it's the third time. Yeah, she's thick. Okay, follow-up question. Follow-up question. Am I down to sell these Kindreds for Econ? I feel like I could actually hit a Kindred 3, though. It's uncontested. It would delay my Econ, or my 50 gold for a while, though. It would probably cost me, like, 6 gold or so to hold it. But, like, if I roll for a Philos 3 and Thresh 3, I will easily hit Kindred 3 on the way. And she has good items. You know what? This is freedom. I believe. I believe in the Kindred 3. I believe in the Kindred 3. Yeah, no, I believe, I believe. 
I'm going for the 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 cussy. Wow, that felt really weird to say. I'm not gonna lie. The kindred ussy, I believe. She will come home, and it will be glorious. Okay, it's very rare that you're like uncontested. I saw like one thresh. Yeah, one thresh right here. Aside from that, I'm basically completely uncontested. So I'm definitely gonna stay at seven and slow roll. Because a lot of people are ruling three costs. I can probably hit this Aphelios three for free. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried about my itemization though. Where am I gonna get Aphelios items? Like, am I just gonna out of my ass pull a like a Gwinsu's? Such potential. I'll definitely slow roll at seven because if everybody else is rolling three costs that are not the ones I'm rolling for. I feel this three should basically happen for free. In fact, I want to roll very. S Wait. How does this guy have three Z? Oh, fortune cash out. Oh shit. Okay, that's pretty scary. I need a bow. Oh, I just got a Gwinsu's. I actually. Wait, I actually pulled the Gwinsu's out of my ass. You know what would be crazy? Imagine I got lucky gloves. <laughs> Holy crap. This story is not Okay, I'm finished. not gonna roll. I'm gonna let everybody else like do their roll downs first and then I'll roll after. This guy's dizzy. Oh, I should have frontlined my thresh. Or I should have frontlined my kindred. You know, this guy actually doesn't look that strong for a fortune cash out. He wasn't able to make it to nine. Like, if I had rolled here, I might have been able to beat him. I don't think I'd ever roll here for seven faded though, but like if I did. Hello, Reckon Rel. Thanks for 55 months. All right, now I will slow roll. Maybe I hit one Syndra. Jewel Lotus is really good because of my TGs. Uh... Wow, what? I'm coming for you. Spirit, reveal our way. I should probably roll a little bit deeper. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Uh oh. I want to roll a little bit deeper because one or and one centrist is looking really hard. Uh oh. Let me think about this. Jeweled Lotus is really nice here because of my TG on Kindred. It makes me want to make another TG, but I really need Aphelios items. Like, I might just have to settle for Guardbreaker. I don't think it's a horrible item, but... Yeah, it's not a horrible item. Uh, what do the stats say? The stats say it's like slightly below average, which sounds about right. Okay, you know what? I made up my mind. I've made up my mind and I've decided to hit. This story is not yet finished. 
I will not hold back. Okay, my choices are go eight and play Ash, or stay seven and roll for Aphelios three. I'm 99% sure you need to roll. Yeah, I, you need to roll. Because if you go eight, you actually lower your odds of hitting Aphelios and Thresh and Kindred. So like, you need to like sack these two rounds, roll it down to zero, and then go eight afterwards if you have the money. Uh, I would take this Thresh just out of Thresh. If I can't have this Thresh... You know what I could do? I'm pretty sure Aphelios is better than Sentra here. Okay, somehow Kindred... Oh, actually. Okay. I gotta do this. But, uh, what I was thinking was... JG Aphelios and then just, like, move it later. But yeah, I'll just chill and then I'll roll it down. Going 8 is a huge throw here. Like, going 8 is fine if I didn't roll for... Six Aphelioses at this point in the game. I'll go eight and put in any sniper later, but I need to at least try to hit Aphelios three. It's, my, it's by far my win con. Oh, Clutch Lantern. What the heck? Wasn't it Spark? No, I don't think so. I don't think Spark is good unless it's like as an extension of Syndra. And you do a lot of magic damage. But, like, we don't do that much magic damage. I think JG is overall stronger right now. What did I get? Uh, okay. Hmm. Can somebody talk to my kindred when you get a chance? She is only pulling tank items and support items. Like, she's fucked in the head. Please, learn your role. Please, just pull, like, a blue buff and, like, a giant slayer. Somebody please have a word with her. You want to bind Orn for Sunfire value. That doesn't make any sense. Finding Orn gives you uh, percent health regen, which is not very comparable to like the Yasuo and Thresh bonus. Oh, so I was actually close. Okay, I'm like super uncontested. Okay, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. I'll wait like five seconds, let everybody else do their roll down. Okay, and then I will roll after all their three costs are out of the pool. Or I'll just like roll kind of slow. If, if you know you're not contested and you know that other players are going for the three costs, might as well let them go first. They thin the pool for you. I'll just, I'll just hit. I'll just hit. Oh, fresh. Good job, everyone. All right, let's do this. Uh, what do I got here? I have Gunblade or Hurricane. I think I like Hurricane better. Or Giant Slayer, I guess. Okay. All right, let's do this. 
I will hit. I will hit everything, guys. I held the greatest blessing. Lissandra? Oh, shit. Okay, I looked it up out of curiosity. Hurricane and Giant Slayer are almost identical value on Nathelios. Uh, with Hurricane on average doing a little bit better. So since I have the choice of either one, I'll just do the one that performs better. Okay, I definitely should not have rolled slow. What was I doing? I should have just rolled to zero. Oh, set please, set please. Oh, okay. Oh wait, that actually would technically print. But I'm like rolling to zero here. Kindred three. I herald the greatest blessing. Oh my god, I'm at like eight of everything. Come on, Albert. Come on, Albert. Future. Okay. It feels bad to lock. I could sell two kindreds because the whole lobby is really close. But if I don't sell the kindred, I will hit the kindred three. And that actually matters. So I'm losing one life here in exchange to hit like everything. Oh God, this fortune guy. Remember when I said this guy wasn't that strong? Turns out he's a little strong. I lost 19 health. Uh oh. Wait, the whole lobby is like one life. I wouldn't have beaten this guy, but I think I could have killed like two units, which would have given me an extra life. Okay, think Albert. What do you have to do now? You have to live until you can go eight and then play a sniper. So how do you propose we do that? Do you want to connect Syndra at Thresh? No, I I still want to keep a Philios also or Thresh also. Okay, winning this round will be huge, because then I get third Syndra item, and then I get Aphelios. Or, uh, then I get Kindred 3. Nice. Nice. Sell Hoi. Bro, it's a 5 cost spirit. It's a 5 cost spirit. I have to play him no matter what. Is that a sock? Wait, it's a sock. Oh my god. It's gotta be better, right? It's gotta be better than a Rabadon's. Oh. It's gotta be better. Wait, what? 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 Hey! Wait! What? What? Wait, I didn't know that. Never a dull moment. The last time I ate a plant was never. Wait, why would it like show me this interface if you can't? If I lose, I'm gonna be so sad. Oh no, no, no. Wait, wait, I might live. Can we kill like one more? Kill one more. No! I actually would have lived if I would kindred through there. I guess I could have sold Orn and kept rolling.
Man. Wait, I actually got scammed. Why would they give you, like, the... Why would they give you, like, the... The, the hoy spot if you can't actually use it? Okay, it's probably fine. I was probably going to lose anyway because the only person I could outplace is this guy and he's definitely winning the lobby. He has lucky gloves, TG on everybody, support items on everybody, level 9. So it was only a matter of time until I died anyway. Aphelios 3 is mid. I mean, he was really good. Like, the reason why I lost is not because of the Aphelios 3. The reason why I lost is because my opponent had a stronger 3 star 3 cost and he hit it much faster than I did. Also because my Kindred 3 didn't work. If, if I had Kindred 3 or in 2, I would have won that round and I would have gotten third. Were all the Kindreds out of the pool? No, I, I think the Hui thing just doesn't work. Which is fine, at least I got top four. I will remember this. Hui, you are dead to me. I will remember the time that you scammed me. There were so many legendaries I could have gotten that would make me stronger. And I was like, oh, well, Hui doesn't do anything, but at least he gives me my kindred three. Madge. Do you guys see this? This is so interesting. This guy is running Aurelia 2, Set 2, Galio 2, Soraka 2, Riven 2, Rakan, Wukong, Nico, Kiana, and half of a Kale. Specifically half. He's level 8.5. Which half? If you get a half of a kill, would you like the top half or the bottom half? Box locks, you had no sniper in? Yeah, you want to know why? <laughs> it's because I need 7 faded. Sniper goes in at 8. If I had hit on the roll down like we should have, then I would have been able to go 8 and then put in any sniper, and I would have been very strong. But, like, if you're saying, box box, you should have leveled to 8 to play sniper instead of roll for Aphelios 3, that is 7 million percent wrong. The value of Aphelios 3, Thresh 3, Kindred 3 is 10 times higher than the value of Sniper. You would go 8 and roll at 8 if your main goal was to hit a set 1 and a Sindra 2. But if you were looking for the Aphelios 3, doing anything other than rolling there is throwing the game. Alright, I'll be right back one sec. I'm too weak.
Guys, I swear it's not it's not my fault. It's the straw. Ah. I love trolling TFT streamers. They are so easy to bait. Lol. Are you one of those guys that intentionally says something really obtuse to bait out reactions? You would love Reddit. You should go to r slash am I the asshole and then write a story along the lines of Am I the asshole? I invited my friends out to a dinner that I cooked myself for four hours and then they came in and pooped on it. They said it was my fault. What do you guys think, Reddit? And then uh, you bait out people to like respond really passionately about how it's not your fault and you did everything right. You bait everybody to give you these N NTA answers. Actually, uh, I have a friend. This is like, in my opinion, kind of an unethical business. But I have a friend who makes a lot of money by making videos that read out Am I the Asshole posts and then just put like generic attractive women in the background while it's happening. Like they literally go to reddit.com slash r slash am I the asshole. They go to top of like the past year and then they find a pretty controversial one with a lot of opinions. Uh, Am I the asshole for losing my passport to avoid babysitting on my vacation? I am a 17 year old girl and I live at home. My sister is married and has blah, 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 blah. And then they just like read out the story out loud in like a beautiful female voice. And then they have like stock footage of a pretty woman in the background. And then they get millions of views and get tens of thousands of dollars in ad revenue every month. It's in my opinion, kind of an unethical business. You just steal Reddit posts and then like transform them into like con content. But, like, I'm impressed that it works. I occasionally browse YouTube shorts when I'm bored, and, uh... The things I see there... It's incredibly formulaic, but also, like, I can't blame them. I think it's, like, really free money. There's a lot of places that will use, like, AI voices. Uh, to like read over like basically like a cool fun fact that was on reddit and then it's like if you think this is cool subscribe it's like this photographer does crazy tricks <laughs> using uh clever props and what he does at the end of this video will shock you right and then they just like show what the guy is doing it's basically just like uh over dramatizing uh existing like content from reddit and then they somehow like try to get you to subscribe, even though it wasn't their content. They're just like, if you thought that was cool, subscribe. And then they get millions of views. It's kind of impressive, but also pretty unethical. When life gives you sour bandleberries, make bandle anyway, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Needs hope. All right, last game. And then I'm off the stuff. Don't you need to play with your friends? I do. I uh, The reason why I went AFK for a bit was to check if they were ready, and they were not. Watch this. Oh, man. I have, like, complete garbage. Okay, Epoch is actually sick.
Okay, not playing Kog'Maw Caitlyn. Fate hunts you today. I think that these are the best units to hold. That wasn't that great. I don't have that much direction. I kind of wanted to level to 5 there, but I didn't have the money to. Boxbox, why you delete VODs? I wanted to watch some old Twitch VODs to pass time. I don't think I delete VODs. If they have been deleted, it's probably for copyright. I would never intentionally delete a VOD. Uh, okay, a couple angles here. I've got four duelists. I also have Faded, and I also have Storm Weaver. I'm Zoe. What's your name? I don't have the itemization for duelists here. Hello, Kirby. Welcome. Yeah, Duelist is probably not it. I think Faded is pretty good here, actually, because I already have a Gwinsus for Yasuo. I would have to see an Aphelios or a Thresh pretty soon, though. Hello, Kirby. Hello, Leonidas is dead. Oh! Hi there, cutie. Wait, let me scout. Oh. This guy has faded Storm Weaver. I mean, I think I still play it. I have it right now. You, you can play Contested Faded. This is good. I was kind of thinking about that Darius. That Darius is pretty interesting because it makes a redemption and a Darius too. If I think I need to slam it to win, I will slam it. But I will try to save the tier for Syndra. Okay. The game says I have a 1% chance of winning. Is it crazy of me to think that if I... Uh, oh, where did she go? Wait, my, my Kiana exploded. Oh, you saw Garen? Uh, because I committed to not Story Weavers. Once I saw the Gwinsus, you can't really play Story Weaver. Well, you sort of could. You could play Sivir too, and then play a bad item later. But I'd rather just play a Philios that I have right now that is like a guaranteed good unit. If I played Story Weavers, I wouldn't have a two-star unit right now. Wait, I also don't have a two-star unit right now. No, it's fine though. A Philios pair is lit. Isn't Gwinsu's really good on Irelia? No. 
you are mistaking playable for really good. Gwinsu's is okay on Irelia. If you if you have enough Gwinsu's and you hit an early Irelia and you need to slam items on her, go for it. But it is not actually desirable. If you could actually choose, you would want red buff or Morello's, then Guardbreaker or Hurricane, and then like any third damage item or like Gunblade. All right. I'm gonna get my level six from Epuck. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce this word. I think it's Epog. Epog. Okay, I'm a level to six with Epog, and then I'll roll for one Ari, two Yasuos, two Kindreds, one Thresh. Sunfire Rally is not horrible, but it's not ideal. Get in touch with your spiritual side. All right, two free rolls. Give me something. Or die. Give me something. Wow, what a waste of two shops. Well, that sucks. At least I have my my thresh. Dang. Okay. Well, I will continue setting all one stars. Okay, so the problem I have here is that last time I slammed the Sunfire, I then got offered Faded Crown, which gives you a Sunfire randomly. But like, what else could I have played here, right? I don't think I want to play Bramble. Watch me now hit Faded Crown again, and then have double Sunfire again, and then be inefficient. I like Champion Duplicator. Oh, Blinding Speed? Oh, I can't take Blinding Speed anymore. Ah, shit. These are all pretty bad. Prismatic Ticket is not good here unless you're sure you're uncontested, and even then it's still not that good because it takes a long time to be useful. New Recruit is okay. It lets you have Sniper in on 7. Faith hunts you today. I think I need to roll a little bit here. Uh, wait, I've turned it through Exalted. Yasuo and Ornn are Exalted. Wait, Amumu is Exalted! Wait! Is this the freest Exalted of my life? I didn't even realize that Mumu was Exalted. I'm gonna roll a little bit here because I'm sitting on three pretty high value pairs. I know I'm six, but I can hit one pair. Okay, the question is am I good? Am I good? Surely this is good. I don't need to level up, or I don't need to roll anymore. I'm like very hesitant to roll because rolling on six is very inefficient. I just had too many pairs. Level 6, 20 gold is pretty awkward here. But I, I can just chill. If only I played this in Mumu one round earlier, I would save, I think, 4 gold on my, uh, my level 7 roll down. I 
I can't tell if I win this. Oh, that went on really long. Oh, this guy is ultra high roll. Look at this. He has sleight of hand, lucky gloves. This is insane. Nico adds a- wait, what was that? A champion duplicator to every carousel? Wait a second! Can't I just go 7, hit a legendary, and then... Hmm. I could just go 7, hit any legendary, and double duplicate. Or I could double duplicate right now for Orn 2. No, Albert, keep it in your pants. Keep it in your pants. You do not need an Orn 2 right now. What you need is a level seven Lissandra or set into a double duplicate. Also, like, it's possible you just double dip Aphelios. Aphelios 3 is super high value. I can't believe I randomly have Exalted in. This is, like, the most free Exalted of my life. Especially because I have an extra unit slot. And Amumu is not a bad unit. He gives Porcelain and Warden. <laughs> she jumped on my Ari! Are you rolling through cost? I don't think so. I think I'm just going eight and then, yeah, I think I'm rushing to eight and then trying to get my first legendary and then double dupe it. Cause two star set is a win con. And I no longer have to go nine and roll 60 gold for a two star set. I can go eight, luck into one set or Lissandra and then just win the game. Lissandra is also huge cause of porcelain. But yeah, set is the game winner for sure. Chase. Okay, so Ah fuck man. If I played if I played um this Amumu one round earlier, if I noticed in time, I'd get 16 EXP right now. And then Epoch would get me to uh 22 EXP. And then I would naturally Oh my god, it's actually gonna cost me four gold. Yeah, it cost me four gold. All right, any legendary. I don't care which one, any legendary at seven. This is freedom. I great Two free rolls. Fuck it, what if I went eight right now? No, Albert, keep it in your pants. my bed on anybody you got spirit <laughs> sorry about my scream what the that was literally like what we were hoping for but we didn't actually think it would happen 4-1, set 2, thanks to Epog. I even didn't go 8. I just hit the 1 in 500 set on 7. This is freedom. We cleared floor 40 of the dungeon. Wait, let's go. That's hype. Uh, what do I want here? It's probably just tons of stats. Wait, no. I guess from the Fallen slightly better, because a new recruit.
Inspiring Epitaph is arguably even better. This also gives me one more chance to reroll for Faded Crest. Okay, do I even need to level? I don't even need to level. If I wait two, it's like perfect interval uh, with my Exalted. I, I can't believe it. That's literally like the instant game winner. Now I just tempo to the easiest night of my life. It says I have a 5% chance of winning, but what you don't know is that I'm gonna throw the, the Kench into the back line and kill everything. Our way. Oh, I forgot to play this Ash. Holy crap. Yeah, who would have guessed that new recruit into level 7 set was the correct play? Okay. Wait, I just realized I'm still on Thresh 1. I call this one roll no jutsu. Oh, Kindred. Fate hunts you today. Oh, wait, I lost Exalted. One roll, no jutsu. Oh, a kindred. Fate hunts you today. Okay, no, no, stop, stop, stop rolling for this. You can just tempo. Well, actually, hang on. Arguably, isn't the place still roll for Aphelios 3? Isn't Aphelios 3 the way I win the game? I'm uncontested. Like, yeah, I, I already have the thing that you would level up for. Yeah, my orange printed at BT. Dude. If I get this Thresh, I will poop. Okay, poop was not the right verb. I will perform an extreme verb. Not poop though. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to poop my pants. Oh man. Oh man. What do I even want here? Uh I think tear is more likely to create a good situation here. Am I uncontested? I'm like completely uncontested. Except for this guy holding one of field. No, I'm, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit. Like seriously, it's so easy. It's actually so easy. I just, I just, I just, I just. Huh? Heart is empty without empathy. No way! Empty without empathy. I thought last game made you hate Huey. I mean, that's a bug. The bug ain't happening here. Oh, Kindred. Fate hunts you today. Okay, I, I'm down to roll at eight. If it means if I have the assistance of Aphilios. um, I should. I really shouldn't roll right now. Like, there's no way I'm losing with a set two. Look, a beautiful woman. I don't know what happened, guys. I just lost 10 gold. OK, 
Okay, I'm telling you, it's actually a Yasuo 2 diff, though. Okay, Orin Prince, a Titans for my set 2. Ah, thank God. Thank God that I rolled it down for Nephilios there. Otherwise, I might have lost. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. No hui... Hui I? No hui I. Remind me to fire the teleprompter. I just got a Syndra! I just got a Syndra again! And a Thresh! I just got a little such. Oh wait, if I have a two star, uh, if I have a two star Hoi, I should probably actually do Shojin. I was thinking of doing Hodge for. I never rest. No, it's, it's definitely Shojin. Two star Hoi is like a very big deal. And two star players' ability is a big deal. Wait, I lost. Oh my god, wait, I actually lost. Wait, 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 wait. No. I should have made a, a Hodge on my set. I would have won that fight with a two-star set. sort out my board really quick. So, seven Aphelioses, two Syndras, six Kindreds. I'm going to, Hi. I'm going to input the down, down, left, right, up. This is for Orn. Somebody's gotta go. One of these units on my bench has got to go. And I think it's you. Go set, do the thing. Do the thing. Oh man. Okay, I should absolutely be through iteming this set. Titans, Hodge, Gargoyle. I'm down. Wait! I see something. I can do a reboot of something that I won with earlier. Pet!
Okay, let me roll like a little bit to hit one Aphelios for guaranteed Aphelios 3. And then I will level up and then play Lissandra and the crowd goes poggers. Like how hard can it be to hit one Aphelios here? Let me just make sure it's not contested. Yeah, it is not contested. Let me just roll until I hit one Aphelios. Oh. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Let me, let me roll until I hit one Aphelios. One, one, Aphelios. One. Reveal our way. One, one, one. Uh oh. One, one. Okay, fuck. No, I really should roll for it now because once once I let this run pass, it's going to yeah yeah yeah. It it can't be that hard. Like I'm sure Lee Sin it or Aphelios is right there. Any second now. Ah, there it is. And you guys didn't believe me. That was only a that was barely any money. That was barely any money. Oh. Oh. Wait, radiant item. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need like a god tier radiant something for set or Aphelios. Hmm. I just realized, I don't need the center at all. Yeah, I don't need seven faded. Oh wait, do I need the center? Let me think. Who am I exalted? Wait, it would be this. And then you play Lissandra in. <laughs> and then I'll naturally get a th uh, Thresh 3. I, I kind of wanted to do the Radiant Warmogs, but I think BT is actually better. And then you 3 item your uh, your Thresh 3. Fuck the Asso. No, he's exalted. I need him. He gives a, a gold augment's worth of power to my whole team. No one is promised tomorrow. Oh, what? I forgot. Wait, the game's like over. Okay, let me do my rolls right now. For oh, wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. I will not hold back. Should I just go ten? Well, I mean, okay. If I actually want to win the game. If I actually want to win the game, I'm supposed to, uh... No, it's Bramble, guys. It's not Red Buff. It's Br it's Bramble because both of my opponents are playing Trick Shot, physical damage. Thresh is, like, unkillable now. Wait, if I actually want to win the game, I roll for Thresh 3 here. In fact, I was supposed to roll for Thresh 3, like, before I leveled. The last time I, I could go was never 10. Okay, well, there's Thresh 3. Greatest blessing. What am I even going to play if I level? Oh, I know what I can play. I... 7 faded, so I actually need an Ari. Dang it. I... But yeah, I'm supposed to play 7 faded, so I need to like roll at 9, find an R8, because you don't actually need Hoi. Yeah, you don't actually need Hoi. What a game. What oh, a zero for Dryad? It's not that useful. Oh, wait. Hold on. I have an item. That's 
potential. All right. Heart is empty. Cool. I mean, in the event that like it's the game's not over, then I'll sell this way and then play Seven Faded. There's a Radiant Hodge Kaisa and the other guy is Gunblade Kaisa. I'm confused how it's not red buff. Lol. Well, as you can see, I already have anti heal. And like, don't get me wrong, it's not bad to double dip on anti heal. It's not bad. But I don't think I need it here. I would rather have um, the Bramble Vest to counter two physical damage dealers. Like, Bramble Vest is so good on a Thresh 3 against these guys. The only reason I lost the earlier fight is because I didn't roll to hit a Thresh 3, right? Now that I have Thresh 3s, with Bramble and Radiant Warmogs, it's going to be not close at all. I'm going to win with like 90 gold. Like, I promise you, I do not need a red buff here. Did you see how effective that Bramble Vest was? I won with like 100 gold. That game was not close. Honestly, I should have just like started rolling for a 3 star 5 cost. I think I like had the budget. The game was like over when I hit the set. We saved the double dupe in case I hit a set, and then we hit a set and the game was over. Hello, Doc Gun Show. Thanks for the two months. Yeah, game winning pet. Okay, is it just me, or is the match history bugged? I can't see anybody's items. I can see, like, little boxes where items should be, but I don't actually see any items. Box box, you missed my sub again. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I, I always miss subs when I'm distracted and I'm focusing on the game. I tell you what, as an apology... Let me go ahead and spin a wheel for you. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. And just to really show how sorry I am, I'm gonna spin a wheel where you can win mod for a day. Or death. Oh. I don't remember if you did it. We we did it. I don't remember if you did it. Oh, okay. Congratulations! At user Ariel, you've won a death. To claim your prize, type time for dead. Hello, Yabanku. Welcome. Okay, well, I'm satisfied. That, that was a hype game. Holding the two duplicators in case we hit a set into actually hitting the set was kind of crazy. I've never won with 100 gold on bench before. Cool. Okay, well, I'll wrap it up now and I will see you guys later. Wait, Soju just started streaming eight minutes ago. I can get like the world's highest value raid. I'm down. The value of a raid is the amount of viewers you send multiplied by the length of time that they stream for. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna stream for like 24 hours. That is awesome. I'll tell you guys a story. Uh, when you raid somebody, you help them like jump up their numbers and they get a lot of extra money and ad revenue and it might arguably help them grow their career. Uh, the amount of value that somebody gets from a raid, if I raid Soju, he gains a little bit. If Soju raids me, I gain a lot. Uh, and I like hosting just because I like him. I try to not think about the business aspect of it too much. But uh, what really stuck out to me was uh, one time I hosted Soju twice. And then I didn't expect anything. But then he DM'd me immediately saying, yo, when are you streaming next? And I was like, oh, not for a while. Like 18 hours from now. And then he was like, bet. I'll stay up until then. 
and I'll pass them back to you. Which I thought was very sweet. And then he, he was like very clearly very tired when I started my stream 18 hours later. But like, it, it was like very clear that he stuck it out uh, because he felt like he owed me for the two raids. So now I always feel really biased. Whenever he's an option, I always like to raid him. Not because I want a raid back, but because I thought it was really sweet. When he's not molding, he's a, he's a very sweet guy. Okay, I'm gonna send you guys over to him, and then I will see you guys later. I, I told Annie I would play Helldivers with her, so I must go. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, have a good night. The letter of the day is X.